Hello, hello, hello, guys. Why? Where is the official stream, guys? I'm confused. They posted something about the delay. Let me check. No shot, bro. I missed my I missed my dinner so that I can catch the live stream, and they said they're gonna delay it. No way. Did they say something about the delay? So the broadcaster talent for today is Hotjuke Seven, uh, Seven WG and DK. Where is the stream? What the hell? Where did it post it, guys? I don't see. Skyforce joining. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. Why it's not starting? What? Did they post it on Twitter or something? In 30 minutes, it's gonna start. It says on PUBG Mobile's eSports channel. I mean, I'm on the channels, like where? It's supposed to be, it should start like, Six, 16 minutes ago. Oh, this is live. Twenty eight minutes. I'm twenty eight minutes early. All right, guys. See you in the next stream. Bye bye. One year, eight minutes. Jesus. Why is it taking so long? Crazy. She find you there, Nova. And this is the STE. STE will be playing this. Not Nova. Nova will be playing the main event. So my team NHP, they will be playing this event. But this is the prelim stage. Is that setting the title? She found with the hello, NHP grip. Hello, guys. So tomorrow I will be seeing you guys. Eighth. Like, I'll schedule my stream like 30 minutes late. I thought they're gonna start the game right away. I didn't expect they would uh, start the stream and then wait for like 20, 26 minutes. Jesus. Training ground, let's go. Why aren't you playing this time, Chifan? Because I, I didn't get my uh, Brazil visa in time. Hey, hello, hello, Jivan. For the first time, it's early, very early. <laughs> hey, Jivan, glad to see the live stream. Hello, Fluke. Welcome to the welcome to the live stream. So, yo, we have one seventy-two people watching. Like, we don't even have we have nothing to watch. Like. PMGO. Prelim, day one. Let's see who's doing the watch party. Oh, who else? There gotta be a lot of creators doing watch parties. Yo, Star. I'm sorry, Star. I I got a I got a better NHP drip. 
than your black shirt with NHP logo on it. <laughs> we I we didn't manage to get stars. Um, we didn't manage to get like teams new, like pictures in time, like new new jerseys. We don't we don't we don't we didn't have we didn't have time enough time to make it for them. So they're just using a players are just using a black shirt and we just like print out the logo and they can put it on there. They don't have this. They only have a black shirt and a logo. Let's watch a Douyin. You, you want to watch Chinese? So what do you guys want to do for these 26 minutes? Do we watch some montage? Do we scroll some Chinese TikTok? Um, what do we do? Like we're way, we're so early. Jesus, this is my first time being this early. To be honest, I'm a little bit uncomfortable right now. <laughs> Is Nova playing today? Nova will be playing in... If you guys check my description, Nova will be playing in the 2024 PM Joe Brazil main event from April 5th to April 7th. Montage. All right, all right. Let me make a vote. Let me make a vote for you guys. All okay? right, let me make a vote. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Chinese TikTok or let me make a vote. Okay. Science projects. <laughs> what phone you use? I use iPhone and I also have an Android Red Magic 9 Pro to play games. Montage. Which player do you want to see? Which player do you guys want me to like see? Which player's montage are we seeing? She found what you just talk. I'm a man of a culture science project. Okay, since we're like, you know, we're literally watching. Cause we're literally watching the tournament, right? So let's get, get familiar with, you know, some players in PMGO. I think that's going to be relevant to the live stream, right? So these are the team who, which are already in the main event. And, uh, we will be, so today is the prelim stage, typical, uh, formats, 10 points for a chicken, one point, one point per elimination and, uh, top eight. Well, be able to qualify to the main event. And then by the way, the price pool guys, 5k per team. Not gonna suck. Not gonna sucks. Do you agree? Do you agree? Sky horror. A lot of you are spamming sky horror. Okay. So the Nepal team, right? You guys were talking about which player? Sky, this one. Hey, this is a player you want me to react to? Hey, this is a player? All the players in Navi played the PMGC before. What roster did they play on there? Sky horror. Oh, okay, okay. Let let let let's let's watch. Let's watch. Let, let's watch Sky from Horror Esports. Okay, see how good the player is. Does he have a YouTube? Oh, oops. He doesn't. He doesn't have a YouTube.
That's him. All right. Maybe the most popular one. This one. Tournament clip highlights for Tian. Oh, oh my god, that's the loud. He has 4k quality. The All right, let's see. The mat. Wait, do you guys, can you guys hear the echo? Do you, do we have echo in the stream? Do we have echo in the stream when I play the video? Because I'm not wearing an earphone right now. I just took a shower, so my ears are kind of wet. Do we have echoes? Or no? No I echo, all good? Okay, let's go. Ooh! Okay! Okay. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Nice. Right, Wait a second, guys. Is he is he the best player in horror esports? Is Sky the best player in horror esports? Who's the who's the top fragger in horror esports? Who's the fragger? Who's the, like the best fragger in like best player in horror? Is the Sky? Sky's the IGL? Oh, okay. He's IGL. Good to know. Good to know. What does Yukunama mean? Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't have a really nice three times fire. Solo solo solo But who's no fear? Who's no fear again? Who's no fear? Wait. I think you should put some mu music on the montage. I feel like that's gonna, like, you know, hype up a little bit. No fears, the best player. No fears, the fragger. Okay, let's watch a few more minutes, then we we'll switch to no fear, okay? Oh, nice spray. Oh, okay. 
అసలు ఎంత మళ్ళీ ఎక్కడ తలబడి నేడు వచ్చే Is Sky a CQC player or low range? Who are we watching next? D plus? Wait, do we have a D plus in the lobby? In PM duo? We will be only watching players in PMGO. In the prelim, because you know we're about to watch the prelim stage. We need to get to we, we need to get familiar with all the players, right? So D plus they're in main event. So let's focus on teams in the prelim. For teams in the prelim, what next? <laughs> Messi. <laughs> Watch No Fear? Okay. So, same player. But No Fear is the best frag in, in the team, right? Okay, let's see. This, I guess watch the... This is the PMPL highlights. Let's see. Yep, nice. And here it is. Are they leaving together? I hear them leaving together. Oh. What the cars? I think the I think the car killed him. The car exploded. I think no fear is using high three time gyro sense. Let me know if I'm correct. I feel like it's using low three time gyro sense. Like high, high, high gyro sense. Three time. Knock. Nice. Nice. Okay, okay. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock. Knock.
Okay, so since like a lot of you guys are, we watch each player for two minutes, right? And then we, then we skip to the next player. Okay, so that we can watch more players. Wait, he's playing with Nima? Is his team is Nima? Guys, is his team is Nima? Wow, you guys you guys are crazy in the chat. <laughs> Dude, we have almost 500 people watching. Let's go. I didn't expect a lot of people to watch the watch party for PMGO. Ferreal? I watched the Ferreal before, but I've never like, we can, yeah, let me, let me, one second. One second, the team coach is asking me something. Yeah, let's let's do Ferrell. The most popular one three years ago. That's a little bit old. I want to watch cheese recent one. So let's watch this one. This is the most recent one. All right, definitely an improvement on the production of the video. Intro is a little bit long to my liking, but uh, okay. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Demise. Best. Mark the location. What's up? Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Ferrell is not washed After all the years I think Ferrell is still gonna go That's on DWG This is PMG scrims I think Oh! Okay! I think the video. I think the editor speed up speeds up the video a little bit, which makes it like, makes the clips more like more smooth, like smoother. But yeah, these are good clips. Oh, oh, he hit that. Very nice linky with his DBS. Help! Watch out! Oh, that's a 
Watch out. Watch out. So real now is like a hundred percent shotgun player. I don't see he's carrying other than he goes, he's not carrying a UMP or whatever, he's like always a shoddy. With his secondary. I'm so Oh! That, that's... That's hard. That spray that right there is hard. Because he has to switch targets in the middle of the spray. Okay. That's for Feder Real. Who are we watching in the chat? Hitman. Which team is Hitman from? Wait, is it is, is it starting yet? The PMGO with a second. How many minutes? Oh, four minutes left. Okay, we can wa watch one more. Coops or Hitman? Let me make a poll. For MV Doc? They're in... Wait... Is Doc in PMGO? Wait, I don't see 4, four MV. Wait, are they in PMGO, guys? Holy shit, the chat is like flying, guys. Slow slow down, slow down. Jesus. Yo, like, spam like crazy. Jesus. STU reaction? Guys, like, we can do it all. We can watch it while maybe during the break of the matches. But for now, let's watch Coops, all right? My NA rival, Coops. Ending highlights, ending highlights. Oh, this is a Saudi league they played. Let's see, let's see this. Is it safe? I think they, they want fight for this. I think this is like. Go, go. Watch one? out! Oh. Watch one? out! Oh. No. Nice. It's the Hussie and the nice. team. Yeah. One coming to me. Nice. Nice. Watch out. Okay, okay. It's, me. it's one guy only. Yep, I'm watching. We, we can focus. Watch out. Yeah, buggy up there on the high ground. I need, I need some more to do uh, they're fighting up here, they're fighting nice up here. Teammate. Watch out! This is good. Nice. Knock on teammate. On the high end, the high end. Wait, let me change one. Do they have highlights? How's it go? Wait, I lost, I lost my cursor. Oh, shit. Okay, this is the coop spray I'm talking yeah, about. The last the video. When I watched the last the video of the coops, I feel like coops maybe did too many science projects recently. You know? 
The, the spray, you know, is, is, is not as, sta yeah, as, yeah, as stable as before. But now, this video, yeah. This video is good. This video spray is good. Oh, like most of these, like, he's doing the full matches. He does not have a montage or something? That was two years ago. This is 11 mo. Okay, this is the highlights. Bro, this could be a good one. Nice. Man, this is a coupe side now, guys. Nice. Nice pre aim and hit fire. Nice. That's an all star as well. This is a cook sign Slow the game? Did the game start? Let me see. Oh, it is? I think it's starting. On March 30th, the 16 okay. teams will then face off in a showdown for the team that secures the first position rackets straight into PMGO main event while teams that rank second to I have the clean feed as well. Prelims. Do you guys want to watch the clean feed without caster or with casters? I feel like maybe with the casters. With the casters will be better. 2024 PUBG Mobile Partnership yeah, that was a good one for you back to get invited Not, here that is good. Heat. From April 1st to 3rd, these 24 teams will be divided it into three groups the round robin format will reveal refreshing to see on non gps video the top eight who step into the PSG last time i remember main event coops Next, hate coops, coops hate dps but he used it in himself i think finals winner will if you can beat it you, you gotta you, you gotta master you all gotta master dps if you hate it dps Martin but like you know PUBG Mobile is it's not gonna change it fifth to seven you all have to master dps wage war for the pmg crown and a slice which has better much better quality all right let me let me check let me Are check. you ready for the ultimate test of skill check, and coach. teamwork? Then witness the contenders rise in 2024 PMGO Brazil. Yeah, with the caster, I think. What's up, everybody? It's Hot Jukes and re ready Yo, for some Hot PUBG Jukes. Mobile Global Long Open no action. We're in the and preliminaries seven. now. I'm to my side. I got none other than the 7 WG the way, and no, DK. No echo, Yo, 7, right? how you feeling today? I'm feeling great, no, man. Right? I'm okay. excited, especially after what happened Saturday. I can't wait to see the response from T Falcons. Sorry, sorry, I just had to get that out of my system. Oh, YouTube dude, is better. Me, uh, me, you were there me, with me, me, brother. Me, How you feeling? Let me take. Let me I mean, dude, like research, if Saturday guys. is anything to go Science on, projects, we are Science in projects. for an absolute show moving into today's action. Man, dude, I think the Team Falcons are going to be coming in Team real Falcons hot is here. coming so hot, guys. guys. We got a quick little recap to break down what happened. Team Falcons is going to be hot, hot. While the Aaliyah of dominating moments and swift clutches often steals the spotlight, the true champions at the table had once again emphasized Guys, I'm survival, consistency. I can't read 
even in the every single chat for today for some reason you guys are super hyped like the chat the chat is like flying gaming world what did you say do i need to turn on do i need to turn on slow mode because some of you are spamming as well like it makes makes me a little even harder to read all the chats when it came to grabbing chicken dinners yet their placements were as consistent as your morning coffee Always landing in top four. What what was what was your comment, this Gaming World? Ability to rack up elimination became a routine grocery run. Down the volume? So, Is the volume fine? I think I I, I, I, I just turned it on. Etchefwise's nine elimination second place finish cemented their spot in the top underdogs, punching their ticket to the main event with a six point lead. Hot on their heels, the Brazilian up like in PL watch parties is the chest is like this. But like today the chest is like this. Up and down, up and down. I can't see all the chests. One second, let me placement. Otherwise, when this quad uh I think the YouTube one is better. High expectations accompany the Mongolian Falcons I think squad. YouTube quality is better because in YouTube on YouTube we have 2K quality so no twitch and they delivered from the outset the new Falcons scripted the demise of their rivals with a flawless zone control in the opening match uh, let me let me go to my rivals like Zebra Masters studio, with this. like YouTube stu the studio and turn the slow mode on slow mode on secured them in an expected second place you guys are crazy today you guys are even you guys are more hyped than me <laughs> for some reason made it clear the conquerors of South Asia are still at their a game while team zebra masters showed flashes of brilliance they did someone gift it soar without a big what leap. i missed that completely one ally, second let me check one chicken dinner and they could have cracked the top three claiming the fifth spot team ins showcased meticulous performance on Wrangle. Fortified by favorable circles, yet credit is due. These youthful contenders who fiercely defended their fortress, punishing every intruder who dared to enroach. Following their second place finish to Team INS on a wrangle, Team Row strategically held their high ground near La Drillera with Watch for Hora Esports tomorrow. I mean, Hora is playing today. Are they playing today? Let me check. Let me check the groups. Actually, reducing the match to a tense waiting game where all the rivals could do was deny elimination points. But that still did not hold them off from entering the prelims as the sixth place team. So in HP, so this is the groups in case you guys don't know. and Raw Esports named as Team Hora salvaged their fate with a third place finish on a wrangle. Froster struggled to recapture their champion form. Their grit proved enough to keep their journey alive, if barely. The cream of the qualifier rounds will now be joined by the global favorites in the prelim stage. The time has come to prove their worth against the best there is. Witness there in the. Yo, thank you, Cindy, for the uh, super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you for the three. Wow, thank dude, the what chat. a crazy pre I mean, qualifiers. Where I mean, we were so shocked <laughs> that Team Falcons at the last second didn't make it. But you know what? I think they're going to be coming in hot here today, seven. So we'll I be seeing this group the best really part often. about this too is that it's going to be three days. It's not just going to be one day. So they're going to be able to, we're hopefully going to be able to see that consistency that we know Team Falcons can definitely provide. 100%. DK, we talked about that a little bit yesterday, right? Or the other, uh, actually the day before yesterday. When we saw them mm. not make it, we said, that, hey, you know what? If there was a tournament that was like three days long during those qualifiers, maybe we would have seen them take it at the top. But hey, with only one day, we thought they had it locked. And then just at the last second, it got taken away from them. I mean, that's that's a beautiful opportunity with upsets to come through. But I think it's going to be interesting looking to I mean, see what they want. I, can, I think I can manage one second. For us. Yes, indeed. Well, we got a nice little interview coming right up. Let's go ahead and take it on over to the stage. Team Liquid's coach, Knight. Oh, Knight. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here with us. And first of all, we want to know um, your impressions about the teams from the qualifying phase and how we should... By the way, is my volume fine? How's the, how's the stream volume and also my volume? Uh, I think we had some great surprise uh, in the prelims because... Like, Shivan, one second isn't enough. Falcons Guys, trust me, trust me. And also we I got an ego eyes. I got an ego eyes. I can watch. So Everyone else one second. Shocked, if I can handle I'll add side, one more. <laughs> that, like all the Brazilian teams, we know them very well. We play them daily. So they are great teams. And let's see what the next day is going to 
Give us oh, some so good give surprise. Give us a star. <laughs> nice. And you have won PUBG tournaments in the past, and now you are making your debut with this team, right? So how Before do you going back to, to AB? To I miss game? AB, uh, but I just have, I have a lot like of streams uh, a big going on, so I can't really like play games, a lot of unfortunately. Tournaments, but they are also like very experienced. But I enjoy Arena Breakout. Um, so I think we are like is it better? together. We are having like great results. We are improving every single day. And you guys, not like you guys, gonna see great things coming from us. She find excited? Awesome. Of course, I'm excited. My team is playing it. My team is literally playing it. Team playing strong it. last year. What can not even me. Like some, like some, like, like you guys are supporting, stage. like because we are support different teams, uh, right? So basically, like, you are so, you team, are are uh, all uh, hype. I joined for the team to as well. bring them to the next level in terms of strategy. So I think like with their nice. dance skills and mentality plus the strategies, like we're gonna achieve like amazing results this year. And this is what like it, this is our main goal. Just like making sure this to the next level. I'm awesome. Thanks so much for the interview. Up to up to the speed. That's the coach from Team Liquid right there. So guys, this is what it's all about. We're gonna see those teams that came from the qualifiers How now compete against watching? the partnership yes. teams. We alluded this. Uh, we alluded to this a little bit uh, when we were actually watching the qualifiers, DK. And uh, look at this. These are gonna be the groups and teams that we got competing today. What are some of the ones that stand out to you, DK? I mean, we're going to start off uh, right there with Navi, right? we got Navi sitting out on the field. we got Nigma Galaxy coming in as well, so Group A already looking exceptionally hot. I mean, we've got the... Xavier over in towards B. There's such a lineup coming through with these groups. They are, and then you have uh, Next Rhea as well, which is... I mean, that's a team that I'm actually oh intrigued to see how they're going to be performing Falcons. here. But you know what? With this roster... I, the I, roster. I talked about a little I bit about Pop Uncle Jimmy. That team was barely able to make it to the prelims. Narzad. They were able to out-qualify Moneymakers by just one point. I'm hoping they are able to find that consistency a little bit more, DK. I'm just making sure. Oh, no man, echoes, be right? Of the most important no echoes. I mean, looking at what we had in the qualifiers, now stepping into prelims. I mean, the competition... No echoes on the screen, right? Because I'm not up, using right, the level of difficulty. Yeah, and then I, the, you know what? We just got oh, to hear from Knight in team? regards to Team Liquid. I'm intrigued. And that's another team. Out. I'm intrigued to see what this team is going to be doing. Because if open to for all anybody the players, that might not be familiar with the Team the Liquid, team. is actually pretty if much you the player from previous Luke's experience, Esports, which they ended up Yo, in, there. Let's in go. the previous PMGC 2023. So there's definitely a team with a lot of potential. And then we have N Hyper, which were all the NA hopes. Uh, this is a completely different roster. The only thing that stays <laughs> the same is FS and she fan, but everybody else, all everybody the else is different. Same as the only hope for NA. You gotta get it done. The they only gotta get hope it done. for Come NA. Come on, and hyper, right? Let's go ahead and see what they could do. But oh, meanwhile, that team gets so influence rage and. They have a back six fashion. player. Hoorah, esports as well. And then here towards the end, look at that. Vampire is gonna oh, be coming in vampire, hot fire here. Flush. It's really soon, DK. <laughs> Wait. I mean, this is this is, uh, this is such an insane lineup of teams. No, right. I mean, food, food we were talking about this in, right? after, after the qualifiers, right? These teams always are really a, a team busting themselves, trying to get through these games, and just keeps on getting even more challenging. But the good thing is, though, she finds not the share there, of the price also goes up, right? It's gone from 64k all the way up onto $80,000 for the prelims. Bro, watch you fighting his own match. You don't want that they price for a total of half a mil? That's, what is that, Jukes? Your, your day rate? Uh, yeah, yeah, I wish. I wish. I'll tell you what, though. That $80,000 prize pool is going to get split, but it's going to get split amongst those teams that don't make it. You know what I'm saying? So you want to definitely punch your ticket on over to that main stage because that's where the big money is right here. This is how you're going to get it. The good old-fashioned point structure. Top 10, we got, top, top you know, eight, 10 points for a chicken dinner, but those elimination points Who's going to be the MVP so of the prelim stage, seven. guys? Who's going to be the yeah, MVP? that's the big one. Drop your MVP protection right now in the, the chat. The elimination points, you've seen a lot more teams, especially from last year. Focus more on it. Make sure they're a little bit fragger heavy. And I think that's going to come out in play here again once we get the prelim started. Yeah, 100% here. And this is going to be the schedule that we're going to see today. We're going to start off in the jungle Six matches once for the again, day. DK. I wonder Bro, if, you know, obviously we saw a lot of these teams. For me, it's on like uh, they had to be doing their homework during the qualifiers, I think the match right? Be finished and and uh, I wonder if they're going to mix up some strategies, you know, with this particular kind of format. Top well, for sure. I definitely hope that there's some kind of uh, insane like, play the, that we are going to be seeing. Who's currently but, the I mean, best seven, right? We've been looking at a lineup like this Falcons. all the way back into the, the top? into the qualifiers. Now bring it into the premium. I think it's so or... much that's going to be happening, especially just Nerzad. map number one. I'm not sure if I'm oh, for pronouncing sure. something that we got to keep in mind. Too, is, keep is in mind which groups it? are going to be playing today. It's only going to be Group A and Group B. Group C is going to get a chance to sit out, kind of watch how these teams are going to be playing. And then tomorrow is going to actually be Group 
B you find versus the compound in the zone and a instead of for any three team, you know, I don't want to put this out there, but I gotta say, fight. if and any teams everybody do start having a rough a day, win. at least they're gonna get a bit that's of a break. That's basically but how if some teams maybe do get into a very hot momentum and terrain, they might not be able to carry until tomorrow since Group A is gonna be sitting out. You know, that's kind of like a, it's always a blessing you on the thumb? you see these yes, kind of groups put yeah. up because, you know, yeah, you get to sit out the first day, you get to watch, you gotta get that they're info, but then usually you're stuck having to miss okay, out on this? the last day. And that's where it can get a little bit intense. You don't have to, once you get in with the glasses. game, you have to go non with the glasses. From the I think that did it without, yeah, I did it without. I mean, without. it's going to be pressure, pressure, pressure right out of the gate. And I think this is where Group C has a bit of an opportunity as we're going to be seeing them on day Start two and day game. three. So Group game. A and B, they're really going to have to grind everything that they can. And I mean, I they're going to hit the ground running right out of the Pumped game. Mobile the should sponsor our yeah, for teams that I'm going to be looking, especially from Group A, I want to see what Navi is going to be doing i mean this team uh, a good first time, first of all first time we're seeing the actual this org global Navi term back into pubg mobile since 2022. i'm excited to see that and they ADP ended up taking webcam, over team guys. falcons of last year that PUBG roster mobile that's going to be with them now for, for well, the Metro so started, i'm intrigued to see how some of these teams are started. and other teams as well i swear in like this the team in that gaming i was talking about earlier, like uh, they were barely able to qualify the, to the prelims we need to see a little bit more urgency out of this team considering that they are going to end up sitting out tomorrow Inko is always yeah, on the he's edge of not qualifying, ready to go, and then these qualifying. guys are like Inko's locked like the and loaded. Miracle so it's team. so crazy to say because we were seeing so when many you teams been Inko's competing not for so long. Qualify. Oh, and MVP, let's go! These you know qualifier teams are gonna have a little oh, look bit a star. of an advantage considering that they're gonna look be so warmed up coming into stars the like. Doing left, I mean, and, left and right link peak. be able to carry forward a little bit of that momentum that they've been able to build up. I mean, we did see those insane plays coming. I do have a clean feet, very last but I want to hear the casters. Stars. I want to hear, to see a little bit of that you know, through, but again, it what, comes what their down opinion to is. how these teams are prepared for, for the these gameplay, teams. I would say, because I don't know all the players like, in here. Really I know some players, but I didn't know all players. So I mean, casters know a, better. This is, all right. this is a marathon, right? We got several days of action, so I think there's gonna be a lot on the table for them here, Jukes. She find you look mm, like okay. Seven. I look like you your uncle. Strong here. Oh, I'm hoping Can someone get um, I think actually out of the chat, of a chip please. On their shoulder <laughs> after what happened to them. Uh, Star the is she find 2.0? I would be pleasantly surprised. You know, um, people might be you know, saying a good that this thing is kind of like thing. A, a bit of a Cinderella story, right? Can they go from qualifiers all the way to main event and possibly win? Lower? But they are, <laughs> there's, it would not oh, be an upset if this team does end up in first place. And earlier, we got a chance to see their is it better now? A 9 seeds team. This, is a, this team is just compiled by a lot of different players from different teams. And they've only been together for about two weeks. At least A7 is not playing. A7 is team was directly in the finals. Two weeks? might not be long enough to be playing at an event of the quality of this and if they're want mm -hmm. if they're wanting to go into main event they're gonna have to readjust the synergy is gonna have to be there but i just don't think that's gonna be there i'm interested to see what's gonna be happening with that team from 90s mm, me as well you know you, you, but you have to be able to adapt at a stage like this and you know speaking oh, of yeah. adapt during the qualifiers we saw a team actually do it right we saw high fives as the last second say you know what we can't leave this up to chance. We gotta take the foul. That was fine. Here and now, gotcha, if we guys. wanna gotcha, punch guys. our ticket. And I think that that I was gotcha. definitely. I got you. Players are already playing it. Okay, because these. This, because this, normally this they, they, they're, there's a delay is absolutely for the live stacked with some monster squads just like same said, as pm same as the pm just played have some new roster they all have some delayed for, uh i think because oftentimes you know so when, for, for example if i to if we really die in um the ground if we die in pm and take if we die in one of the pm gc matches and if we like open the phone and open youtube and turn the live stream they oftentimes they are playing like the previous game start off with game number one game number one take it away All right, well, here we go. Getting ready for the action. Of course, getting... She far you are in NPH. Yes, I'm not in one. MPH, but Seven, in NHP. This is going to be the game that kind of sets the... She your top eight. Like Falcons, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we've seen... Bro, I would lose my... I would lose my mind if Falcons didn't qualify. Oh my god, first game. But I wonder just how Guys. much of a gap we are going to be seeing established right here in Sano. Go to the bathroom. Be right back. Be right back. Be right back. I used to be such a big fan of Sandhawk just because of all the madness, and I used to love where this, where we used to have this map located, which was towards the middle, because it would kind of give a break for the teams that maybe weren't performing well to take advantage of all the craziness, right, and try to close up that gap that you're talking about. But w with the here, I mean, it's 
I'm interested to see the teams that are from Brazil. They are usually the strongest ones when it comes to Sandhawk. And I'm hoping that they're going to be taking advantage right away. As we are seeing some teams already getting into a fight. Well, now the pressure is on. Gotta keep it up, though. It's good to see some early game interaction coming through. And of course, especially looking down into Woods Fine None. It's a, it's a point of interest that is so heavily contested most of the times when we get into the lovely map of Sandhawk here. So... I want to see how this one is going to play out. Also, up into Woods Ruins, Inko feeling a little bit of that heat. Inko feeling a little bit of heat, but also being able to already eliminate three players from Navi. As we do have one player still alive, we're going to be switching over, though, as you can see on the Illum feed as well. Nine Cs being able to take onto, onto another team and actually eliminate it. There's so many fights actually going on, and it, if I'm... Not, I'm not oh, honestly surprised. Better? So Got a thirst on DX? Right now, considering that they, One kill for NHP? Really seen each other nice! Recently. Well, they are they are pros for a reason, right? They have the ability to adapt as they have to. Now, team are they doing the hard drop? Was coming in with a, an interesting I think they're doing the hard drop for NHP. One positioning for we can NHP see. one point so far. Ooh, but the shots starting Bro, I'm going to be so hyped for this, guys. Now the pressure is on still, right? Because as we can see here, Regnum, they're going to be holding nice and steady, not going to be looking to expose themselves too much. And I think right here and find none, there's quite a bit of ground to try and establish. Did the catch one off guard or they're hard dropping? The Come on, show the feed, bro. From this, from this prelim, is wanting to fight against each other. And something that we definitely need to mention is we already have a team that's already been eliminated. It's going to be Virtus Pro. They are out of Sandhawk. Not the way you want to be able to start prelims. But as we mentioned, Wait. it is Sandhawk. It is a lot of madness. VP's Anything out. can happen here. You can either Wait. win it or you can be gone back to the lobby. Oh, Inko got the completely win. wipe on Navi. Wow, two teams are out them. in the first, the like, five minutes. Start seeing a little bit more. A little bit more urgency and consistency because I don't think, DK, they want to end How about showing the fights? Jesus. In that last game. Stop Just showing people holding angles. To the main event by one point. They need a. They need to hire the uh, PL cameraman and, and the uh, PL spectators. The back of Team Liquid, Liquid here. securing kills. Team Liquid is gonna be the one. In. The beautiful Top A, I feel like. Rotation. I think this is where Team Liquid is really gonna show their capability. I mean, they're starting to encircle everything here, right? Regnum, they're really gonna have to stand the ground if they're looking to progress further. They are, and I mean, we saw it right there from Team Liquid being able to get those angles, being able to get the off angles to surprise players from from Regnum. To be honest, the guys, to be honest, I am like more nervous when watching them play. And the thing is, this team them playing playing the games myself. Have to back up a bit when I'm playing the game, Karya, I'm actually this not this nervous. Part of but when I'm watching my team play, it's gonna be in a I'm nervous as hell. <laughs> if you guys have have similar experience, you probably you probably know. Like you you really are like. I'm more nervous well, when watching the, the game one, than playing in the than yourself. Back. Boom goes the dynamite. But now, well, the pressure has not backed off just yet. Uh, a quick repositioning also coming through on the side of Team Rika. Just trying to get themselves situated on the one front line before starting to move over. Still keeping a little bit of that Overwatch going. But now this is where Regnum, Garia needs to decide which engagement... Where's your hobby rate? Oh I'm my god. Go I'm gonna order the hobby rate detector after the stream and then we should have, we yeah, should have one Regnum, Garia, by the end of like tomorrow or something so that here, I can use it and display my hobby rate. Time that they end up giving team like literally my hobby rate I feel like is a 120 right now. Find those different angles as they're able to find right there Cardozo. Does FS speak English? Yes, he's speaking. We all speak English. So right now we're using a full N18. We're not using some random them PL players game. anymore. It's full NA. Oh, come on, wild we want to truly game. represent Red NA, and we're using action. NA players, and we the team language is English. Trying to quickly get those uh, max back on full capacity. Oh, already that. Ooh, the nice. Taking such a punch. Ayala. Continues to keep on the heat, knocking on the doors, trying to bust them open. But clean wipe plays. for Team Liquid. And team Liquid on RCB. Yet another team off the map. With other creative shooting, guys. I miss sure Globo. I miss Globo. Sure <laughs> We've been watching too many PLs. Like, they, they, they from the shooting crates are not allowed. Able to push together and making sure that they relay all the information there. That's why I was mentioning that this team is NHP. definitely one of the favorite ones to move on. At least Wait. from my end to the main How did they kill one of the DX? So well in, I'm confused. Not only were they able to get those four eliminations. How did the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the, the Baron kill one of the DX players?
I mean, talk about flow, right? It fits in with the name as well. So uh, Team Liquid doing some phenomenal things Just a, here. This is, a, gonna this is the OK zone for NHP. In towards that center zone. I Falcon, like the, death center the, with that compound. Very strong position. Starting to build up, but also still teams over on towards that eastern side need to get themselves established. I mean, Furia looking good. They've got some free rain there. We've got NHP also prepping up for a little bit of some sum, but Incor. They also have to make up a little bit of ground here. Nigma Galaxy. They do have to make it a little bit of ground. Well, you saw me. Them, the circle is still fairly Normally, they move to really, really late. Island at some point, because I'll be surprised if the circle even ends up going their way. But we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. When we actually get there, we have Smoke Game here. Smoke Gaming looking at ZM, trying to see if they can maybe spot somebody, get a quick little angle. Yeah, during first circle, first during, circle, first during drop, like they, well, I don't, the I don't think the they're doing the hot drop. Like why they're this like, team is just, maybe that player DC or something disconnected or something. Kuna, That's how better get a one kill. They used to play back in Team KSO in 2022. It's a lot of experienced Brazilian players, and I feel like they're gonna sorry, sorry about the echo. I was, I was having two streams open. They've never if I wear Nova, Nova will be playing. Check my description, and you will check. You will have the team list, and you will see the schedule of the PMGO prelims. prelims. I mean, what better place to do it other than and the main event? Right. Nova will be playing in the main event. They got invited directly to the main event. So in this prelim, top eight will qualify and play the main event. So these teams are really just fighting for top eight, to be honest. Looking at Smart, they don't have all that much to worry about, right? The a big chunk of the north is open. No one really pushing on them coming from that eastern side. So this does allow them quite a bit of an opportunity. Did y'all actually uh, take H FYS seating area? I didn't know, Knox. I yeah, didn't I know which seating area they're taking. I think Pinson is set it up. This as a lot of teams I don't think you can just like go to the arena like you know them. saying oh I want right this seat I want to take this seat I don't it doesn't work like that there on the top well. they're everything. just gonna be waiting now in we lane. can go over to Nygma Galaxy Nygma Galaxy I feel like this team I'm excited to see how they, the year is gonna go for this Wait, team now that is, Nig has is Nygma Galaxy still using the same lineup I thought they're getting definitely definitely new players no I can't wait they're still using the same lineup how Coops is gonna be every single year Coops has been getting better and better ever since he started in North America Final state from on that up four to six. I, I'm, I'm excited. Wait, is it on, fifth Coops, to seven? Show me or what you got. Check the description game, of the I, of I the live stream, guys. See some eliminations. <laughs> but I think another good thing about uh, what we see in Enigma is that that experience from Coops is rubbing off on the rest of the team as well. I'm I mean, making sure I'm not behind. Players, but you can definitely see a strong influence being delivered there. Uh, we could say a very similar thing about the Falcons, of course. We've we seen them over in PMGC performing so so phenomenally, but now. There's gonna be the action. English so commentary it's sucks. Packed in right here. A lot of which casters? Play also. I think which? It, it's something strange when it comes to setup. Which language casters are yeah, the best? Yeah, looking at your opinion. Here, being able to take some shots onto ROW, and I wonder if they're gonna actually commit to this. You're gonna need new IGL. It's very close to them. They need to be careful with that. The, the circle has closed in. Like my heart is pumping, guys. Inco Gaming, what's gonna be doing? <laughs> I don't even know what Inco Gaming is currently doing. I think they're, I think they're going to end up going for a very south rotation. So we'll have to wait and see if that team is going to be able to find a good spot. And now we go over to Team Falcons. Team Falcons being able to rotate very quickly. Oh, the sin in a circle shifts a little bit to, more to the south. Close. Well, position is gonna I wonder be if NHB is going to wrap around with this kind of circle. Creeping up on Zorin. We still got a little bit of action up in towards that northwest. Like wrap around, I mean, go teams that are yet to make a play. They are currently holding quite go north up in and go Paradise. east but and wrap around. First match, you want to take a little bit of a backseat approach, right? You want to try and pick up that momentum and maybe even just bulldoze your way into a potential chicken. Yeah, I think it's, it's a, definitely a time to kind of test out how some of the teams are going to be reacting. I mean, with how many hot drops we saw, it's just them testing each other out. Okay, if Shivan I was too excited this, that he had to shit. Be, be reacting? <laughs> how well are you guys at defending this? Which is your team? My team is... We were mentioning a lot of this team NHP. is maybe their face, the first time that they're actually facing each other. So they're just trying to get that a little bit Bro, of intel. Bro, it's going to be so... Before we go into the three Aaron goals, it got to look so bad here in this if end. my I team is like dead last in PMG Brilliant, bro. Let's see how this one plays out. Falcons doing a little bit of the scouting mission here. Just trying to get a good lay of the land. We can hear the shots now starting to pop, to pop off. So someone's getting busy with something, right? And uh, hopefully that something is going to evolve <laughs> into a little bit hear the Arabic uh, casting. I won't be able to understand, unfortunately. Everybody, it seems like they've got to be... <laughs> 
yeah, stuff like that. Gaming, just being on that, <laughs> being on top of that. It's gonna be so couch, fast. Waiting to see this, who's they gonna talk be so fast. Relaying that information it, to his. It team. won't be. It, and right now, I think I it won't be able to understand the word. Slow it down. Coming from the, the uh, Arabic casters, the right inside that are alive. Most of Bro, them have their three teams are out. Just make sure you get your positions right. Make sure you get ready in case you do have so this rotation and gather that information. If you do end up having and they should be still in the blue. Where do where does the team that's currently on the comp oh. if you do have to push it where they're currently located? Good zone. Good zone for NHP. Zone for NHP. We're talking about what they're we're gonna be doing. This what a good zone for NHP. What a good shift. Time to Hyper move out. That is still in the blue zone, trying to make it. But be careful the INS team though. The IN yeah, INS is that INS team? Right. That team is yes the INS. Seems it seems like INS is gatekeeping the blue. He's gatekeeping the team in the blue. The fact that Coops and Rauf here from Nigma. They've been able to find a decent spot coming in from that southern side, and of course now it's going to be 9Z also trying to get. Hey, Giovanni, but NHP qualified then, and also give away for sure. The heat as for well, sure. As we say it, no problem. It's going to be IW uh, NRX getting right down to business. Go to our Discord. Oh, our, my Discord to is close to, to, be able to 50k members in my server. And if I'm doing the giveaways, I'm, I'll be doing a a giveaway on my servers. In my servers. So make sure make sure you guys join my at least uh, the Discord the server. Safe and secure. This is what I want to see at Enigma Galaxy. Just taking advantage of a compound, overlooking everything. You can see Coops is going to be looking all over the place. He's got them chameleon eyes. They're going to be looking a completely different way on their own. And now it comes down to if they do find it, can they actually get that elimination? She fine. Do a flip no, every time NHP got a chicken. It's nice, right? You kind of padding your stats in regards to damage, but at this point, I think you, you want to you want you want you, want, you, want, you, want, you, want, you want me to get my you want me to get my uh for some of these back hurts that are in group right. They're gonna be sitting out tomorrow, and they're pretty much their main event hopes are gonna come down to the last day. NHP. Well. Let's see if Inco, full sending. Or change anything as we move oh, forward. Inco, Inco versus the Furia. For a little bit of that territory, but hey, hey, hey. Furia. Fade is coming in, finding that play up onto Furia. But of course, well, Furia, they might even get a little bit furious, right? Because you don't want to take the players down. You don't want to let it go. And I'm she even did get a Brazil racing time, time, guys. Kind of That's why I'm not playing. And the team's now starting to huddle up. Only 13 of them left in this current map. Yeah, with Furia now, they're having to push in blindly without being able to do a lot of research here. And they're going to be looking to engage with Team Falcons. Team Falcons just playing it very smart at this point, waiting to see who's moving around, waiting to see, gathering information and possibly trying to surprise the team. Is there a map that stream, guys? The there a map stream? Easy eliminations, as you can see right now. Only action is the one that was standing up, moving around, scouting, trying to get all that information. And as we're seeing that, Inko Nunes actually ends up getting knocked too. So, oh man, that that that's just a feels bad there for Inko Gaming, a team that was trying to get their way into the circle. And here we go, Team Falcons. Can they actually get some knocks? Then, as we're gonna be switching to Nenebete, Nenebete, they end up making it to a compound and actually get some knocks. And it's me. It's looking good. It's looking good. Furia, though. Uh, with an interesting decision, I think MHP is right? in zone. Trying to try and rotate One up, of them is still taking the blue. Not could be their Overwatch. made it out, but now, right, the Falcons, they're gonna come swooping in. I want to get those items, want to lock in those points already, sitting with two eliminations up. Oh, this is gonna be the final play action. Gets the job done, and there it is. And that's what I was worried about, Furia being Falcon able to four kills already. Earlier with Inko game. And NHP, oh, very nice zone for NHP. Without their head going into the circle. Oh, really Inko, here comes a full send. Much, but it kind of comes down with Sandhog. It, it, you can't really overanalyze Sandhog because of Better how do, quick doing all the info, Star staying in the back. Team Falcons, though, they play that so well. They Star should in the front, moment, though, because sure Star's the IG out. And they strike whenever they need it to, as Inko Gaming is just currently getting peppered here by Insanity Sports. Yeah, Insanity, they really showcase quite a bit of a performance. Back in Quali, Spalletti, where it's gonna Too go easy for Falcons, Marlin, guys. Talent, everybody getting themselves prepped. Freak got knocked. Roll. You can see Zebra Master also off in the distance, feeling the pressure. But now with the barrage coming through oh. from Insanity, I'm not quite sure. Very nice, INS, please fight Inko, so that the NHB can have barrage. a chance. I mean, if there was ever a player that you wanted to be the last one standing, it would be Nenebeti as he is currently the veteran out of that team. We do see Team Liquid now trying to engage into a fight here against Mo Gaming. How and is this going to end up playing now? They're NGX lost a player. Spots. Ayala might be able to actually spot one. He needs to NHP in zone, controlling the, side, the east side angles. with and one kill just and one pushing, point. Trying to, trying to get as close as possible and make sure that they get the first shots out. 
Kunha though currently getting away with it. He's wanting to get close as he does have that. Ayala. DPS. Ayala needs to be careful. He's only oh. just cooking. A Ayala. Grenade. He needs to take out his very nice back up. Oh, he gets lucky from Chief. He's able to get that off angle for him. <laughs> uh, Chief staying in charge, just specking the punches. But this is the way Team Liquid now really needs to get themselves patched up because there's a long, long play to go and they still have quite a way. Dude, why I'm so nervous? Jesus. Myth. Now keeping a nice little bit of a weight position here. It's going to be rotating up and just soaping that blue. But let's see whether or not they can do what they need to. No, instead it is going to be Zebra Master across the way just stopping them in the tracks. T-Bear Master said, okay, you're going to try to engage into that fight. You know what? Let me pop up this four times scope and see if I can actually hit those shots. They were able to do just that and they were able to th fully just throw out that player from Smokes. Insanity Sports there currently taking some shots as well. As you see, N Hyper now finally getting into the mix here. N Hyper, this is going to be the first time that we're seeing this team. They knew. A lot of rosters changes there have people. been made. How are they going to be playing together here? Don't get nated, please. Not being together for that long. Oh! <laughs> Well, I can tell you one thing, that nade looks pretty dang good. Now nice. Looking Suppress to uh, INS. Sort themselves as they make their entry up in towards the north. And I, INS need to, needs to... Shift yes. Very nice play from NHP. Suppressing INS back to the compound so that they can, more, they can have the heal to work with. And uh, they wanna see if they can actually, I feel like INS points, should not give up the heal to NHP. Even they want to win this game. In the team that's currently looking really, really good. That we're wondering what's going to be happening. As we do see here, Rollers of War, one of the players getting Bro, knocked. Got, I'm, I'm, I'm having goosebumps on my arms, guys. On the Northwest. That I, I can't wait to see if they're going to continue that. Then they're going to let those teams fight out. And when then the female casters and strike at the right if you time. Go to my, we saw them being able to do it earlier. If you want to see fe female Super casters, Masters, let's, uh, are they gonna try to commit and let's watch PEL next more. week. We'll be, be having don't female don't casters. Expose yourself because you do have players from 9C across the road that might be able to spot you. Yeah, that could be quite a bit of a threat, just looming in the shadows here. But it's going to be a world of war trying to get themselves moving forward. But I love the suppressive angle being held here by the Zebra Masters, right? This is such a great play to make. But can they defend it as they should? Now, it is going to be a world of war down to... Coops knocks people. Beasts. See those Elims just ticking away one after the other. Nade is out. Nade is loose. Doesn't find anything. But Cole Goat now gonna try and rush up the hillside. You're gonna make the noise as we do say goodbye. Now Donka is gonna be the last hope. It is gonna be the last hope. And then for Zebra Masters here, they kind of got away with it a little bit too, because that was a team that was just getting pushed back, pushed back more and more. I'm glad that they decided not to engage very early on, but by them being able to get pushed back and pushed back more and not engaging into that fight, now they still have all their four players alive, which at this moment, it's great to have. Nice. As I said, INS should not give up the compound. Nice. Two knocks. Get the rest. Caprizi got a kill. Nice, Caprizi. My baby. Yeah, and Hyper currently having to fight their way in. This is why I said INS should not give up the compound. Well. Should, they, should they not give up the heal there. As well, but now they're currently found in a very particular position. I hope they got those extra smokes because they are going to be seen by everybody. They got a clear inco. Try to move down this little hill. Oh, they got the res. Oh, they got the res. Not a lot of work, not a lot of room rather to work with as we do say goodbye to Team Liquid. Oh, this is gonna be hard for NHP to get in the zone though. Because the EMV is watching, the EM is watching. Themselves for a little bit of that play as they did get ahead over into the side of Nigma Galaxy. The Xavier also still having quite a bit of ground, right? I mean, they kind of teetering on the edge of that zone. But looking at what they're kind of facing here... I, I said Caprizi is the baby do, because he's 17. Caprizi is 17, guys. Caprizi doesn't really speak Talk English that well. And he's a 17 he years old. And this is his first official PUBG Mobile tournament. He has not played in PMPOs before. I know Not even PMCO. This is his first ever tournament. And Baron got knocked by ZM, as I said. ZM should have a sideline on NHP players. I mean, so FS, nice knock. For the Falcons, that is only half of the squad. We still got an IC in action, very securely positioned up in the zone. Quickly, I'm coming. Star to should be able to clear this one easy. But now N high nice. actually getting beat by so many angles, and with that, it is the end of the road. Insanity, out they go. Oh, Star trying to get themselves patched up. Stars not having as much coverage as they would have hoped for. Ah, oh, Nishmi's out. Look at 
the seven. They just big chilling over here, right? They Six don't see all place. Their face. Yeah, and they have played this so well too. They have pretty much moved from compound to compound. And you were talking about earlier if Nenemete wasn't able to able to survive. I, I'm I'm happy to see Nenemete still being alive. I think this is gonna be very close to the end of him. I don't think this this is gonna be a tough one for him to survive, but he's at least gonna be able to secure those placement points for his team. If it would have gotten eliminated earlier, there would have been zero placement points. He's at least getting them up a little bit higher. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit too hard for Nenemete there, but he does score those placement points. Yeah, it looked like a potential game of cat and mouse, but uh, yeah, it was Zebra Master just toying <laughs> with their fruit up ahead. Speaking of which, nice. though, it is going to be Nigma Galaxy. Three in the shack and Jerks. the way down onto D Xavier, who's got such a long way to go and a very exposed rotation should they decide to move. Well, they can't really make it to you because they have to, right? They, they have to move up. Well, and with that... Blue gets the better of them. But Seven Owl, I'm curious so, to see ooh. just how exactly Zebra is going to play this one. We'll have to wait and see. They're currently the team with the most eliminations. 12 eliminations. They're feeling good. They have all their four players alive as well. And they have the high ground too. They're I feel like if they, have, if they had the chance, I think they, they should have crushed it on the shot. They're going to let those grenades just rain on And them. wipe the Inko players. Careful. They don't want to let Nygma Galaxy get a little bit too close. Men are allowing this player oh, to actually make what a nade. That's very interesting. I thought he would have been taking some shots there. With the M4. Well, that nade came scary, scary close. We gotta watch out for Nigma here. They are definitely gonna be packing all the heat they can find. As we said with a 3v1. ZM with 12 3v4. kills? So Zebra Master definitely have the advantage. They've been showing quite a bit of capability, just racking in those Elims. Nigma could potentially be brought down to a two piece, but it's still Lord and Coops, right? That are is going to be looking for a little bit of change. But I like the spread though. Zebra Master trying to really just clear out this entire zone. Yeah, and that, that's what you need to do whenever you do have the, the amount this of players. This should be the ZM chicken on this. Could be something like area. Even from early on, crazy. we saw this team fighting. Oregon knocked. They've been doing it so well. And now they got another Last one. Right Coops there. one before. It's going to be just Coops. Could it's it going to be hard possible? though. Could Coops clutch this up? It's going to be a tough one considering that it's going to be a one before. But man... I would not be against it if we can actually start the year Coops, off for PUBG Coops Mobile did, Esports. Coops didn't have covers either. Clutch in the first game of PMG All Prelims. Oh, there. I mean, Coops gonna rest. This so rest could amazing. be huge. Like, I, I know Jukes has this the whole could be huge. thing, but you know, I, I, I just want to say the, the whole thing for Coops with... Coops with an eight. He can potentially... Clutch this one out, so he can potentially knock one player with, with an eight. Oh, he anything, missed. But now, I mean, Coops... He was able to pick up his teammate. Oh, they just got to survive for he is gonna survive. He's currently just making his way up, but he needs to be Coops careful. No helmet either. Get spotted right there. A lot of zebra players are. Oh, it's over. It's over. Around. There you go. He gets spotted. He gets knocked. Now it's gonna come down to Rove. Can he clutch up some it's shots? Over. It's gonna be tough when you have four players of zebra masters staring at you, and zebra masters being able to come off with the win there, a dominant win as well. 15 eliminations, 2,373 damage. That's what you want to see in the first game of PMG All Prelims. All those high eliminations. Oh, Seven, I got to tell you that they just strung on their way to victory. And what a performance. I mean, talk about carrying momentum, right? They started back in the qualifiers. Now, for the opening match of the prelims, oh, I think this is going to be an amazing day for Zebra Master. It is. Not a bad day whenever you are able to start. With 25 points on the lead. 15 leaderboard. kills in the first match? Which region are they from? And keep in mind, this team is actually Wait, in Group B, so they're actually going to be able to play today and tomorrow as well, back to back. They're not going to be able to play on the last match. So for them, perfect, from... perfect start for them. Whoo, what more of a perfect start indeed. 15 eliminations? Are you kidding me? These guys were able to lock down that main side Zebra of Master? Oh, it's from Brazil. Over everybody. Are you kidding me? They, they came from the qualifiers. Team. A team from the qualifiers. This is the team from qualifiers. Couldn't ask for a better start here. It's it's a Brazil local team. Yeah, you really couldn't ask for a better highlight. start. Oh it just kind of comes down to uh to what they're going to be able to do. How can they follow it up, right? Because we have plenty we have seen plenty of times Jukes and DK where teams do end up performing really well in the first game. They kind of just fall off. It becomes like a one-off. I'm hoping that that's not the case here for Zebra Masters. Guys, I'll do a reaction in, all honesty, in mean, tomorrow's live stream. Start, so for today, right? so, uh, let's, let's just stick really close to PMGO. So hopefully we can just see them continue on. With and also, if you guys like really out, enjoy so me doing reactions and stuff, well. I'll probably do like a reaction see, you know, series. Coops and the rest of Nigma Galaxy. You know, would you guys want to see that? There. It was a really tough finish, regardless. But they got some nice points. Like me watching players kill left and kill people left and right. 
Zebra Master, they just kept flowing, they kept going. But also we did see quite an aggressive performance coming through from several teams, right? Team Liquid, Enko, mm -hmm. all just packing in so many dang They have it from Canada, yeah. But uh, yeah, after, at the end of the day, right? Only we have US player as well. With I wouldn't win a chicken dinner. Yeah, what do you think about that strategy here, Seven, right? For a team like Team Liquid, right? They started off with seven eliminations, obviously going for those points early on, but they did get taken out early. So do you think that that was a good idea for them, especially, you know, since it's the first game of the of the tournament and it's Sandhawk? How many points? I mean, at this point, does a team need? An idea. I think it was something that they just for them to, to guarantee to get top eight. <laughs> just happened to be on their on, on their plate. And what the do you guys think? How many points? Anything about that hot drop is do a team need well to like to react to? I mean, secure to top eight up in the mountain, being able to get those off angles and then being able to relay a lot of information. The synergy was why Nova is playing. It was a pleasure to see. Uh, Nova will be playing tomorrow. Oh uh, no, Nova will be playing the main event. Twenty three hundred damage, DK. Are you kidding? me did you really expect out of all the teams that are coming in from the qualifiers it was gonna be zebra master to start off so strong if i'm being honest no right they they really caught me on uh, off guard on that one but i mean it's a great start a great way to assert yourself coming into these prelims kind of setting the standard here i mean they they went up against so many strong teams right we got navi in there we got regnum carrier we got smoke also being one of those exceptional performers coming through but you know they just found something that worked for them and Zebra Master. They just lined it up and they just kept on going. 70 minimum? Whoosh, non-stop, man. I mean, that's this is, like I said, it was the dream scenario for a team, especially one of the qualifying teams. Because when we were watching the qualifiers, I mean, I had it in my head. I was like, man, these guys are going to get Let me check destroyed the schedule by these partner teams. I'm going to be <laughs> honest. I mean, because these, these are some monster names. And to see this team start off with 15 eliminations, I can't express how insane that is folks i mean it is totally possible that we don't see a 15 elimination game all so nhp got it. six points yeah i think we barely in last match six team elimination i think it's decent in, to be honest i think it's so decent yeah, for, a great way just talk at least they didn't go out with zero i would like right? to see more and as we were seeing the leaderboard there they made galaxy with that second place finish they did end up with four eliminations and three out of those uh, for Let me see which team is actually playing from which day. According to what we were able to see during the match there. So it's good to see that not only is Nigma Galaxy being able to play like how we're used to seeing them play whenever they are able to control a compound. They take full advantage of it. But Coops is bringing in that heat as well this year. He's bringing in that firepower right off the bat. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting because here for the prelim, prelims, you got to remember, everybody, it's all about that top eight. That top eight is what's going to make you on over to that main event. It's going to be is it today A versus B? Right here, DK. Oh, yep, yep. Coming through with four Elams. The Zebra Master is definitely going to be representing. I mean, looking at the amount of damage also that, uh, you know, Neil Zada was able to find in this game, definitely showing so, so much aggression here. Six points every Zebra game they can qualify? That we saw coming in on the, the Zebra Master side. It's a good... Uh, so today's A versus B, tomorrow right, B versus now, C, and the, the last day would be, be A versus C? Is that how it is? Let me, let, me let, let me find it out. Let me let me find out for you guys, okay? I mean, for myself, for everybody as well. was watching, you know, I think you definitely got to start that single tap from long range. We just saw him. Right <laughs> not too there, easy, right? AD, and you know, top 80 is not easy at all. I think we see top 80 is not easy at all. Like, you know, too many players just focus on that full spray from distance, but that single tap showing up strong. But I feel like average. Yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned not only just if they can get tap, seven points per game, taking some of those fights too. That was what and stick what to it. They can qualify to top eight. The proactiveness. They were able to find themselves in a good spot. They knew that they had a good spot. So you know what? If nobody's currently challenging you, instead of just sitting down and being waiting ducks, be a little bit more proactive. They were doing that. They were affecting other fights. And they were also being able to possibly steal some eliminations too. So everything you want to see out of this team. Now, as we're going to be going into match two, as we're going to be going into Aaron Gill for, for the back-to-back-to-back Aaron Gill maps coming up. How are they going to be reacting? What happens yeah. if you end up having possibly I got the schedule pointed point, point, point it over, guys. Let me let me you do have two give more me a second. Come. Let me yeah, get the schedule the for you guys. As well as the fact that you you did so well at Sandhawk that it kind of gives you that buffer. I always say if you want to be a championship team, when you get those good opportunities, you get those good positions, you have to take full advantage of it, right? Yep. A chicken dinner is great. 
A chicken dinner with three eliminations is, is good as well, right? A chicken dinner with 15 eliminations right is here. insane. You know, so it's like <clears throat> astronomical. Sorry, guys. So, so you know, NHP is where, in you know, group B. Get that zone, you know, so they will play today and tomorrow. To have a game like I think it's good. At least they can play back to back. I think at the end of the day, if you're group A, I mean, I guess. Over to that main event. So it's going to be interesting to see how they kind of... Step I guess up Group C is the best group when it comes to the match orders because you can actually study other teams. Because right? Group C is taking the first day off. So I think, I think Group C is the best. Is be a great to see a bit that I think Group B... Right? I think the like teams in Group B are weaker than these teams in Group A and Group C. I know, I'm interested to see if we're going to be getting but, uh, with how the many map, we the in group, San or, group and the map San order Hawk, smaller map, is kind of bad for group B. Possibly, because for group B, they have to play with the group A teams and group C teams. <laughs> Maybe more? They Can won't have go? time to study other teams. Yeah, they, it's basically well, like, Let's go ahead and take it on you can do no research if you guys get on me. Do you guys agree? <clears throat> and this is here's the group and i'm here with the translator for him <clears throat> and i have a couple questions about the last match so are there any particular opponent or team you are looking for to face in the future matches so i think it's like a double edge for você primeiramente tem algum time o oponente que você queria enfrentar no futuro acredito que eu queria enfrentar a bra cupe and see get the advantage the one know the cut off you would like to um play with out como foi para branco so if you guys are awesome. playing this okay so do you want to be group c with the stronger teams or so you want to be group b win, the first match impacted the, the probably team weaker a little bit weaker teams but the influencers match orders are kind of like fuck, primeiro, fucked up for you o jogo ou seu equipe como será os seus sentimentos acredito que nós viemos vamos ganhar muita confiança pro próximo mapa e com isso acredito que vamos terminar o dia bem they believe that they will finish the day uh, well and that it will increase their confidence, has already increased. Yeah, all right. So I want to know the uh, expectations for the next match will be in a range of maps. So the, the team Zebra Master managed to go well, to go good in the range of map. Are you not joining PMG? Yeah, I'm as, doing a as party for PMG, para I'm not playing this Para o próximo jogo, o Zebra Master vai ficar. Como vocês vão ir? Com, com, como são as expectativas? Então, nós estudamos muitos dos times. É, e com essa confiança, acredito que podemos buscar mais uma, é, mais uma vitória. É, they have studied other teams uh, very well, so they believe it will be a nice game for them. Awesome. Thank you so much for the interview and good luck in the next map. Thank you. All righty there. That's how you get which it done. Country? So I mean, I mean, what I mean, more can you really my say? Team is? I mean, yeah, the great game one was astronomical. NA, NA, NA. We're a big chilling. You know, at this point, all we gotta do is just ride the wave, and we're gonna be heading to the main event here. Seven. Yeah, I'm just. Uh, you, you know what I was thinking in regards to uh, Zebra Masters is, do Brazil. I had to get one in. All right, I, I had yeah. to get one in. That one's out of my system now. Okay. <laughs> There we go. There we go. DK, do you have any other uh, slogans that we're going to be hearing for the rest of the day? Uh, nothing that comes to mind just yet, right? I mean, maybe for Nick Galaxy, like, if, oops, there it is. But uh, if this PMG, yeah. if, that's going to happen. It he literally has like the Man, I tell you what, if Coop strongest got that one before, among, among I would have been screaming, teams, Coops, you know what I'm really saying? Because like, are you kidding so me? Bad. That would have been insane. But I mean, there's nothing you could do in that kind of situation. Deeper Masters, they but knew honestly, that Chicken Dinner was like, there. They locked like, it no down and had it in the bank. So my question to this is just seven. You know, we saw the hot drops in game number one, right? You're actually but before in, uh, we get into that, adventure, we got to, of course, to give a big shout out to the hottest phone, phone right using, now. The real, real me. Phone. 12 which Pro motto? Plus. Elevate your photography with 120x zoom. It also elevates your gameplay as well. Go check it out today. And man, you know what? I'll tell you what. Hopefully, we see some more hot drops here soon. My question is this. Do you think that that is a strategy for them to try and, you know, really put their spots possibly for that main event? That's going to be my question. What? For for well, which for which team? Sorry, I didn't. 
Here Let me it's gonna be it's guys. gonna be four uh, uh, teams like you know uh, the, the some Increase of the, the teams sound? that we saw hot drop at the start. Oh okay. okay. Uh, I'll, nah, I'll just be Chris. So. I'll gonna just be Chris. The caster sound a little bit. <laughs> just the first game thing. That's why I was saying I was surprised that there were so many hot drops. I'm interested to see how many hot drops we're gonna be getting in the first Aaron Gale, and I think after that it'll probably just kind of, you know what, slow down a bit maybe until the last day where we'll see some uh, Team Falcons type stuff from the qualifiers again. Heck yeah. Well, let's go ahead and take it on over to a quick little video from Real Me. How to be a portrait master. Yes, I'm here and playing. Let me grab my 12.9 uh, inch iPad Pro and join this match real quick. Be right back. They should add a cute female casters like PL. Do you think global viewers? Do you think that can attract global viewers? Adding female casters for like PUBG Mobile, like uh, like for those global tournaments. DK game two Aaron Gill for the first time. We just saw what happened in Sandhawk. I can't wait to see. We've been talking about it with hot jukes. I can't wait to see if we're gonna be getting some more hot drops and which teams are gonna be willing to take those hot drops as well. I'm gonna be looking at over Pachinki, maybe some military base, possibly pre morsk as well. If you were to pick a hot drop location in here, where would it be, DK? Um, I would definitely go for Pachinki. Right, I want to see a little bit of that pachinki flavor, the pachinki spice <laughs> being utilized. <laughs> I mean, we did see a little bit of that over in, in the qualifiers, but I want to see, uh, you know, some added extra pressure coming through there. Yeah, and I think, I think, honestly, I would be surprised if we don't at least get just one hot drop, all right? Just, just give me one. I'm still on a high there from all the hot drops that we saw earlier from Sandhawk. We we're talking about Zebra Masters, how dominant they were able to be there in Sandhawk. Now with Aaron Gill, obviously a much, much bigger map. I wonder if they do find themselves in a great position. As I was all talking about hot drops, guess what? We're able to get one right away between Insanity Sports and Next Ruya. Who's going to end up winning this one as uh, Insanity Sports already has one player eliminated? Yeah, they've got one eliminated and one still coming in. So uh, this definitely looks like it could maybe still swing either which way and R versus it, it INS first, right especially in the early stages it's gonna be a little INS little didn't little do to coming INS didn't do get any of that too good last match as a, well even more now starts to crumble on insanity and here we go here comes the push next year you're gonna be going for it some of these players don't even have a vest if they're gonna be willing to oh he's gonna do a jump he's gonna do a jump time. on the player 
As you're on the window. Bit, can oh, he sure missed he it. Confirms that elimination nice. right there. And there you go. Being able Very to nice teamwork. Confirming that elimination from next Rio. Just one player. One guy watching. One guy still like, jumping the window. Sports, you can't really look at the both sure side for the defenders. Out of all the locations and I got them for a, for a nice. Drop. Of course, this is one that I didn't mention. <laughs> is we the legal in China? No, it's not. Of them, but hey, you were asking for No, we will be playing the main event. It, as we do oh, we, we actually have a hot drop Pinky. between Nigma Galaxy yep, and DX. Yep, it is going to be Nigma Galaxy and DX. Oh, and HP also has a hot drop. That is where Nigma likes to go. So I'm curious to see Which if uh, any of that is going to be happening. In the meanwhile, we also have a little bit of action here with N Hyper all the way over into the side of Lepopka. So. I want to see what Virtus Pro are going to be bringing onto the battlefield because we didn't see that much from them over on Sano. Is it? Yeah, I wouldn't get a chance to see any oh, of them. Oh, because of the knock. I think it was the first team that ended up getting eliminated. Nice. And guess what? They're going to be finding themselves in another better. drop. I was asking. Nice, better. Just nice pre-fire. I might just end up getting three. They might win this. So teams in a play as a team. And, as well. and, and Hyper, one and of I got the thirst on the second floor. Surprising me with the way they were able to play off that Sandhawk. Having to fight their way into the circle. Fairly a new team. A lot of the players I have, I'm actually not familiar with. And the main player that I am familiar with, Shifan, is currently not even playing. So, she can we playing. continue to see more adjustments out of N Hyper here? As everybody oh, be here for the nades, better. NA hopes. <laughs> oh, better! Let's, let's hope. Uh, no, why so they push? Just they traded it, though. Right on down. Now, oh, this should be the signal for them to push. Caprizi? Uh, Capri though, is still looking pretty agile. Wait, Star is not even here? Yeah, taking a really interesting approach here. Yeah, yeah, very interesting indeed, because they, they ended up sending one player that waited for the player of Venn Hyper to get knocked, and then all of his other teammates actually end up sending it as well. And Wait, how come they didn't get a thirst on the players, second floor? players actually still alive here from Virtus Pro. They're going to start getting enough angles. And Hyper might need to slow it down a little bit. I know they're currently seeing red. I know they're currently seeing elimination points, but they need to be careful because Virtus Pro is now starting to set themselves up here for a, for a much better fight that's going to end up favoring them. I mean, talk about striking while the iron is... Oh my gosh, Star got knocked. Both teams essentially trying that. And of course, Milky Way sending stars. Get the, get the thirst. Way back into the lobby. Now let's see. For God's sake. Capri trying to defend their compound. But it seems like uh, Virtus Pro is just slightly dialing back on the aggression. And I think that would just be just right in coming? time with Furia now starting to move up as well. It is, and considering that this team's right now, we got a chance to see How earlier. Star the knocked? They are so far away from it, too. At what point do you decide to just back off? You know what, Virtus Pro, you got one elimination. You're more than likely going to get end up getting another elimination here because I doubt in Hyper is going to be able to revive that player that's currently knocked and down. When do you start focusing on what that circle is going to be? Because that's going to be a tough. Fight. How do you, why and didn't they thirst the guy second floor? Really waiting for them. There you go. Who, stars who knocked the guy there. second floor, guys? Who knocked the guy second floor? They're chilling on the background there. At least the Furia side will be, as you can see them up on the hill. So there's quite a bit of pressure now on for N Hyper and Virtus Pro. Oh. The shots start. The offense goes about to get knocked by the third above. party. You see Furia also starting with a beautiful spread here. And I mean, if N Hyper played this one. Yep. Carefully, we could actually see them potentially nice, Kabuzi, catch one towards that northern side. Well, this is now the go time because Milky Way just got spotted. Get the thirst, and he's more nice. likely gonna get, up, get in eliminated there as Capri was able to put some more shots there for in hyper fury. I just trying to get lucky here, trying to see if they can possibly third party any of these fights going on. And hyper is gonna end up getting that elimination. And I think for virtuous pro, we're hoping guys, you even mentioned it, they're starting to back help up me. a little bit more. I think they didn't fully commit to it because they ended up losing. Could you guys play. rewind it? And now see who knocked the guy second floor. Into pretty much an equal. It's still two players alive from each team. Nobody ended up winning, and now we're gonna find ourselves possibly in a bit of a stalemate. Who knocked the guy second floor? Zone, even Whoever knocked the guy second floor. A lot of damage. It is going to be setting you up to get third party like not right now. Nice. Furia is looking to get that third party ver Furia. versus Pro. Getting another <laughs> player eliminated from their team. Uh, but I got to say, it looks like Furia oh. is looking to do the... And Jax and Jax is fighting. In Lepoca, right? I mean, they just fully encircling them. But speaking about encircling, we do see a little bit of that now happening. Shivan Harid is reaching 200. Enigma Galaxy. Well, at least they front line. Right? For sure. Bad. Going For up sure. Onto the hills. It's a free gun knocked by DX. Trying to find a bit of an opportunity. Lord down below could getting could be getting a little bit of that hard hard action coming their way. But both teams are just so cautious here. 
Yeah, one of the players there from Nigma Galaxy does end up getting knocked. This is the only thing the biggest better knocked him. I do have for Bro, Nygma huge error from better than can be so why didn't he thirst that player already set up in a compound? But when it comes down to them having can you tell me why Hora is pushed not playing because Hora will be playing tomorrow. Hora seeing group C set. to today. When we saw one of the we have downfall, especially from last year, PUBG Mobile Esports group A and B playing B and C. Hora will be playing tomorrow, but right now it's currently backfiring as one of the players is currently knocked. Yeah, it's a tough one to try and find a little bit of that recuperation, but at least for that, they've got coops, right? So, coops with the recoups, that could maybe be exactly what they need to do. We were talking about uh, Lepovka as well, right? We did see Fury on Bro, better and Fini. Better and was feeling too good. To rather disengage and head back in towards the zone. So, there could be even more pressure now starting to mount up in towards this Pachinki region. So, regardless of what, what's happening here already, Xavier nah. and Nygma. Let them right. get the They're revive? Very when you are literally the first floor, and you knock the guy second floor, you 100% need to thirst that player. Oh, nice. He's not. That means that they might be able to actually pick up their player, which is impressive. They actually got the Raz with they zero, zero HP. Frick is zero, zero HP. Koops came in clutch and saved the day. And they're able to bring him back to his life. NHP part of Nova Esports is not, but uh, two teams are in uh, good relations. Speaking of which, <laughs> here comes Navi. Navi, right? They're like, you know what? It's about time. Let's move up to church. Let's see who's knocking around. And maybe oh my god, this zone. <laughs> Navi, F for NHP in the chat, guys. Exactly F for NHP in the chat. We're able to see it right the zone literally go all the way to the west the still going when they drop on. east. Furia being able to rotate out. We didn't see any of the other teams, though. We didn't get a chance to see any hyper. We didn't get a chance to see Virtus Pro being able The better thing about this hot drop is that uh, VP... And the loser, they, they both have, have they both have no vehicles. They may all they may all that to zone. He's gonna end up being Virtus Pro as only one player is currently alive, and he doesn't have that much shields or vehicles to try to make it all the way to the west where the circle's currently at. I think at this point he's not gonna be, uh, you know, I, I don't think it's gonna be all too hopeful because the big bad blue zone does pack quite a bit of a punch when it wants to. Fortunately, it's still stage two, so they could maybe be some slither of hope somewhere. And I mean, speaking about slithers of hope, right? IP6 is gonna be needing all the hope they can find at this point. Rather isolate from the rest of the team. We are seeing the backup now starting to pull on him, but look at oh. this. It just hits. Oh, Navi's out. Back to back. Talk about missing back to back zero points for Navi. Neck right there. I honestly thought that the Navi player was going to be able to surprise this Moog's game oh, player, he, but that oh. didn't end up happening. Can they see? Oh, okay. This VP player? No. <laughs> that too is, late. That has to be one of the biggest surprises so far for me. I thought that was going to be an easy knock, and he was going to be able. If to I was, reset his team. if I'm the VP wow. player, okay. I will shoot every single I, tire I, just, I see on the road. Myself. It's, it's prelim seven. Slow down. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Sign sealed, delivered. Ooh, top took themselves down. I think they were maybe moving up in a convertible and they tried to take the top down, but they pressed the wrong button. And then top went Bro, down. Bro, better. To the roof, but you know, whichever way. She's 100% third star guy. Uh, yeah. And this hot drop between Nima Galaxy and DX is taking uh, forever as well. And DX Xavier. They've not really made any decisive plays. I mean, the blues aren't swooping on in. It's going to start clearing house. And I mean, this is now going to be a very essential play for both these teams if they're looking to get back in zone. Yeah, and that blue zone now is starting to cause a little bit more damage. It's going to end up affecting these players when they do end up fighting. So they need to make a decision and they need to make that decision quick because if I'm not mistaken, right now, Dick Savior is going to be in the best position to hopefully find a vehicle in that garage. I don't think Nygma Galaxy. There you go, Nygma Galaxy. This is the right choice. This is what you need to do. As D Savior now is going to be trying to make that push towards them and trying to clear every single thing possible. Well, if all else fails, they can always just run, Forrest. Run. It's going to be a long, long way to go, though. But I like the fact here that we see Kuz it's a self knock. starting to try and get up. And no way, it's a self knock. The rotation coming through from D Xavier. This is a, a good strategy. But Freaks also keeping it nice, down and quiet. We do see the hits starting to line on up. Freaks now springing into action. Does miss out on the hits. But, uh, well, it's keeping D Xavier kind of pinned down in the compound. 
it is but as you're going to be able to see here especially for freak he is not going to have that much heals he needs to make a decision and, and i feel like this engagement is taking a little you bit too find the vehicles? i don't think so with how far away i feel like two nhp player made that two zone are the if i'm nick mcgalaxy i would say you know what all right we didn't end up all they need is for four more points Let's just they need a four more points. Savior needs to be the aggressive team. They need to get at least six points per game. The aggressive push here onto free. They need the four more points this game. End up One of the players is actually going down from any HP. Like Lord, like hoops. Anything can happen Freak. here with this engagement. Solo in front. That they currently are. Look at how, how their health is currently positioning themselves. These teams are fighting Putinki. Meanwhile, everybody's currently sending themselves out there towards Hospital, towards Everest. Mm -hmm. They're taking too long, DK. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be a big uphill battle for a lot of them. And Krups now getting picked up as we do see Nate just locking in the spray. But I mean, they got to have something happening here because Krone here for like 20 minutes you know, straight already. All the way to phase four, and the blue zone. It's not your friend. Oh, right? What did Fri this Did you guys see uh, Frick's black? So you gotta get those moves cracking. Let's see whether or not Freak can find any plays. Persian up top. Ooh, cooking some nades, looking to the <gasps> but instead finds himself. Oh, Parajin knocked himself. Oh, oh my god, Freak! And then Freak forgets that he throws a mom. What is this? What, we got what is this game? Way, we got a double is this a PMGO? The pressure kind of got to them. They're what talking is to this? Them. Say, well, that, that didn't go according to plan, boys. Maybe we don't hot drop each other anymore here in Pochinki. And if we do, we'll what is this? Faster too. Talking about some of the other players that were knocked earlier. I think this savior. Parajing knocked himself with a nade and freak. Because of the blue Step on the molly and knock himself. This savior in a way they do. Oh the my way. god! This Why did I just watch? Lord, oh wow! They're actually not even backing up. DK, they're they're committing to this fight. They're committing for these extra points. When I thought they're committing for the full. <laughs> For the full marathon better didn't thirst the guy second I mean, floor it's just Lord that's here, is right? like Lord, i mean just lock it in those sprays Raul absurd playing a little bit safe right Raul and now it's even more absurd back up <laughs> into what zone versus pro is gonna be the next team to fall Lord though not done with the xavier right want to get a little bit of that vengeance play a little bit of repayment oh what a name the xavier oh. Oh. Beautiful. Ooh, uh, DX is winning the hot drop for some for some beautiful, reason. Beautiful grenades there by Perry. Maybe that's 200 IQ from Para. Because you know he. Had the smart play Wait. As he fully that's ended up back that's not even 200 IQ. That Molly, Molly was for that, that's Frick's Molly, right, guys? As to why they Frick got the knocked by his own Molly. It's not even Para Jin through the Molly. I just realized. I thought he's like 200 IQ player, you know? You like Para Jin with a new, new like Frick with a step on the Molly he throw, but like it turns out it's own, it's Frick's own Molly. Closer to the circle, teams that are currently not in the blue, like Team Liquid. Did NHB yeah. find it? Oh, NHB actually went in! Oh, okay! With the full send! Can they, can they, they get it though? It up, right? Are they gonna oh, they got knock! One of the NHB players got knock! They're taking the ones? Or... Oh, they got the res. I think NHB got the res. Yes, they got the res. Okay. Yeah. Good position. That's crazy. DK. I see, I see. Three kills on the board. Currently looking at. Three more, hyper. three more points. Started off with possibly one of the furthest. Three more points. All the way. They were the literally the furthest the map. team, they, and they managed to like force it into the circle. Okay. Being one of the only teams that's currently in the. In but the better, man. Position within that circle. When, when you do have, have a private call like after the, the galaxies, not even game day today. Oh man, you know what? First day, first couple games. I'll, I'll give him a break. I'll give him a break. But boy, if this happens again later on in the day, that, I'm just going to be scratching my head. I mean, but I guess that's what happens when you're out there sipping on some blue juice, right? Too much of it is not that good for you. Sometimes a little bit of a taste, I think, would suffice. Speaking of taste, Ooh, team though, Liquid versus team RCB. Liquid getting sipped up here, as you can see. Regnum Karia just knocking in and pushing through. Don't go with oh, he stumped the molly again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no. He's Metric. No, no, steal the carry, carry no matter which him he's at. Oh, the carry <laughs> uh, DK, for Mathic. If I'm wrong, but is that two people walking into a Molotov? And if he still has an NA team, yes, we do. I, I think they misunderstood the term hot drop. Oh, here comes the ZM. That's much as winner. Right. That could also still mean a hot drop, but uh, that's not what we were referring to. We were talking about the teams dropping in hot. Speaking about hot, though. 
Next, Ria getting ready for a little bit of a play up against the Zebra Master team. And Zebra Master right now with their four players alive. And as I say that, guess what? I end up cursing them a little bit because one of them does end up That was self-knock as far as we were showing on the screen. The you mean the VP knock at the beginning? Shotgun. Great Better indeed than knock him. Here by next Ruya, as now they only have to worry just about one player there from Zebra Masters. He gets eliminated. Zebra Masters not really being able to follow up on their amazing 25. first game in Sandhawk. Oh, as Falcon. Eliminated there with just one elimination. And we Looks dominating. Ever smoke gaming, getting pushed here by Team Falcons. Yeah, Ooh. Place they pushed like oh, cutting oh, a cheese. Be Falcons trying to get themselves pushed up on oh, Everest. I see. Ooh. Nice Huge turn knock. Oh my god, her. this Falcon team, guys. Oh, the just keeps on this Falcon team is filthy. Down to Mus, right? Everything is going to be riding on this next play. <laughs> oh, and the Inko in their back. Oh. Team Falcons. Even if they don't have the Inko high is at the Falcons back. We expect out of them and a high first still being able to cuddle up there in that shack. Are they going to have to move us? We see that. Koi is on not right hand side. in HP anymore. And more and more and more. If because we are using an English, here, we're so using an English lineup. For them Please, don't God. Circle. Here we go. Where Please. Go? Is he gonna go? Oh up my up God. Oh, he actually goes towards Everest. It's just Get a little bit. Falcons being able to engage into that fight early on ends up paying off. Theoretically, yeah, they could have survived a little bit longer for NHP, but I don't think they have the vehicles. <laughs> they just needed two exactly. more points. I don't think uh, I, don't, I don't think that's the sound that the Falcons make. But uh, you know what? Please feel free to correct us in the. <laughs> for this is a watching. This is gonna be a Falcon dog, guys. What sound do they? Actually Falcon wins this. Team Falcons are gonna reposition themselves here a little bit more. Another team that is currently still alive and is within that circle. It's gonna be Inco Gaming. I saw Inco Gaming there towards the west, and now we have nine C's. I was talking about them earlier. A lot of variant Latin America players. Choco has been all over the place. This man, it, it, it's a it's a one man wonder. He's been in NA, he's been in Latin. Now he's being able to play here in the PMGO. Very very experienced. Is that gonna come into play here? Are they gonna be able to do enough to possibly take over Everest, which is gonna be a top? IHC will be playing in the main event. A very very strong team. I mean, at the end of the day, or any time check my description if you want to know. If you guys want to know the format of the PMG, but all we gotta find out because they come rushing straight up onto Royals of War. But this is an opportunity now for the Falcons also to swoop in and bring in a little bit of that contention here. Let's see whether or not Rivas and the rest of the Royals of War can hold on and just stand their ground. It's gonna be 9Z knocking on through. And if he needs heals. All over the place. And this is <laughs> Unfortunately, they cannot get any heals. The separation is gonna come all they have is a shack. Well, right? we got really Teams fighting here actually gives. Really also then bring in their own contribution from but man, NHP, two players, one player's yeah, one HP and one player's like half HP. That they, they have no heals at all. Part of 9C is having to back up a little bit oh. more. And here you go. This is I see he found some bandages. Make a push. Don't play just so defensive, especially since you do have another. Bro, if they have a full squad here, they can push potentially yeah, third party the fight at Everest. Make a little bit of a more push here, trying to figure out where Nine Seas is at. You can see Nine Seas. What happened to SDE? SDE is renamed. If they is renamed. Lucky and hit one, a, this lineup was acquired by Falcon, so now they are playing under the name of Falcon. Able to make a push. Oh, Choco, Choco, Choco! I need a latte at this point. Here we go. Let's see whether Choco can land even more of those hits. This could be a very easy push on through. I mean, so far, Royals of War got in the back. holding on to a very steady angle. But we do see these third party plays also now bringing in a little bit of a challenge here, right? Tonka, they're going to be riding the ridge. 9Z slowly. Do you want to see Falcons versus Nova in finals? One player after the other. No. It's so literally like PMGC, right, variant. guys? Yeah, nine C's looked like they were gonna Don't close in, in and, and if he's still alive, the they managed to no find a dip behind the shack. Himself alive. He's gonna I think. have to back off. They were able to get some good grenades here and there, but ultimately when they ended up making that push, it ended up backfiring. If I'm not mistaken, I think they possibly two players up getting third party a little bit too by two and two players like 40 30 person on them. I could, I could be Ooh, on that, players the dead, has a dead angle on all the teams in George Paul. If it was actually Rolls of War that ended up getting that I mean, it could be an interesting play though. Now, also, we do see Inko. FS Cuff knocked by play zone. The foot of that hill. And I mean, slowly, these teams starting to shoot. Like out, I think. Bit by bit, we do yeah, see an uh, next Rhea also looking for But that's only have no shot. We have them moving in. And Hyper, though, they're going to be shipped out. 
as they will not make it past that eighth position. So they have Wales four ballers. points this game, I think. Quite impressed. They are still holding yep. on to the top of Everest. Yeah, the way they were able to actually recover from that. Keep in mind, they did have one player that ended up getting... No, and these three players don't have a mask. They were They're in the blue to for too long. Defend. The push and also two teams were looting able to do and now uh, the they've, they've been able to reset control a bit more of that area now they don't have to worry about anything that's going to be behind them or on the east side of the map they're going to be fully focused on team falcons here and they know team falcons is there because team falcons has been taking on fights with anybody that's comes near their way i think nhp now has 10 points from team falcons I mean, if you're in range distance, Falcons, they're going <coughs> to... How many placement points for on eighth place? Uh, uh, one point. Which, Laura, it is going to be Furia also trying to just inch their way on through. And, I mean, this is such a difficult shift. we got Team Liquid also making their play moving up from the north. But you can see all those uh, all the shots just aiming down on towards them. <coughs> Icy, letting one loose. Not gonna this game is for Falcon. Are they yeah, find it? It looks, no, looks like it. They can potentially get maybe 20 kills. What do you guys think? How about a 20 kills chicken yeah, for Falcon? This is going to be a completely different animal. I feel like we're, I'm, I'm having deja vu here, DK. We saw a fight like that earlier for Royals of War between nine seas, but now it's going to be Team Falcons. And Team Falcons, we know what they can do if they do end up getting one of their players knocked for Royals of War. So they need to be careful. They need to make sure they back off a little bit more and let the rich take all of those grenades that's currently being thrown to them. Furia being able to get Mythic there from Team Liquid. That's going to be massive considering that they were really aware of where that player was going to be. And now we're just switching. There's so much action going on. You got Nenebete as well taking on some fights there and being able to steal the elimination there from Furia. I mean, it's go time, right? We are all the way up in stage six, about to meet the end of it. And Royals of War holding steady. Falcon starting to get... A little bit unrestless up on the top here. I love that push coming through from Nozad. Also just trying to play a different angle further down the hillside. But Furia, I'm curious to see what they're going to move. Uh, what move rather they're going to be doing coming into this next phase. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. <laughs> Whichever the Falcon by our being, SF? It's going to end up being tough. Uh, I think for so. Them, they kind of have a bit of a buffer between Team Falcons and Rolls of Wars being at the top, kind of looking out for each other that they're not able to overpeak and maybe take some shots on them as Nenevete does end up getting knocked and now he's going to end Ooh, up Ayala. eliminated. You know what he does? Is, <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Oh my we God. need to be careful with Team Furia and guess what? He ends up being Team he's Liquid dead. that ends up getting that. Oh, Ayala with the purifier. In a way from Team Falcons and now Furia making that push. You were asking what they were going to do. This <laughs> is what they're going to do. They're going to push on Team Liquid and make sure they eliminate them. They come in with the brooms, right? They're just going to be sweeping it up. But let's Sorry, see how I see oil, to the Falcons. money power. Something nice and steady, way, way up high. Inca also being brought down to a one piece, right? It's up to Vitale. But as we saw in the qualies, uh, the qualifiers, Vitale, definitely a super, super capable player here. Now the pressure is on still. Royals of War, they've now been able to secure themselves four eliminations. And they've not really had to move a muscle for the past few phases. So hopefully phase seven will definitely bring, bring rather a lot of that change along with it. It, it. it definitely could. And I think another change that we're going to be seeing and we got to keep an eye on as, the, as we got a chance to see them earlier is going to be Choco from 9Cs. I mean, I feel like this team's might have just forgotten that he was even part of the fight earlier <laughs> with everything that's going on for Royals of War and Team Falcons. Might not Commentators are really too quiet compared to PEL Commentators. Alive. Choco could possibly yeah. end up surprising some of these teams. I'm not going to say they're go he's going to end up winning the match. <laughs> even though if it does end up happening, that'll be kind of fun to see. But he could maybe steal some eliminations or mess up a fight that could engage here pretty soon between Team Falcons and Royals of War. Well, I can tell you the Falcons are definitely going to make that quite challenging for Choco to pull off. So, I mean, if Choco gets it, uh, that would be a very well-deserved winner winner chicken dinner. But first up, well, you got to deal with the, the Falcons up top here. They're just moving about, trying to see what angles they can find. And Vitale could definitely be in quite a tricky place. Yes, indeed, they are as Inca are also. 11. On a way. They got like, to like 15, to be honest, Falcons, for Seven, Falcons. All the way up to 11 <laughs> eliminations. And this is great control out of them, honestly. The way they're being able to just back up, let those. We talked about Rolls War earlier, being able to let the. Which team will you play? Uh, NHP. Guess what? Team Falcons is now. What happened to ST roster now? Now they're renamed the as a Falcon. They have that high ground with advantage. They don't necessarily have to worry that much about Royals of War until the fight actually begins. 
and this is just well played out of them and keeping it, it just keeping consistent pressure here on world's award two world's award trying to make a push here getting a little closer but guess what action has so many oh to my go god action oh my action. god the double nade from action and jeez he's gonna make that switch you can see it right away he wants to make sure he collects as much eliminations as possible and since it's is action married guys Falcons are now the one does action have when it comes down to marriage buff I mean, they are reclaiming territory like it's like no a Yamal from PEL. We got Chaco <laughs> hanging in the wing as we do say goodbye to the Royals of War. So, uh, I mean, you were you were talking about it earlier. Right? Is NHP playing? Yes, and the Hyper is playing. They were out this game really good at uh, eighth place with uh, three kills. Two. But Four points this game. They got like, six the points in the first game, so that's ten there, right? points in total. Maybe get some think position up on the high ground or they have the same points with the uh, new game galaxy so yeah, far. I think for nine C's right now, it's going to be a win for them regardless because they're going to be. Oh my God. They already have, they already have 15 kills. Top three minimum. That's going to be some massive placement points oh. for this team considering that they ended up with just ATN maybe eliminations 11th place when we went to Sandhawk. So a much, much better contrast here in regards to them. Not maybe in regards to eliminations, but in regards to placement points. Oh. As Team Falcons taking some shots there to Furia. Furia Spray check. Being able to start Got him. somehow. There you go. The car ends up exploding. And Team Falcons are going to go a bit on the aggressive there. And you know what? We've been hinting at it. At what point does Chaco decide to be... Maybe? Maybe now is the I time see. I start engaging with you guys. And Maybe action now is the time where I has try child. To see what's actually going on. No I wonder, right? No wonder. If you don't want to play good at like in PUBG Mobile, make sure you team. get married. I mean, and having and a girlfriend like is just sitting back, sipping will on only day, you know, get you debuff. You have to get married uh, with your girl. And I mean, looking at this point, oh, I see. Oh, this could be very well seen that opportunity, but Adrian. Oh. oh, down they go. Nice in, Choco. Now springing into action. Oh. Second place. Now he's going to be able to possibly third party this. this one versus <laughs> three? Circle. I mean, he's still with the knock. circle two. He's going to be able to spot one. He needs to be able to hit those shots. He's able to hit them, but not long enough. Can he maybe get at least one elimination? Oh, he got one. Forget that there's a lot more other teams. Oh, uh, action with the back. That was ATN. That knocked into a full Look at them. There for Chaco, Falcons, they are so chill. Surprise, surprise. They were like, good job. Good job. Win 18 kills. How many kills you got? Five. How many kills you got? Eight. And okay. They also okay. Good a job. Massive statement being able to back up this win with 18. That's right, DK. <laughs> 18 eliminations. Oh man, it just keeps on going up and up here, Seven. It's like we thought the, the first match was an impressive performance, and here we go with the Falcons. But looking at them, I mean, they just seem so chill. Like, yeah, we just did that. We just got an 18 elimination winner, winner, chicken dinner. And then we're not. If I'm making an esports work, I'm gonna that. name it as a oh, four married like, man. Okay. Bro, that, that, that, that team, four married men, are gonna get every single PMGC champ in the future, bro. Like this, Team Falcons, I mean, back to back matches in the top three. Remember, Sandhawk, third place, five eliminations. Now, Aaron Gill, first place, 18 eliminations. Jeez, man. They couldn't ask for anything better here. They sure could. Damn, oh better. Goodness. Okay, so why don't you um, push over with your team? I said that we might not. I was a so good. They, they got a so. Team. They got a very you nice opening. They basically got an right. well, I mean, isolated knock 15, right? on the uh, repeat player. I mean, yeah, you just saw their reaction. If they could just like yeah, stick with each other a little bit closer. I mean, Team Falcon just basically. You could have had it. This point, they're just like, yeah, I guess we got to work a couple extra days, you know, before we get into the main. I'm actually rewatching that. You know, business as usual. I'm checking who knocked the who. Me though, once these guys got ever. Everest. Uh, by the way, awesome to see a nice Everest finish, but what a crazy performance. At this point, 18 eliminations. They know that they just got to just, you know, lay back, relax, just put in some work, and we'll see them in the main event coming up to 7. Yeah, those Everest finishes don't happen, by the way. Oh, hold on. Oh, my gosh. Well, oh, that was just shot. so sexy that wow. I need to see it again and just not say anything because that was beautiful. And I feel like this fight right here is what ended up getting Team Falcons to win. You can see Smoke's gaming, Smoke gaming Wait. there towards the top. They had the high ground advantage, and then he kind of switched on them as Team Falcons. When the Milky player pressure pressure got knocked, that, that it didn't right show there, that engagement who knocked him. Up getting Team it Falcons didn't show on the live. 100%. That's all it takes, right? Just little couple plays. And you saw them already at, at that point with nine eliminations. And then they just steamrolled everybody. For a second, I thought Chaco was going to be able to come from behind. And, you know, third party 
at that perfect moment, but he just said, you know what? I'm gonna we'll set it on for down. Desperate man, out, you gotta be for Mary the man, bro. Shot, go back to the lobby and then bring it on for the next game, DK. I mean, what an impressive play. Lord. He didn't show who knocked the Milky Way player. Oh, oh, oh, oh. 3,500. I mean, what? Wow. Yeah, we won't see that again. 3,500? see another 3,500 This lobby is too uh, easy for our Falcons. <laughs> combine nine C's, Globin, Fury, and Royals <laughs> damage. And those three teams combined are just barely over what Team Falcons was able for to do. For a lot of scores? Nah, you're going to choke, Chief. Me right. not gonna choke. Is probably gonna Chief. End up telling me that I'm wrong. So you I'm will have a girlfriend that's debuff that's like Sook. Are my you? real me phone. Dude, goodness gracious, dude. 3,500 damage. When's the last time we saw a 3,500 damage game? Yes. Right? <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> right? Literally, that's insane. Insane. So, you know what? I kind of want to get into a little bit of some theories here, Seven, okay? Because we saw a, a, some more hot drops, right? Nigma Galaxy struggled, right? I mean, uh -huh. it was kind of crazy to see. At this point, you know, looking at the way this format is, it's all about that top eight, right? Uh, so, I'm wondering if these guys are just focusing on just trying to prioritize their drop locations for maybe the main event in the future, because I don't understand it. Uh, I, honestly, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened there. I, I was expecting a hot drop, even DK. I think DK... <laughs> NHP just lacked 3,050 damage was last. By the way, that, drop let's go, NHP. NHP. <laughs> ended up being, but DK, we were kind of going back and forth here as we do end up seeing action. Bro, the marry the man action. That they just took OP. so long between uh, between Deke Savior and, uh, and Nygma Galaxy to figure out what they wanted to do. By, by the time they actually figure out what they wanted to do, it was too late. They were non-existent yep. in the actual final of the match. They, they, nothing happened between those two teams. I mean, it's a little bit strange, Lord, because I mean, it's not a it's not a strategy that we've seen Nigma or the Xavier really use a lot in in past yep. matches. So that was a, a little bit of an interesting one to witness there. And of course, as you can see, it is uh, pretty evident looking at the at the rankings as well, right? Only finding two points. I mean, that was a very on the bright side. And HP Xavier as well. At as least they are always at the top first yeah, page. That's the only thing I could think of, you know, at this point is that these. Or right, I'll shut up in case I cast a curse them. Because, I mean, if Eating you're a confident squad, back. you should feel like, all right, we're going to get top eight. We're going to be in the main event, right? And we got to definitely yeah. make sure that come main event time that nobody's going to be dropping on us. So uh, oh, maybe. Juice. What? What do you think? Juice. Once we go to main event, it's going to be a completely different. That's animal. what I. That's, that's <laughs> what, I mean, this is the only thing that I could possibly even, you know, fathom. Because, yeah, we're going to have some monster squads coming up here in the main event time. But we just saw in the qualifiers, right? Teams would refuse to hot drop of each other because they know how detrimental it is. So, I mean, who knows, right? Maybe they got some bad blood or maybe they just said, hey, we're going to fight it out Ooh. and make sure we get the top eight the hard way as we take a look here at the overall standings. And after a game like that, no shock, dude. Ca -ca! Team Falcons on top. <laughs> All right, if Team Talkins do that sound, I wonder what sound the Zebras make. But you know what? We'll, we'll hold on to that one for later on. <laughs> As they weren't able to really follow up on their performance from the first match, they were only able to get one point here. Now we're going to go towards the second page. These teams are the ones that are going to be looking to change their luck, their day a little bit more. So we're going to be going into the third match. And Hyper, they, man, I'm actually surprised and impressed at how well they've been able to even put up points with the circles that they've been putting, with the fights that they've been getting on. But with Team Falcons, the way they played that last match, it was so beautiful. And I can't wait to see what they're going to be doing here in the next Aaron Gale match. 100%. You know, and that's why I love the fact that we're doing these back-to-back -back Aaron Gales. Because, you know, we don't really have to worry too much about what's going on. You know, it's just everybody's yep. just going to be chilling, not having to worry about it. And they have, I, I wonder if we're going to see a back-to-back -back hot drop. If we do, then they have to be fighting for those drop locations. You know what? Let, let's put this out there. DK, do we think that there's going to be another hot drop here coming up in the next Aaron Gill, or do you think they got it out of their system? I, I think so. I think so because there's a there's a little bit of a unsettled situation in this in this lobby right now. So I'm expecting a little bit of that uh, hot and sweatiness to come into game number three. They are in Brazil. Hot and sweaty, baby. That's let's go. Right. That's right. Because in the past, we've seen some hot drops like in game number one just to kind of like lock down yeah. that space and then usually whoever wins they leave right but with that pachinki position i don't think anybody won right seven 
Yeah, they both lost. I, I mean, you could say the Xavier ended up winning because they ended up getting, uh, eliminating more players from Nygma Galaxy. But I wouldn't be surprised if Nygma Galaxy goes to it again because it was so close and maybe tries to react a little bit faster. Keep in mind, Nygma Galaxy, and it, something that we even mentioned during that match too, is they play so well when they're set, man. When they're set, they are a very scary team. But whenever they have NHP to and the casters and Beast and Shifa, whenever they have to actually push to it, <laughs> while Shifa is eating cherries, set, that's when it gets a little bit of a gray area to the At his team. home. And we saw that perfectly there within that within the Hadra. Yeah, but Shiki isn't really a, a place these days, right? Where you can split loot between two teams. You really need to have yeah. one squad loot it all up. So, I mean, maybe back in the day, we could see, you know, hey, we'll take this half, you guys take that half, and then we'll meet each other at the end of the day. But at this point, you saw them just battle it out. I mean, we got teams on top of Edgar, Everest, you know, making marshmallows. Meanwhile, these guys are in the blue, right? Just chugging it, like you just said earlier, DK. I mean, uh, that's the that's the interesting part of, you know, when the zone shifts over into Everest. It's, it, again, not a shift that we see all too often. So I kind of understand why the team really try to dominate that position, but you got to get that Pachinki flow going, right? If you see the zone shift, you got to, you know, hop on the boat, then off you go. Hey, you know what? Speaking of boats, right? Uh, the Fairy Pier hot drop. I know you didn't have that yes. one on your bingo card, Seven. I didn't. I'm eating. I had uh, Primors. I had Pachinki. It's not your typical cherry. What was the it's other like... One? Uh, but yeah, it's <laughs> like Pierre this was small. Not on that list. Focus, and uh, now within it's the second airing guild, this I, I small. I just want to see like, are have you guys just filled with each other because they haven't played like with this? each other before, or like maybe they haven't small. seen against each other. Like well, little, like play, small, small react. Cherry. Could we see more hot drops than just one? We'll have to wait and see. But you know what? All the, all I'm seeing right now is that Group C, which is going to be coming in tomorrow. Vampire Esports, Ooh. Fire Flux, Influence Rage, Team Case, Ahura Sports, Death Wolves, and I know I missed it one. Oh, that's right. Uh, Foot Sports. All those teams are just taking notes saying, okay, you're going to hot drop here. This is how you're going to react if this happens during that hot drop. And I wouldn't be surprised if come tomorrow, we're going to end up seeing some more. Dude, that'd be crazy. That would be absolutely crazy. But you know what? We got an awesome interview. Let's go ahead and take it on over to the main stage. So this last match was quite impressive. Team Falcons. So congratulations. And I have here the player from Team Falcons. And right now we are going to have an interview with him and have him, uh, his translation uh, translator here with me. Okay, so last year you guys were in the top two and then you came to the qualifiers. So right now, what's your expectations for the prelims stage? So to reach the highest stage, Last year, uh, last year uh, we were in a second place, but first uh, for this year we expecting to be a first, not a second again okay first place for team falcons let's see okay so only team teams advance to the main event are you guys setting any strategy to put your spot possibly to the main event in communication, team limit. We play what we do, and then we try to uh, we try to uh, better communication with team, and then that's it. Okay, communication is very important, really. Okay, so for the last question, I want to know what what do you think were the key factors that led your team success in a Ringo map? good position it's Everyone with the skills, with their skills, and then with, uh, most important is the communication and 
Okay, awesome. I think uh, 90Z were pretty much angry with the guys. So do you think 90Z will come for you in the next map? 90Z short arts the game. You guys are trolling hard. <laughs> yes, come for us. Yo. We will be waiting. Okay, so 90Z, watch out. Thanks Did so much for the live interview. Stream channel viewers all like this, or are you're, you're, you all are just like Ooh, watch so out in my chat. Keep your eyes out because Team Falcons are going to be swooping on Trolling in. Every coming single in thing. Hot. Hopefully, we can <laughs> see Jesus. some more of those hot drops as well coming up you soon. Guys. But we got two more Aaron Gales left, and then we're going to finish off inside of Miramar. But you know what? With these rotating groups, I don't know if these teams can afford another situation like that. But we'll go ahead and see coming up as we go ahead and take it on over to a video. ก็เสร็จแรกของพายเป็นเซตจุกใจครับว่าเอ็มโฟมีดีครับเอาไว้คอร์สในมีละมากครับแล้วก็ต่อไปเซตบ้าพลังดีบีเอสเอ็มโ
I mean, two of the top teams. Honestly, in the for this world, kind of scenario, right? you don't really want to hard drop. To be honest, because you use. Oh my god! Get the car and get the car and go to melee right now. It's the PHP needs to seven. get a car and it go to go to melee right now. Base, Let's go. I'm it's all a zone. What I was actually hinting at is that in oh my god, the high drop thing and yes, virtual bro, do Wait, end up close, should, should end action. up landing close to each other and get. I want one. action. Don't we show the action, drop please. Again, but would were wondering if it was gonna happen. <laughs> it's happening again, and I think this time they might be more willing to fight and figure Falcon this out again, as yes. soon as possible. As Lore is gonna have a vehicle too. If they do need to back up. There's a vehicle there. They're a lot closer than they were earlier. Yeah, this is just still going to be a in my dip. opinion. I mean, at this high level, they it's going to be... Sh they shouldn't fight I mean, the, ch the chance of you actually winning this fight without losing one player are so yep. slow, oh, right? Here we go. So, uh, but Koof starts it all off. The entry I knock. What, though, if it does end up that way, then that oh, team has got to give up the spot for sure. But you look as you... What did I say, right? You know, Koops goes He's on out, gets that knock finish? first. Gets knocked back right into the turn. For so let's see how the rest of DK ever try to play this. Nice little off right there from Nate. Don't make the and NHP mistake. Trying to open bro. things up. Switching to FPP. He's got that vector. Oh, this could be a 2v1 situation. He's in trouble. I think it is going to be a 2v1 situation as Koops is now trying to fend the mob. Koops beginning one player very, very low. Is it going to be able well, actually? It's not even Koops. It's Raouf. Many? He's going to be able to get. Oh my gosh. The switch up. He ended up getting yeah, absolutely destroyed, but well, he thing. did get them very low. So if Nick McGalaxy wants to continue on with this fight, now would be the time to make that push. If he throws a coup, yeah, both players, both go cut a solo. A player sacrifice, so That'll it's gonna be, be pretty much a lose, for lose in this situation. And uh, you know, regardless of how confident you are as a squad, I wouldn't want to risk it. Is it matter now? I really like don't want to sit out and just risk, you know, on my main event life stake on trying to secure a, a particular drop location. So. Both these teams obviously want that central spot of Pachinki, but at, at a certain point, you're going to have to decide, is, like, is it really worth it? Because I mean, uh, both help these me. teams lost the player. You can see that kind of hesitation uh, don't spam, at this point. Because it's, just, not. What is it's such not? a hard fight to have, especially with such low loot. Yeah, and the crazy part too is if we currently do end up looking at the leaderboard there to the right, those two teams are 6th place and 7th place, and guess what? They're tied with the exact same amount of points. And then eighth place, they also got eleven points. Nine and ten currently at Showing ten. And, and all another one on top of that, Jukes, is that group A, that Nick McGalaxy is gonna be part of group A group A. They're not gonna be playing tomorrow for Dick Savior. They are gonna be having to play tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken here, with me looking at, at the at the way that the groups are set up. So mm -hmm. to come tomorrow. It might be a little bit easier for these teams and then come on the final day it might be a little bit easier on this on these teams so i don't know why they are so committed to just keep on taking this hot drop when it's really not needed yeah we like them it's fun to watch but as you were mentioning they were gonna they were bound to at least lose one player and it was gonna end up hurting them and now guess what the teams are starting to get set up where more than likely the circle in the game is going to end up finishing. Yeah, the only reason why I, I say that I uh, I kind of allow it right now is because, you know, here in prelims, no, the VP price already goes to the crossed. teams that don't make it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, if, there, if you're talking about NHP a big difference between, you know, first safe. and second, then you can't afford one bad game at all, right? Because you're going to yeah. really kill yourself on the leaderboards. Right now, the goal is top eight. So maybe you have a little bit of flexibility to kind of, like, really fight it out with the squad that could be in a main event but i mean still you gotta make sure you make it into the main event you know what i'm saying and like yeah. the way you're talking about the way these groups are gonna switch up and you're gonna have Stream some more great. monstrous squads come i mean these guys are gonna have to go against vampire and a lot of these other teams right so um for me the only way that i would see this is appropriate oh, if you're a team like Hawkins that has 30 points right? the roof once then again kind of I think that's their strat. Want, but these like, guys have, are always have that, a guy, always have an AT playing to be played, on top of the roof. Risky. Overwatching yeah, everything. It's a little bit sketchy for me as we're, as we're looking now what's happening here with the hot drop. I, I'm starting to get deja vu oh my God. again, right? They're, they're kind of trying to feel out each other, trying to figure out where they're currently camping, where they're setting themselves up. But now this is all the time that you're wasting. Luckily for them, the circle is going to be within reach. But 
Once they do end up Falcon with shiny on top of the they table, have to actually move into the into the end game. Look at what we Mr. never Pro doubt really Falcon, making guys. sure that they make their way never to the actual island, Falcon. which is more than likely going to end up backfiring because they were they have already been spotted. But what I'm what I'm oh. trying to allude to here, Jukes, is whenever that final push does come Mickey's down, dead. whenever you do have to Mickey's make the dead. decision to okay, where are they we going to park ourselves? Swim? Within mm -hmm. those final but circles, players saw them. everything more than likely is going to be taken. You're going to have to push in without oh, any scouting. Oh, deadly it angle just leaves you in such a bad this. position. You might end up getting four points from elimination points, oh, VP's which are so good dead. at all. But it, it could stop you from just having such an Navi amazing game. Navi knocked the VP player and it got the confirm. On in the then PNGO prelims. And this should be able to know that VP already crossed the river. Here is Navi. This is all the way at Novo. So already crossed the bridge. Pro make the swim and they got caught out. If they got the thirst. So NHP would have the info. Yes. No. NHP has the now info. Now they're gonna be in big trouble. Not the team. See, see who ha which ha dropped it with them. Already one. left. As you can see, Milky Way is like. And no, now uh, they can plan. On top of out, plan out their not locations. Not gonna be a good idea. But he's also start. He's maybe gonna go real close to it to try and get some air. But it's not looking good. No way. He goes to the same spot. No way. I don't think so. I mean, King has such a good spot there from the top that Milky Way is... It, he's going to be screwed regardless of where he ends yeah. up going. <laughs> Just camp it out and I... I think, oh no, he, he wasn't spotted. Okay, I thought King maybe did end up spotting him there swimming closer towards that, uh, that dead player from his team. But now, this is just going to be an L here for Virtus Pro as well. A team that they decided to land very close to in Hyper. I thought that we were going to end up getting that hot drop again. But they were forced out. So in Hyper, you could say they end up winning that hot drop because now they're more than likely going to end up taking control of that area mm -hmm. in Lipovka. But Virtus Pro put themselves in such a bad situation here as they just decided to go for the swim, not even try to loot, not do any of that. And now you have another team uh, in, if I'm not mistaken, this is Insanity, making that push. They've been able to loot. They've been able to at least get some equipment with for themselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Virtus Pro, this is obviously kind of like one of those, you know... Um just last second plays right just like an emergency oh i don't know what to do let's just go ahead and let's swim on over to novo and it's just not working out yeah. for them so let's see what they opt to do here they looks like we did see one of their players make it on the mainland and get some loot but i mean i could kind of understand why you're gonna go for this swim, oh. considering oh. that it's a military base circle what a zone but it's, this it's, is it's gonna be hard for gonna be a tough one here as we start seeing a whole bunch of squads start make that rotation on down to this island still a lot still a good chunk of the mainland as well yeah, am I seeing that right too? Team Falcon is kind of currently setting a, a bit of a bridge camp there. If you guys the were NHP bridge, players, where I, would I you go? It. I don't mind the Team Falcons. I mean, For you this guys were to dominate that last match whenever you guys were set up and take on fights as well. So possibly it could, we wow, could end up seeing hot a, drop a good still performance here in regards to Team Falcons when it comes down to eliminations. <clears throat> and now back to this. Oh fight. my God. It's just Lady on so long. is about to go to the knock. And then Milky Way. Milky Way is just trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to even be able to survive oh. this? As ooh, one of the players, huh? one of his teammates being able to cause some damage. Now he switch over to the Xavier. One of the players end up getting knocked there by Lord from Nigma Galaxy. How did he? Playing that roof play. Oh, that's a beautiful nade. Oh, how did he, he ate that one? Parage is in trouble. Got knocked Coops by realizes it. the Here other he player. Here he goes to get the finish. And he was the guy pulling on the, the roof. Zone. So Nigma Galaxy Didn't trying to finish this him? out as soon as possible because this is a Millie circle. Like I said, it's a lose-lose. They're going to be so late trying to get to this zone. But, you know, if any team could kind of pull off a miracle and a crazy rotation, it's definitely Nigma Galaxy. Yeah, and beautiful uh, Molotov there by Paragene, allowing himself to get that extra time to possibly get some more heals on his way. And now, Perigin versus Perigin Frick? DX, it's not looking Lord? good for them. Keep in mind, though, it's good. Nick McGalaxy has to wait the last one player. There you go. There comes the knock there from Nick McGalaxy. It's going to be just one player left there from DX. They need to figure this out quickly. That circle is not hurting still much, fighting but VP. we're talking about it. They need to start thinking ahead. They need to start thinking oh, about what's going to happen whenever they do end up making that push. And another no. team finding themselves here in a bad spot and hyper trying to make this swim up towards Navi and Virtus Pro. Yeah, you can see teams just trying to avoid that bridge at all costs. And then and Hyper trying to do that little swim tate on over. And it's going to be a tough no. one. Navi knows like, exactly with this zone that there was going to be teams trying to swim over. So they say, you know what? We'll just chill up here, go fishing, and soak up some points. As, yeah, look at that. We see Baton having to dive down. And D Xavier no, no, going to end up losing that hot drop. They say we're finally in sub conceding there to Nick oh Galaxy. Oh my god. Galaxy. They're going to be happy about that as it ended a lot faster than it did in the previous match. At least we got a bit of an improvement there. Now they're going to be able to focus a little bit more towards the other circles. Bro, making their Navi way is in literally fishing. Navi 
Yeah, they're just chilling, man. They're just oh, yeah. uh, keep Veterans swinging up. Unlocked. Keep giving up. There's a little point. You you're you're kind of helping me pad my stats here. Oh, and look at Don't that. Even Papa Blue's going to come in and soak up some points. And I think Baton's going to try to just dive all the way to the bottom. Just deny the points to Na'Vi at all costs. The rest of N Hyper all oh, getting actually spotted out. This is just worst case scenario. It, these, these swims are so difficult, especially when you have teams just staring at them. Not to mention, I mean, there's also been that that update with cheer park where you can literally just practice shooting at better you know, drone targets in the water so these guys are ready to go no they definitely are and i think this is one of the main reasons why none of these teams uh, talking about versus pro and hyper wanted to go towards the bridges because they knew that there were going to be some some camping happening even though that <laughs> was the suicide bridge. Squad? there is some camping happening as well from nine c's on the east bridge too and Team Falcons, they've been wanting this fight. They mean they've been waiting for somebody to come over their way. Mm. They currently are sitting with zero elimination points. They're kind of focusing on stopping here, Furia, from moving up. And Star got knocked. At, at what point do they also start backing up, right? At what point do they also start focusing on where the circle is gonna be, which is now the complete opposite to them, and it's gonna be a little bit more towards the East Bridge. Oh my yeah, this god. This is a great game to learn from, though, for sure. I mean, I think oh, for, yeah. <clears throat> for all teams in general, because when you have a, a military circle like this, you know, a lot of teams figure that that swim is an option. Navi accounted for that, and they were literally just soaking up points on that rotate. So I think a lot of these teams that went for this swim are gonna have to realize that, yeah, the bridge sucks, but we have no choice at this point. Like, we either go down the bridge and try to get some points the hard way, or we swim and just go out anyway with nothing. Yeah, I mean, if you're in the bridge already, I think that there's no <laughs> there's no going back for those teams. Like you were saying, they just have to commit to it. Navi, Navi left. backing up from Star this fight, zone? at least one player there from in Hyper. Capri is gonna stay alive, and somehow Virtus Pro still had one more player alive. Navi, you know what? Being able to exit out of that oh, they saw, gave they saw the with player. three eliminations, they're gonna be happy about this, as they are gonna be able to find Milky, Milky Way. Jukes, Milky Way was able to find his way in here, and also in the elimination Run. feed, we see Coops and Nigma Galaxy getting into a fight with other people as they were rotating late. Oh my god, ZM just oh, yeah. wiped the There they go, gone. So, I mean, we talked oh, about how, like, yeah, the Xavier Brazilian lost that. Skills. Both teams lost it, right? Yep. But we'll get into more of that here soon as we watch uh, Victus Pro go oh, down. I mean, that's the right play god. from Na'Vi, right? Hunt him so down, dead. get those every elimination point that we can, because... Millie zones can be unpredictable. We have this side of the circle all to ourselves. Let's soak up no, all the points. Yeah, I, I'm here. totally not shocked that they're gatekeeping in stage no. three here. Another point on the board. Easy, easy for Navi. They baited me. They baited the team Breezy. too. I thought Navi was gonna Last be backing hope. out from this. I thought they were gonna be happy with those three eliminations. Boy, they were not. They were like, okay, you know what? Why are you going there though? You go Caprizi got a car. Gonna be up in tower where people are currently at. Scott for us. Meanwhile, we're going to continue to collect this extra points, this easy points for our team as they're doing so right now. Yeah, so smart. Now, if the zone like went on over to the west side of Millie, Jesus. maybe you would have seen is them this leave qualifier? for sure. Yeah, yeah. Basically, the qualifier for the main there, event. Yes, say, yeah, why not qualifier. just go back? Let's just go ahead and just wait. You know, give them a little bit of false hope. They run on the open, easy points. And uh, now with the zone starting to close, they're going to definitely have to start getting moving. We can see some of them in their vehicles. Trying to bridge, predict where please? the circle... Go north, right? Imagine? Yeah, oh. okay, yeah. All right. Hey, we still got some of the bridge to play. It's, it's possible. We do, and then 9Cs is going to have to make that push. We do see Smokes Gaming, and we also see a fight here now happening between Fury oh, and Falcons. Not... This is a fight that's been oh. waiting to happen for quite a while now. Team Falcons currently having the upper hand. I see with the easy shotgun. Sends oh. him back to the lobby. There's and guess literally what? no Team teams Falcons, can stop Base case Falcon. scenario. They're inside the circle. They got the four eliminations, and they're going to be able to fully reset here. Oh, man. These guys are set up pretty uh, already. So let's see how they end up here, though. Meanwhile, Team Liquid... Getting punished a little bit here from 9Z. Elite coming on up. Simples got that. I believe it was S12K out. But Look they at so are many teams. fighting uh, in the uh, mid range right now. Nice shot. So many teams Taco. here. That's suppress a fire. They definitely want to get this fight done sooner One, than two, later. Three, four, five. And that's going to be it there for both N Hyper as well. Yeah, for N Hyper, for this team's Team Liquid. And Damn. then we're 9C. Good Zero for them points. being able to get some elim eliminations there, but they need to be careful because there's just so many teams around. And on top of that, they're going to have a scary team that's going to be trying to push through that through that uh, bridge on the east, which is going to be none other than Zebra Masters. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was Zebra Masters that ended up eliminating Nygma Galaxy. So they're going to be coming in hot. They're going to be looking forward to hopefully third partying some fights here. 
And now it becomes a bit of a stalemate with some of these teams. They're like, okay, we're in a great position. Well, you know what? Now it's tough. Well, let's just let they everybody need a dub else now. fight it out until we and actually needs have a dub, to move. But stay proactive, now. scout a little bit more, and maybe get some snipes. We, we need to see some snipes, Dukes. Yeah, I haven't I seen any yet. Oh, come on. All right. Let me see some of that bolt action for sure. It's definitely hard, though, with the military circle. Oh, yeah. You know, like this. Sometimes these guys are really wanting to have that DBS M4. That seems to be the meta. One of these days, we may get that bolt action buff that I've been praying for. But we'll see if that does end up happening. But, you know, we are just seeing some of these long-range fights. We see Zebra Master still holding down this bridge. Uh, and it's definitely not by choice. This is definitely the spot <laughs> they're going to have to hold down for now. As they're also keeping an eye on Inko from that ridge line. Because they could definitely spoil them for sure. Black screen. Yeah, we see Inko spoil some of the other team's uh, rotations as well in the earlier matches. As we do see Smoke trying to get a little Still bit of black? an advantage here. See if they could maybe spot anybody. And 9 C's Scream actually being able to position himself to the point Wait, where watch he it. might be able to take some what? shots what? there what for Inko. But you were mentioning, he needs to be careful. Zebra Masters is currently there within that breach. And then Navi... We saw what happened earlier with Navi. They still they, they ended up with seven eliminations out Crazy. of that juice. They couldn't ask for anything better. And now Team Falcons are finding themselves here <laughs> in the top spot. As if you guys were swimming players, like crazy. Icy, you guys, you guys scared me for a bit. I thought it disconnected. One of my favorite I things to like do is see teams that struggle internet on the out. first couple games just come out swinging. <sighs> you know, and Navi yep. had the perfect Like I'm literally scenario, sweating, right? I mean, bro. I will say I'm not even right, playing. That, that was the perfect Jesus. zone and situation for them. So the, but the thing is, they took advantage of it, right? They got seven yep. eliminations at the start. Now it's time to step on that gas and come back strong because, you know, with how many intense teams are here, you do not want to get stuck on that, you know, seventh, eight position towards the end. And I'll definitely talk about that more here in the future as we see the Falcons, oh, down to one player. Oh, it's just icy left. But look how well we just gave Navi a Navi's huge boost. They're looking to try to third party. They, were, they got to a to zero points back to back. And you were talk, talking about you love when a team does bad at this now point, after but then they're kind of turn it around. NHP and MVP, they they now they have a huge boost. Seven eliminations about to wipe way higher the last than player anything Falcon. that they got close to in the previous two matches. As in the previous two matches combined, they only ended up with just one elimination to their name. So if they can continue on, seven sixty nine viewers. Let's go. There within the Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure performing. you like the live stream. Let's make it a six hundred likes. Though, really quickly though, they are trying to Kindness decide deserves to be in this lobby. Get these points. Unfortunately, he's not. Or in the players to anymore. Circle. The problem is the timing of it. When do we go and make that push? They get that got taken out. I see. That's the one that they were looking for. Now it's time to start getting going, and this is going to be a tough rotation. They make. They could lose a couple players in this process. It looks like they're going to try and just hug the circle. But they're going to run into the squad here in a second. Let's see if Gonzo can make it out alive. And it, it'll, it'll come down to that. Are they going to be trying she to reach in or are they gonna going to be just playing it slow? That's what we're game. trying to figure out with what Navi is doing. I feel like they, the thing, too, after you perform like this, they might be feeling hot. They currently have eliminations. They're currently being able to third party. You might end up making that extra push. That's next, Ruya. All four players alive waiting and seeing what's happening here they have vehicles they have that transportation they're gonna be able to rotate a little bit easier than they will with some other teams navi taking nope. some shots oh gonzo not being able to fully knock there but guess what extra extra is oh, there he's gonna now. be able to get that knock he's gonna be able to get that confirmed elimination it's now it's up to nine for navi uh oh meanwhile z wolf though with that m16 oh, oh gets his fire. head popped off there but he should be safe to get res but that was a perfect shot there from Axter to be able to give his team a little oh. bit of relief in that situation. Nice suppressive fire as well. That's exactly what he wants to do. Just make sure he doesn't get knocked and wait for Gonzo to go and push up in that scenario. But he's getting shot his back. Oh, not able to make it. And that's that off angle, that crucial spot. Take it away from next Ruya. Navi has to be careful now. Yeah, this is perfect with what you were talking about earlier too. The, it was just going to be such a hard push there for Navi. I feel like with what they got Am right I now, they're definitely the happy with the, with the performance of this match. And guess what? Well, now we have Zebra Master being thing. able to push up. This was a team that we saw them <coughs> wait, wait for the right time. We saw what they were able to do. We saw how proactive they were able to do in the first game. And now they're taking on the fight here with 9 CS. He's going to be able to connect there with the grenade on Chaco. He's going to end up getting knocked. It could make it a little oh, bit easier Navi for them to make that already? receiver master as they're making 9C back up. 100%. This is the second game, right, where they get a good solid position. They won game number one with 15 eliminations. Now let's see if they can continue that here. Another good game. I mean, all it takes is, a you know, two, three Does solid games becomes, like this, and that's enough for Falcon? top eight yes. most of the time, as long as they do at least decent in the other games. So Zebra Master is definitely not looking to let off the pedal in this situation. 
And yes, you change the clothes? I'll change the clothes after, after this game. It's going to be yes. hard for people to find them, but if they do end up finding them, he could be extra exposed. I do love, though, he's making sure he tries to third party anything possible. As Navi's going to be adding another elimination wow. to their tally, bringing it up to 11. If this team can keep it going, we might not be seeing 16. Nova? We might Nova not be seeing be 18. We might be seeing 20, Hajuks. It's totally possible here at this point. They are rocking a three-man, and they're going to get this player here. Oh, Aragorn's in trouble. Oh, actually, oh. not. Wow. Aragorn. What a beautiful knock. Oh my God. And now that here comes the rest of Royals of War. Imagine knock one. Oh, Navi's in trouble. They're on the back foot. Axer's pretty low at HP. And Colgoat and the rest of their team are gonna have all the angles. Nova will be yep, playing only one the player up main left. event a few days and later. That is gonna be it now Navi. they're on the plane. Honestly, Navi. To Brazil. G good job. Good job. That yeah, was that 11. was a great match for Oof. you guys. Nine eliminations. I'll I'll be fine. I'll be happy with that. Yeah, crazy amount of eliminations. Unfortunately, zero placement points, which yep. is crazy. <laughs> Stage six, they went out with zero placement points. But heck, when you get 11 limbs like that, it's going to definitely help out for sure. Let's go ahead and see where the rest of this team is going to win this game right yeah, now. I'm so nervous. Zone, happened, Jukes? You know, More nervous oh, than dude. playing, to be honest. I told you, it's a risky play. But if you do end up getting spotted, you're going to end up getting knocked. Luckily for him, I think he's going to end up getting picked up as Inko now trying to make a bit of a push there towards the bridge. Getting some more angles here on Zebra Master. Is that Inko team from Brazil? Yes. That's going to be tough knock right there. That's all their sight lines gone. And those anchor positions, like you said, they're so clutch. If you stay up, though, if you get caught, it's very difficult to get res. It looks like they, they did get it off, though. So he was able to come down that bridge safely. Very, very fortunate for him. Red Rolls of War are going to have this bra this back end here. Zebra uh, Master doing cooking? a little bit of a 3-1 split, yeah. so that's pretty interesting. You can, think you can see Tonka trying to find where the next spot's going to be. Is this Nunez a new team? For this the Z very Zebra similar Master? position, but I think he smells or... something is off. They played in yeah, uh, said, Brazil what? PMPO Maybe before. Maybe this <laughs> could be clear. Doubt it. I'm out of here. You know what? I see. I hear a lot of buggies over there. Let, let, <laughs> let's just back up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we don't want to go there. And on top of that, they have next three. This is just anything can happen here. The way it's going to come down to is how roles of war going to play. And you can see Tonka actually all the way away from his team getting a little bit more intel on any, the teams are there that, any are, teams that are trolling from, compounds like are not. Smoke Gaming. On top of that, you still have some players there from 9C. And luckily for Super you Master, you mentioned it as well. They were able okay. to pick up the players, so they're back up to four. Yeah, next three are in a really good spot. They're just kind of chilling in the middle right now, but they're only at two men, so they got to play this very quietly. When you're in such a central position, normally you think that it's just great, but everybody wants that spot. So ST is now Falcon. They are first place right now with 38 then, points know, pop up on the board. The time is right. Zebra Mastery. Oh, nice little team play there. You yep. can see them throwing some smokes for their teammate, trying to get him out safely. Because, yeah, going underneath. I'm surprised, yeah, he's not going underneath that bridge. Maybe that angle is going to be in the right. He just wanted to be uh, for his cool team, IGL. okay? He's, he was just like, guys, guys, you, you remember me? Yeah, I'm still here. And guess what? I'm still going to go under the bridge. Funny I how he gave up to uh, you guys to wait walking so on, on the bridge. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Like Maybe it was a little bit of a bait and switch. Stick. Just makes Very you know, safe. teams focus on nice. top of the bridge. I don't know, right? But here he comes down to go help and support his teammates. Maybe trying to get some shots on Inko from downrange. Next zone's about to pop. Where's he gonna go though? That's the question. Let's see. Oh man. I I think the winner could be decided on this. I do like Rolls of War though. Look how much ground they're covering there towards the north and being able to back up people to making Inko a little bit cautious if they do end up oh, making a push. Nice e and it does end up going a little bit towards Zebra Master and smoke. Okay. okay. Yeah. Not now a bad, not it, a bad circle. Yes, it's gonna go, come down to rolls of war. They, I mean, they have so much control. They, they're gonna have to possibly start fighting smoke. Yeah, they are. Meanwhile, like if, like I said, next we we're just playing this very quietly, not trying to give up their position. We got some swimmers still out there, and that's gonna be from insanity. Only four points on the board so far. This one's not gonna be a good one. Yeah, zebra master Psalm. Brazilian he goes straight new, diving yeah. for the floor, but it's it looks like the inevitable is coming for him. So. The rest of Zebra Masters are going to get I, as many points I personally think Brazil before they start focusing inwards. Is one of the strongest in the lobby. Definitely trying to apply that pressure. Is one of the strongest in the lobby when it comes to you, like I competitive. The, I think that player from Insanity just decided good. to end up just, very competitive. You know what? We're not going to give that extra point. Let me just go a little bit under the water and just block you guys from getting that point. Rolls award. This is what I want to see. I want to see how this team reacts. They're holding so much ground right now that they 
they can pretty much pick and choose what they would like to do and this would be the right play yeah start going a little bit more towards where smoke gaming is at cover yourselves in the back don't forget about inko and you mentioned it earlier too next to you with those two players they're being quiet they're waiting to see what's going to happen and it's actually not even two players anymore it's just one player with seawolf yeah rolls of war need to focus on their backs more than anything because they yep. don't want to fight inwards if they get into a fight a little too early they're going to get third party so they're really trying to make sure that the timing of this is perfect only fighting until absolutely necessary colgo try to be able to steal that elimination there because there's Wait, still 43 IGL seconds left now? on the clock. They can afford I thought to Coops take the shots for now. But if that zone pops away from them, they're going to definitely have to push the issue. Ooh, that, that's the problem right there. Trying to overpeak a little bit too much. Going for that jump, seeing if you can maybe see where that player is going to be hiding at. Could get end up getting you caught. Royals that's a lot of teams in small careful. circle. They're, they're currently taking yeah they might 17, taking too many fights here. 17 as remaining guys. Cold goat, it's not far even a away joke. from his team, and if a grenade hits here, they're not gonna be able to back him up. Look how far away he is from them. Oh, there we go. Z will finally getting spotted out there. That looked like a nice nade there onto Nunez, but he only gets chunked a little bit. That vehicle is down. Nice there shots there though from Cold Goat, and that's perfect timing because the zone is closing. There's no way he's gonna be able to get no that. Goes to off. Yes. No way. He's gonna go Wait. for the run over. Oh, what? what is happening? Cold huh? Goat saying, "No, nah, I'm coming on in, baby. Oh. Let's go!" And they do end up taking down the squad, so they decided to sacrifice a player with four eliminations for. Two. Well, nice actually, push. be able to get the res off. I think they might be able to, right? They yeah, will, they can even but put that. On the vehicle. Yeah. That, that, that was catchy that, that was a little bit that player was feeling himself he's like all right you know what i got the knock let me see if i can get the other one for the highlights a little bit too much for my liking but guess what luckily for him he does have the backup of his team and now they are going to be controlling an even bigger area here at zebra masters we got two players there from 9c and smoke gaming still having their players alive as well we still Honestly, have 14 I remaining. Feel like war with the oh my god! Playing. I feel like they Zebra might Master have taken can, this game. It's, it's, it's going to be hard though, and the reason why I say yep. that is because Zebra they Master. have brought all the attention onto themselves. You can see almost every single team staring at their direction right now. So Rolls of War have to play this carefully. I do like the fact that they were able to clear that out just on time. It's and either Rolls of War up. or so uh, they're definitely in the most Zebra dominant Master. position. You can see they're the only ones really moving around besides Smoke. Uh, but they got to play this on point. Oh, if they get into a fight a little defensive. too early, Smoke's going to come in third party like then very right easily. Yeah, and the, you're thinking about Smoke too. Zebra from about Brazil. The players. They're being so quiet there that if Smoke is not able if to Nova spot them and Brazil actually start the regular, shooting them and maybe knocking um, them, I think nice. He could taking a week off for Nova. Here, Royals of War. Anything can happen, though, when is this kind of madness. You have two teams with four players alive. Actually, three teams with four players alive. And then you have the oddball of 9C trying to clutch up another top three situation with not all their players alive just two this time. So at least their chances are going to be a little bit higher. We saw what happened earlier with 9C. They were able to surprise and get that second place with Choco. But oh man, it's going to come down to who gets the first knock here. And, and it is tough. I, I can't can call win. this one. I can't call this one anymore. I, I can't. I was about to say, roll the dice, and one of these teams is going to win it. Because guess what? This is stage nine, baby. The zone is going down into absolute nothing. You can see these teams oh. starting to throw out all of their utility. Meanwhile, like 9Z, not trying to move a muscle. Pretty hurt, though, at this time. Well, actually, being. Rolls, rolls of War. Rolls of War is getting pushed by the zone. Chance. Smoke getting one of the players. Meanwhile, Ooh. Zebra Master on, on the bottom oh my God, side. Second, second, second and win. Start pushing Rolls of War. Second and win for the Zebra. And here they come. And this is the aggressiveness. This is the proactiveness that we've been talking about. Zebra Masters, as they're now going to be going for the push. That's a shoddy, and that's a little bit too far oh, away. Oh, the trade is oh, two knocks on as Zebra. Now he turns around, and guess what? They're doing it so well. Smoke Gaming being able to third party this fight. Cats. See the masters with further. their hands down, one step more. and they're gonna be able to just take some easy eliminations here, and they gotta keep going. Smoke game. Oh, get the thirst first. So get the well. thirst. Hot jukes. Get the thirst. Going for the third party. Oh. They eliminate. Rules of war, and guess what? They end up Ooh. winning it. Perfect timing there for Smoke Gaming to decide to third party whenever Zebra Masters Wait, and Rose of War were in game with each other. That I thought is Smoke how Gaming. you get it, that That's what I was talking about. You know, right, like in that particular my call. situation, if you fight too early, you're my getting third is way party. Too strong. So the timing is so critical, and it could have gone either way. And yep. I, I do love to see Smoke recognize the situation and act on it instantly, right? Act on it instantly, take the game for themselves, and that was a big chicken dinner there for them. And look at them. They're happy. They're giving each other keys. 
And then on top of that, this is the team that I was kind of talking about. I, I was hoping that there would be a team that could possibly end up surprising. A lot of experienced Brazilian players, I felt like they just haven't been able to get their big break and they might be looking to surprise people here. Boy, they definitely ended up surprising me there with the way they were able to finish off that match. Third party at the right time and just making decisions so well. 100%. I mean, beautiful decisions. That is how you get it done as we take a look here at the highlights. And it started off so strong, you know, with another hot drop situation here, Seven. It was. And in this one, we actually had a winner, though. But did we? Did we, DK? And because because no more. Galaxy ended up getting eliminated <laughs> before they could even get to the circle. I mean, take a look dude, at it, is, it has been such a day coming through here. It's just like, you know, again and again, they try to contest. No VDR, no party. Be claiming that cheeky spot for themselves. But I gotta say, How come this VDR is seeing nine this? Was yeah. Just with wave after wave Wait. after wave. I mean, we saw now VDR. One. Uh, is VDR in the main man? Main day, memory, bro. I mean, Smoke Gaming, they just had it cooking. Oh, we don't have VTR and PMGO. They, they were definitely How cooking and they were just waiting for the right time. I mean, even from How come before that, that was one of those teams that we were talking about. Zebra is from Brazil. Just waiting to Zebra see what the other from teams Brazil. were going to be doing. They kept on with that strategy all the way until the end. Yes, they did. I mean, we, we always love to see a good old fashioned Sosnovka military finish. And it was no surprise indeed. I do like the fact, too, that at the start of the day, or at the start of this game, we saw so many swimmers, right? So many teams yep. trying to swim all over, and we or finally the swimming saw a team is not it. shut that down. We did. I mean, with Navi, with the way that they were able to play it there, even though Navi didn't end up being there towards the towards the top nine, I think they ended up in eleventh place, if I'm not mistaken. That's why you're currently Hello, not Gino's seeing them OB. here in the in the first grab. No problem. Of damage, smoke gaming, twelve hundred. I mean, the way they were able to you play think this smoke out. also from Brazil? 1,200 damage, and out of those 1,200 damage, let me check nine eliminations. Guys. And here we go. Now, Ooh. this is what I wanted to see. Almost 2,000 damage from... and 11 eliminations there for Navi. Crazy. Second Brazil. place. Literally You're second right. Place smoke damage, gaming is from Brazil. But, you know, um, 11 eliminations. I mean, what do you think about that strategy, DK? I think it worked out pretty well. What do you think? Oh, I mean, they were just they were just lurking, right? Started over on that eastern side as they had the beautiful swim up onto that Sosnovka military <coughs> island, and then Which team is Obore? it was oh just boy, yeah. time, right? Navi, they just kicked uh, into gear. Oh it boy. was just stuff it's flying all end. over the place. So I want to see a little bit more of that approach coming into the next few matches. Wow, and we actually see six get the MVP here. Seven, not surprised. Not surprised at all, honestly, even though they didn't end Wait. up getting those placement points that we were, we were hoping they would with those eliminations. They're happy. They're going to be it's going to build up at least a little bit of confidence there, especially after back to back first two matches, 15 plays, only one elimination oh. for them to have this kind of turnaround, take advantage of it, even being able to secure Nabi those elimination points even and if move Nabi themselves up higher in the overall wasn't board, camping. They're going to be happy with that as we're going to be going into the final area. The Riverside. 100%. And HP still wouldn't be able to make it in his own. On the because they, they don't have vehicles. As we take a look at this match ranking. Meanwhile, yeah, I mean, look at that. Smoke. Bro, by the end of the second match, I said we're seeing at least NHP is always in the first here. page. And then uh, the third the match, NHP, zero seven. points, second page. We are. And what I'm seeing I think right I'm, now I think is I need to keep my mouth shut. With zero placement points, DK. I'm not even joking. With those 11 points, and it pushed them keep my mouth for the match ranking in third place with the most points for this last match. I mean, if you got it, you got to get it while it's hot. And that's exactly what they did. Play some points. It doesn't matter to them. They just go in for the aggression. As you can see now, I mean, this is the kind of change up that we're looking at, right? Royals of War, Smoke Gaming, climbing up six and ten slots just in one game. Man, this lobby is heating up so, so much, Jukes. Ten placement jump just like that. That is how you get it done. Remember, folks, it's top eight at the end of this and end up oh, making it on over and we still have an entire hard. group that hasn't played so um i think these teams seven need yep. to play he's a, he's a chicken. at an all-time high here they cannot let off the gas here there's still so many teams that play they can't get comfortable with these rankings right now yeah they really can i mean smoke gaming they, i think the main reason too why i was so happy <sighs> with the way they were able to finish off that match Zebra is because Master? they are what currently the in group b they'll be know, able to right? play again tomorrow but then they're gonna if, if they for some reason aren't able to follow up the performances if they don't put up good performances here so they're gonna leave teams? it up to the final yeah. day 
which they're not even going to be playing. And we've seen what happens with that before. Yes. We see, we know what can happen, the surprises that can happen with that. So I think they're trying to take Destiny into their own hands and start performing good. We want to see more consistency, though, with Smoke Gaming, because before this match, I think they were in 14th place. They weren't having a great day. So a good bounce back here at the halfway mark of day one prelims. Yeah, can't get comfortable with the leaderboards at all at this point. Like you mentioned, every single time we've seen this, we've seen a, a player not make it on in. But meanwhile, guys, we have an offline tournament coming up here. South soon. Asian so teams play the 280 MS playing at a minimum as a nice <laughs> on the qualifiers. PUBG Mobile is not fair anymore. Ooh, yes, I would yeah, it uh, is like a of those it's, it's called getting played PMG on Brazil. But you were saying just things like, that I'm all the matches so are hosting in the Brazilian the servers. The, the past three winner winner chicken dinners that we've seen. <sighs> Right, it's teams from the qualifiers. It's mm. not the teams that NHP have joined us now back, in the guys? Nah. Here. It's only been NHP qualifier will teams not come back. rolling with the bunches. So you're saying qualifier teams are better, or maybe the games that they had on Saturday has been helping them out, which is something that ah. Hot Juice, if I'm not mistaken, you brought that up at the beginning of the day. I will say, uh, Team Falcons is better. Okay, yeah, they, they've proven that. They've proven better, that on the Hell global Chaudry. championships that they are better. So, I mean, uh, they started off strong here today. That's why we see them at the top of yeah, the Yeah, so competitive. But I'm I know, happy right? to see teams that, because you know what? You can't always hope for a great start, especially when it's your first time going against these squads. You yeah. might struggle, you know, in game one, game two. Uh, two teams in particular that I see struggling on purpose is Nigma Galaxy, right? Like... What are and ND Xavier? Like, this is the last Aaron Gale of the day. Um, DK, do you think they're gonna do it? Next team, my team will go name as four married the man. I mean, based Let's on go. what we've seen in the first two angles, uh, Aaron Gales, I would not be surprised if uh, <laughs> they do it again. I mean, at the end of the day, I hope that it, it's not <laughs> gonna be but I mean, who knows, right? Some of the teams they just supered the tournament on locking in that position. It's like, you know, whatever the zone brings, they're like, you know what? Pachinki is our place and we're going to defend it, even if we have to chunk in some blues. Chief, I one gameplay. Seven. It's 1 1. <laughs> Right. It's 1-1, one, one, baby. I, Somebody's going to take it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I see it as 0-0 oh, oh right now. It's not looking too good. Probably you want Brazil open. Punish, you know? But, you know, one thing that I... You could have called that, to be honest. Was, you know, PMBO. Instead of PMGO, right? this right. should be let's called PMBO. Right. And they're playing Probably this Mobile Brazil to open. try and secure <laughs> that spot for the main event. Right? That, that drop location. Yep. Do they not realize... That I don't know about your angle, but I guess Nova will never like gonna leave their dropping Sand Hawk. Right? No. So many of these Nova will drop Pine no matter what. If you decide like you guys have no idea how many hot drops like Nova played position? or how many we trainings have that like you know, slot where they, they did for you know, like Pine and hot drops. Let's go ahead and take it out over to an interview. Like, we'll they, talk didn't, about they didn't. They didn't. like back back out. The when there was like a hot drop a player for in smoking game who PMGC just with the BTR, got a chicken like dinner. They back out. Okay, awesome. Pineapple uh, will always drop for this what. last chicken dinner. Okay, so <laughs> I got a couple questions for him, and I want to know the first two matches wasn't so good for your team. What did you guys? PMBO, you guys are goaded with the name. Hola, uh, Miyaki, tudo bom? Congratulations, parabéns pelo chicken dinner. É, o que você, as duas primeiras partidas não foram tão boas assim, o que, que vocês acham que tem que mudar? Acho que nós só estávamos esquentando, né? Por ser as duas primeiras partidas, tiramos aquela pressão das costas. Nova can be Devil é isso, 16. Nós nosso jogo, nosso plano de Devil jogo. 16th place, mas eles ainda dropam Pine End. Já estamos jogando há vários that's, dias. That's how much dedication they have for então, their drop. Só <laughs> esquentando mesmo. It's just a warm-up for the first two games. Uh, and they have been playing for a few days now, and now it's going to be easy. Incredible. And this was the second chicken dinner for a Brazilian team. Does he think Brazil have the dominance here? This is the second chicken dinner for a Brazilian team. Do you think it's going to be all right from here to the side? Com certeza, né? Além de termos Bro, a maior quantidade de representantes né, no nosso país, então... To be honest. Né? Além disso, né? Nós estamos jogando... Kevin is your uncle? Então, né? Guys, estamos acostumados com a casa. First, of, first you said a star is my tourist. Yeah, now you said the translator is my cousin. Now, so is my uncle? We think we are going to be good. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so two chicken dinners for Brazil so far. But we will see in the next match. Thank you so much for the interview. Obrigado. 
All right, guys, what a beautiful interview. We got some more action coming up, but of course, we got to give a big thank you to none other than Realme with their 12 Pro Plus that elevates your photography experience with 120x Super Zoom and your performance in game. There are Check eight teams. Today. There are eight Brazilian teams in uh, qualified in the uh, prelims. I just counted. Brazilian qualifiers, Brazilian finals. <laughs> And we are back, folks, here. Guys, go ahead and check out the six-year up for fun. The six-year anniversary is here, guys. Go check it out. Share, share it on social media. Use that hashtag, PUBGM6. And this right there, I saw them. An experience saw anniversary them. now in PUBG Mobile Come version. on, boys. 3.1. And I got to say, I love the new game, Mobile 7. It FS is just fun. Fun. It is crazy. crazy. I, enjoyed it. I also enjoyed that if you do end up landing on that floating island uh when they actually spawns you there it, it will revive you i wonder no if anyone buy these like devices of course in the game <laughs> and dude as a matter of fact there are a lot, there are a lot of people by roomy, roomy phones as well you can actually get revived twice now so it's kind of shivan who's a coach for nhp uh the coach for nhp right now we hired a chinese coach he's the he's previously the tc coach from PEL, so we've been, we're using him uh, as our team coach now. <clears throat> Jeez, bum, bro. Maybe NH players don't have Jeez, bum, with them. So that's why they're not winning. Three million dollars and one trophy. Welcome to the 2023 PUBG Mobile Global Championships. Chief TC, not TEC, TTC. PMGC üç defa katıldık ve bu sefer Türkiye taraftarının karşısında olduğu için daha inançlıyız. İki kez dünya şampiyon olup yani dekora üçüncülüğe daha yaklaşmak, bir adım atmak istiyoruz. Yani onu düşünüyorum, bak hiç düşünmüyorum. Can you explain it for me? Hello, I'm Shifan. Check my link in the uh, check my description. You will know everything. Ini uh, tahun apa ya? Kayak PMGC pertama kali ya setelah dua tahun so kemarin. So basically today we have three groups. Dan mungkin perasaan gue berada the, di PMGC map, lagi di final tentunya. Itu it. apa ya? And Semua tim itu udah merata sih dari segi skill groups, dan apapun itu. Dan gue rasa. We got PUBG uh, to watch. Also, more details on my description. Make sure you check it out. Mungkin momen yang nggak bisa gue lupain itu waktu jadi World Champ di Malaysia tahun 2019 itu itu salah satu yang apa ya momen yang paling gue ingat banget karena semua orang juga tahu kan kalau tim gue dan gue bisa buktiin kalau kita tuh bisa loh juara dunia nggak cuma di region kita doang. Karena <laughs> Top has emerged as the MVP of South Asia Championship. Your MVP, Stalwart Esports. Stalwart Esports, now renamed as Falcon. The Yamrut Boat Crew, the Pagara, Chigit, Chigit, and just to just go out. Better than myself, Jack. That is absolutely they insane. They came to the cliffs late, and then at the very last moment. Uh, sekarang gua ngerasa buat tahun ini dan lebih tepatnya buat turnamen ini PMGC final ini gua bawa apa ya 
udah balik ke perang gua dan ini saatnya gua mesti time, kalau gua tuh masih layak di apa ya di tahun ke-6 ini Türkiye karşısındaki ilk offline ve burada bize çok desteklemeleri lazım. Destekleyenlere çok teşekkür ediyorum. Yani her şey için konuşalım tekrar alalım. Her şey için cemaat ederim onu. É, estamos preparados para ganhar, estamos muito feliz. Já chegamos aqui e agora o Michel vai ser campeão e gol loops. Ai, caminha aí, Michel. Então a campanha do bem do Michel. Michel Bolé, Lonely Alliance. E aí, galera, a gente está bem tranquilo, bem animado, treinamos muito e vamos ser campeão dessa PMGC. Oh, the luck. Tamo junto. That's our MRPX. We took a picture with them. It's like uh, if you ask uh, what you're doing to anybody, then they'll have all different answers. So maybe people easily think the pro players are playing their best to form money, Chrysler, I don't think so. I think Chrysler can be one reason, but each player will have another different reason. They may just want to show up themselves to audiences or other people. Somebody wants to take the fame or reputation as a pro player representing their country. So all players will have their different target and goal, but I believe anybody playing here, their first and most important goal will be, you know, in our chicken dinner. Nice one, but uh, they honestly should, PMG honestly should have more price pool. <laughs> what do you guys think? Like 5k per team is and not it. And we are back. Here we go. The final. Here we go. Bring it on. It's going to be a big one here. We see some big names <clears throat> have had some struggles due to hot drops. We've seen uh, uh, the qualifying teams pop off here as well. Would you expect that here, Seven? I honestly would have not but i'm not surprised because of what you guys were saying earlier which they have had a lot of matches leading up to this so they are in a way kind of warmed up they know what some of the other teams were going to be doing too because they have already faced them in the match <laughs> in the previous matches too so save that surprise but i am <laughs> Right? Yeah, I mean, we'll see it's the just so crazy to I don't see know. some of the different strategies coming out here at this uh, top level. You can see the players are getting locked, loaded, ready to go. DK, what stood out to you so far? Bro, what a game I have Jesus. to say that push coming through from Navi down on towards uh, that Sosnovka Island. I mean, 11 eliminations, that is a pretty aggressive push. I mean, Wheels of War also, they doubled down securing those double digits. But for me, the most impressive one was the performance coming through from Navi. But I mean, it's I, I'm not really surprised because looking Three at the, at the, the roster that they have in PMGO, that, uh, I don't think so. You know, I've seen over in uh, the NBA. And if you should region, avoid so the fights, I know how what how and what they can kind of do. So it was really so good this to is see the the showcasing Rango. that talent once again. And you know what? We're, it on. we're talking about it. Well, fourth here match. we are on the final match for Erangel. And it should be trash. Don't we still got some Miramars coming up, so make sure you sit tight B16, for that. But please. on this one, there's oh. one thing and one thing I'm looking uh, at. I think they were good for their pad. I second, think you know what I'm going to be looking at, DK. Which is the Western That's Coast. That's right. You were thinking about it, Pochinki? Yes. I'm looking for that hot drop. <laughs> well, I, I don't think we're going to have to wait too long to see what is going to be the outcome of this one. Yeah, I'm just this is okay. definitely an interesting change up compared to what we've had in the previous two Erangels. So, well, the pressure is going to be on, right? Are we going to have the age-old engagement <laughs> between Nigma Galaxy and D Xavier looking to settle the dispute, right? As you've said, it's 1-1. One, one. 
It's 1-1. One, one. Someone needs to double down and get that extra point. I think it would be so great if the zone even sent it up on them. And I think their Negma Galaxy might actually in the oh, back which super, is interesting because this would be the last Aaron Gill match that these two teams are going to be fighting again. Oh, please don't. It's no each lag, other. No lag. Keep in mind, we said it, but we got to continue to say just for people that might be tuning in just now, Group A is going to be sitting out tomorrow and Group B is going to be sitting out in the final day for day three. So this would be the last engagement if they were to fight each other. And I don't think... It, oh, wow. No, West Coast, they West Coast. They should be West Coast. Again. <laughs> Man, Are they, they doing they're again? just sticking to it. They're like, okay, you know what? Yeah, they say we're 1-1. One, one. We, we got to switch that. Even though wow. we've been winning the fight, we are still keep dying early on. We are fighting for the pride. Just four elimination points each time. Let, let, let's just decide who's the particular king points. for this. Two <laughs> you might have got to see 15 points. I mean, it's not enough, right? They want to plant their flag. They want to say, you know what? This is our turf. Don't you dare come back to it again. But let's see <laughs> who's going to be the one to claim it. Because I mean, so far, uh, the Xavier, they are trying to kind of just hunker down, right? Nigma, they look super, super active in this one. And it's your wife, Falcon, bro? Spread, breaking nah. down doors. I mean, who needs to knock? I don't think so. You I mean, can just kick it down and just come rushing on in. And they're waiting for it. They know that they're in there. We've seen what happens when those Molotovs are thrown. And it's usually, nice it goes bad for the person that throws the Molotov. I wrote, luckily for Rove, he's not going to be making any type of push here. But this is the problem. There's two teams. You know Fighting what? At the, the prior, beginning, like, it's like okay to be able to take a little bit longer as you guys are trying to feel each other out, trying to figure out and get into where honest, everybody's going. This is quite chaotic because you don't to, get a lot of training with those teams, right? You just don't want to get into that stalemate. There are there were, there were worse scrims yeah, before I mean, the PMGO prelim, oof. but just for a few days. So even if either of these two teams want to change their drop, they may. Let's encounter see another team around of this one so enough right the rest of the lobby everyone just doing a hard drop is probably the better There's route for these teams spread amongst the rest of the teams oh. but here we go now Barrage, you don't like to either, find a little... even for the coach and the players that don't have enough time why well, i'm lagging what? what a magic and lord just quickly magic pull back into cover just enough to be able to hide there and something to keep in mind too is this teams if they do end up engaging uh, they're they not in enough time the in the circle it's not for... anywhere from today to the west or the south in the military base they are going to be putting good they're, they're just not enough time for the coach to study every single team. So, like, even if they want to change the drop spot now, it's going to be hard. Wait, let me... Why is loading? Come on! Agent, it, it could be very slow, too, because they are within the circle. And the wait, wait a second, guys. Why it's lacking? Put themselves up in a great okay. position, but that is easier said than done, DK. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's gonna be, I think, a little bit more essential for DX <coughs> to have a good run here because in the previous match, both teams <coughs> were tied. <coughs> exactly the same amount of points. Both teams <coughs> sat on 11, but now, Nigma Galaxy is able to, I'm refreshing. you know, lock in a few additional points and just get a little bit of a lead. So, if DX Xavier want to try and play the catch-up game, this is gonna be the angle to do it in. They might be able to do that. I mean, you mentioned it. They're currently in 10th place there with 12 points. Nigma Galaxy, I mean, they're not that far ahead from them. They're Nova in 7th place have the same drop. with 15 yeah. points. So that pack between those top eight teams, at least for right now, is it, it can go either way, right? But we still got another group that's going to be coming in tomorrow. Is DMG so if I know any different lane local location? Expand on, on what uh, could happen with these two teams. They just, maybe. somebody I forgot needs to, to win the engagement. And if we're looking at the map here, I wonder if maybe any of the teams rotating with the way that the circle might be set up. This team could actually be setting themselves up for possibly a third party if anybody just comes close enough to Pachinki and hears this fighting. I think it's going to have to be uh, well, a slightly knocked. cheeky team, right? Because yeah. I mean, me for now. we know what Nigma and the Xavier oh, is go. capable of. So you won't want to try and risk anything on it, but it's going to be Levi's. Trying to get the shot in, taking quite a bit of damage nice. to our wolf though, narrowly escaping that as Coops comes in with the swoop, and that is it, just cracking down on the Xavier. And that was great there by Enigma Galaxy. They were able to get the first player down, then they were able to rush that second player. Nobody gets knocked. Somebody got really close, but they didn't end up getting knocked, so they don't have to waste Which time there reviving the him. Prelim? And now they're going to be looking I'm over to Perrigin and seeing Screw where he's at there with that DBS. Perrigin is just going to be waiting patiently. I think they might have an idea that he could be in here as Shua Kong is keeping an eye out for any of the oh, players possibly Perrigin. trying to come behind Perrigin.
Mikawa off other surprise. Ooh, this could be a tough play. Oh, oh, Koops. Koops. Drops right on down. Now it's all right to it to see whether or not they can get the Koops is back mad, mad. Enigma now really starting to pick up the pacing here. Already sitting with those he, three he lost? eliminations. They've already oh. had oh. a little bit is of nervous a now. at the excitement. Oh, and this could be oh. absolutely devastating now for Xavier. And it almost ended up being devastating there as they Koops already lost. turned on that guy with a DBS. That guy's smells camping with a DBS water. too. They know that they're chasing just one player. And Koops and turned on him. Sending it. This is the statement that they want to send. And Juke's been alluding to it too. They could be trying to send a statement if they do end up making it to the main event. They will continue to fight for Chinky oh, no! over and over again. But guess what? With the third party that I was alluding to, they need to be careful. Dick Savior is going to be able to at least not one surprise. They're going to be able to eliminate it. one? Nick McGalaxy not being able to flush this out fully as Molotovs are going to be coming through. They got a little bit too aggressive there, and they end up paying for it with one of their players. Who's on the roof? I mean, Chua might might seem like they are trapped here, but they are not going to be backing out of a fight anytime soon. And I mean, they got to do something because, as we can see in the feed, right? Next, Rhea and the Royals of War fighting just south of the current positioning here. But here we go, Lord and the rest of Enigma not trying to avenge a teammate. The push comes through. Ooh, Chua trying to quickly reposition, get the angle, but it is going to oh. be Enigma just trying oh. to swarm, get the overpowering, but Chua oh. just ripping it up. Jesus. Chua almost being able he to come almost, up there. He had he almost got the one two there. And he was able to knock their freak. And wow. Koops, I don't think Koops even had an angle to be able to actually back them up. So it could have ended up being a 1v1 there. Almost turned horrible there for Nygma Galaxy. D Savior once again sent back to the to the lobby. And I now the good thing almost about clutched it, up. after Jesus. three matches, Nygma Galaxy might have possibly gotten this right because they're going to have enough time now to loot, position themselves. And the circle is on their favor. Yeah, they got to look to bounce back from that one and come back with a few things to show. But in the meanwhile, it is going to be still rotations being the name of the game at this point. I mean, I'm also watching Falcons starting to just kind of creep up ahead of where we saw Nigma. Uh, Royals of War also getting themselves in a little bit of a position there. So I'm curious to see whether or not Nigma is going to find themselves in a bit of a sticky situation. I mean, look at Royals, right? They've got these compounds covered. So if that zone does happen to shift to the east, I mean, it's going to be just easy pickings. They do it for Nigma Galaxy. I think it's just the extra time that they're going to be able to loot. And I mean, how much loot are they going to be able to find? With what's <laughs> been going on, with all the fighting that that's been happening, and there. he actually reminds you of AG. Be sitting up. They're going to be passing by, and now Nigma Galaxy is going to be forced to just kind of push out of this. They're, they're going to have to North find their shift. Way oh my God, these zones, bro, these zones are not are so to back different off than the PL zones. Center. All the teams are deciding to back off and just play that center style. As Virtua Pro, a team that just hasn't been able to have a great day. Currently oh, sitting in the last place uh, with the three H points. Y this is another team that could benefit for some Nothing. elimination points. This is a team that could benefit from any points as they're currently in 16th. Yeah. I mean, they've not even had any taste of uh, placement points whatsoever here today. So there is a, hopefully a bit of a chance for them this round. But let's see Team Liquid also now getting ready to make a little bit of something happen over here and i was looking at that at, at the convergence up into what center zone right it is good to be like the first team there but if you just get like inundated with so many other teams rushing in on your position it is going to become a sweat fest so quick fast oh yeah and then you're kind of doubting yourself you're like okay do we want to push this uh, but what if maybe somebody else is told in our angle? You start doubting everything that you might want to do. As Team Falcons, Team Falcons is currently not doubting anything. They know they have a team here in front of them. It's going to be Rules of War. And they're looking to possibly at least get one knocked. If anybody gets knocked here, it's going to be bad news for Rules of War. Because we know Team Falcons. We know what they were able to do earlier in the first Aaron Gale. Whenever they got some knocks on them, they're, they're going to make quick work of them. And here we go. Okay, who I thought I thought Tonka there for a second was going to end up getting knocked. <laughs> Yeah, we almost heard a bit of a good dunk right on that one.
But I mean, Falcons, I'm pretty sure they sharpen their talons after each and every match because now go. they're getting Falcon ready to got push. In a fight once again. More action, getting ready to push on through. And I like the slight distraction from the rest of the team, just kind of keeping that high ground. If your team qualifies, the well, you play up the side, but the Nate PMGC? getting very close. Action! This has Managing nothing to do to with PMGC. PMG has nothing to do with PMGC. Action. Somehow surviving this that is a he tournament. is going to be kissing <clears throat> that cement face right there because, boy. That that saved him. I thought that was right on him. I actually thought he was gonna get knocked too. But now we're talking about third parties, Team Falcons. They know that they're not gonna be able to make this happen. One of the players, it's currently knocked. I see it's knocked. It's gonna be a tough pickup here. And do they go for it? I think they are gonna be able to get this revive, but they need to be careful with any third parties that they might be lurking around. <clears throat> but I mean, if we if we're honest, like Royals of War. They showed back in the qualifiers that they they can hold their own, and so far, I mean, ooh, they're not backing out of a fight, but Bro, this Zebra, Zebra team. Has, uh, I mean, who needs ammo if you just use buggies? <laughs> Run the opponents right on over, but this is going to be an absolutely essential play now for Virtus Pro because, as you, you mentioned, this they need NHP the could rotate a little bit They've faster. They've only got three they were, on board, I and feel they like cannot for afford me, to go out this, at this stage. They were literally like they definitely need all the way in the a little bit in the there of a question of what Virtus Pro was going to be doing. They weren't sure if they were going to be making this push. Now they're going to be fighting here, Cyber Master. We've been able to see what Cyber Master's been able to do. DBZ Bro. is going to be out, and guess what? It's like Work. Zebra Master said, okay, you guys Zebra want to Master. Guess what? We're going to be able Jesus. to eliminate you. We're going to be able to pick up our teammate. And you're going to go back to being on your regular place, which is going to be towards the bottom with no placement points versus Pro. Not having the day they were looking to have. And that is a NHP. scary team because tomorrow they are in Group B. Tomorrow is going to be the last day. So tomorrow they need to have an amazing day and hope, and hope that that's enough for the final day when they're not going to be playing. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty, pretty tough. What haven't you ever? I like what Zebra there was doing. I mean, they're playing. I mean, you know, you punish them in the savannah, and the Zebra is gonna whip your butt. Action but, uh, is prime yeah, was better than every PO player. Royals of walking through. It's the Falcons are attempting nah, yet another push. I don't think the so. Full Action squad is a great player for sure. Nice but like, and steady. No Zed what about Action's line. prime versus Order's prime? The back-to-back -back world of champs. It's gonna be essential now. To see whether or not the Falcons can actually get that like opening nothing, play. Nothing I mean, really best They are beats just a few points dot, ahead you know, the of Prime Royals Nova. of War. I mean, I say back a few back points, but it's champ. about what, 16 points difference there. So they could definitely benefit on just widening the gap, especially going if into If Nova tomorrow. versus Falcon, which yeah, they would definitely do you think benefit on win? that and also benefit on how I personally to think Falcon will win, to be honest. Now if Nova versus Falcon now they're going to have to decide this a little bit faster. And I'm actually enjoying this Falcon for Team Falcons. Probably they win. made up their mind. They're going to be able to at least knock one right there, be able to confirm it. And Typical now Falcon just turn, turn this fire around. At the top and try to make this push. This is what I want to see out of a team. Make sure that you know what you're going to be doing. Make the push for it and be steady with your decision of what you're going to be doing there. Team Falcons trying to get those other angles there towards the two players at the top. They were able to use a lot of the grenades earlier on. And I think that's going to hurt them because now they're not going to be able to throw an H, but it doesn't matter because you got action there with the oh. shotgun being able to switch it back and forth to a Scar L. And then light on top work. of that, light you work. have IC light, light as backup. But now he's fighting NHP? Oh my gosh, just everything going on and everything Why are you going on stop so there? well for Team Falcons as they eliminate no. their Universal War without anybody getting eliminated from their team. Dude! Uh, I mean, talk about focus. Now it's going to be next Royal looking to step up to the plate as they are rushing forward the right in onto N Hyper. You can see a little bit of a pinch coming through on here. It seems like next Roy up. Yeah, Why they got it in the back. A quick jump shot from Keen, and that is it. N Hyper out of here. Yeah, and I was human the pops there to N Hyper. The hopes of NA earlier in the first two matches because of how they were able to manage some of the points that they were getting. Boy, it's not looking good for them. It's once again out of the placement points. Once again with zero eliminations. Now that's back to back matches, and they're gonna hope. To have a good performance here coming up in Miramar. I'm I'm just scratching my head, DK. I, <laughs> I miss I miss kindness. I miss QC. I miss JK first. They were so good for that team, and they're not there anymore. Bro. I think the team might not have enough who got time right the now shack? to play with each other. As we do see the new circle. Who's the, who's, who's the first the guy who got circle, knocked in the shack? The fight that we saw earlier from Team Falcons is gonna end up benefiting him. I mean, this, this is gonna be a sweaty zone because uh, we got Falcons. They've got a chicken. They are in the zone. Over on towards that western side, we got Smoke Gaming. 
We got the chicken up in the last match. Also, just big chillin' with me. Well, even before we get to that, don't break your PC, Shifa, bro. No, trying to see. <laughs> I spell. We can find any. Scar got freaking native. Regnum Karia here. Both teams suffering. Scar got native by Frozen. Nothing too devastating just yet. But 9Z getting ready to bring in a little bit of that shock and awe. Just rushing on forward. Now it's up to Simple doing a little bit of strafing. Will we see any jump shots? The rush. Nigma Galaxy pulling up. And 9Z now just in such a difficult position. <sighs> Nigma Galaxy being able to make that third party buck. One of the players is truly knocked. But guess what? They're going to get lucky because Rangnam Karia is trying to get a reset out of themselves. With the push, Koops ends up getting eliminated too. Oh, it's not looking good here for Nigma Galaxy. As Freak and Lore are the only ones alive. I'm surprised if you guys cannot see me. Point, he's going to be making a push for it. Can he actually start getting some knocks? Ooh. And it's not. And that's it for Nigma Galaxy. I'll they book a flight to Brazil it. tomorrow this and beat the, continues to the star be the biggest in person. question mark for me when it comes down to Nigma Galaxy. As we've seen an engagement here with Cyber Masters and Navi. We saw what Navi was able to do. By the way, I'll go back to the point in a bit that I was going to make in regards to Nigma Galaxy, but let's see what happens with Navi and Zebra Masters. These are two teams. Carrying as Zebra Masters been very consistent, already got a chicken dinner, and Navi trying to turn up the heat here, especially with what they did in the previous match. I mean, they've, they've come in here just backing it up, but here we go. Neil Zeta does find a quick elimination, quick point on board. You can see Gonzo now just trying to hold that off-angled position. It's up to Axel Bunch of King. Looking to see if they can maybe follow through. But look at Neil Zeta. I mean, he's like, you know what? Why sit back, relax, just rush up, get aggressive, and go fishing? Zebra Master, they seem to be absolutely relentless here today. That nade could spell disaster, at least for the side of Navi. But, uh, of course, they could hear that pin being pulled. Quick reactions, though, and Zebra. Oh, oh, oh. oh. This is Zebra team is too good. Just locking it in. They are locking it in, but they kind of expose no themselves a little these bit there to Jesus. Axer because Axer was just on that window trying to get some shots. He throws oh. down that Molotov. The Molotov is not going to end up connecting, and he was starting to get third party from the back. Is he oh. going to continue on? He's able to hit those shots, and he actually gets the knock as well. He needs to heal. Okay, he uh, Mike has to confirm those still eliminations, strong. and he exposes himself on the Jesus. window. Guess what? Team Liquid, Ayala. Being able to spot him, knocks him, and that might be just a turn of locks there for Zebra Master as they could possibly pick up those two knock players. Yeah, I mean, for Navi, it's now down to Gonzo. Let's see whether or not Gonzo is going to be Gonzo as those shots now continue to fly on through. Zebra Master just mounting such an aggressive push, but they could still be an opportunity for Gonzo to get the pick up over onto his Axa. It's going to be Vitin now just bumping in some nades, trying to clear the house. But so far, both teams now just trying to reassess, uh, reassess rather the whole situation. It's going to be a 2v2 if both of them get that pickup. And the zone now just moving ever so slightly ahead of them. But you still got to watch out with Team Liquid just lurking up to the north. Team Liquid is going to be lurking, but guess what? The team at the top. I'm going to be looking at Team Falcons. They currently have a lot of ground to she work with and only Fury to challenge them. Well, how far is your better guy, And y'all? now we have a bit of a reset there because... from that. Zebra Masters, players all agree. Players Stars IGL is, uh, Star is more Navi. experienced than when Nates it comes are to going IGL. down. Shotguns are coming out. Who is going to get the first knock as there's so much smoke going on here that we don't even know if they can even see each other. They can definitely hear each other, but they can't see each other. My Manor is going to be able to find somebody. He's not going to be able to fully knock them, though. And Tino trying to get that angle. Not able to axe her, though. Finally ends up getting knocked. Oh, I mean, this is such a back and forth, right? Both teams Watch getting hits in, landing shots, a, but now it's going to be the Lisa. hunt down, the chase down. As Demino just quickly Brazil. moves along the outside, and there we go. It is going to be the end of Navi. A little bit of a helping hand going through there from Team Liquid, qualify? but Zebra Master. <laughs> I'm over. Arnold. Six Wrong live stream. Team Liquid with that proactiveness Go taking some more eliminations away from the other teams, which is going to be good for them because this is a team that at the moment they're not within the top eight. We still got a lot of time to work with, but I'm still, I'm, I'm already thinking about those top eight. Dude. Who's going to be going to the main event and who's going to be showing at least some consistency here right from the first day? Guess what? Fury is going to be able to show some consistency with those shots as Vitali ends up getting knocked there from Inco Gaming. And now Inco Gaming is going to be making a push here, but they're oh. going to be down a man and it's backfiring. Oh! Ooh, Regnum Karia just on the money with the hits though. Inco offering up three of their players. And now let's see whether or not Nunez 
can come through, close it up, could maybe find a quick pickup here. The nade is in the house. Is it going to be the end? Oh, no, instead, Team Liquid Mystic pops the nade through the window. Team Liquid, more like third party leaders because they're currently just third party and everything, <laughs> sending grenades down. Mythic keeps on hitting them and they need to make that push even more. Furia, they need to be careful though because Furia is going to be lurking around. They're going to be looking at third party this as well. Steal some of those eliminations. We're 200 viewers and away Mythic from a thousand viewers. A and guess Jesus. what? They did just that. Mythic I guess you all want to see Shiva struggling on the screen. Karia. And this is good. My goodness. This is what we've been wanting to see here at a Team Liquid with all these third parties, with all the awareness and making sure they collect as many eliminations points as possible. I think the, the, the mistake that needs to be made there was of Team Liquid, and crashing on Star. Like if Star got knocked, fine. We get to see if they can find a little Drove bit of action as well. Zero Master also not a team to and discount to see if action as well. Zero Master also not a team to and discount to kill, see if they can Taking a little bit of action You have a here. confirmed the number count the on the play now. It's going to be Furia. The enemy. Just actively then moving around. Trying to you figure have one player out and go and save him. That next best you can probably get it off angle. Well, currently you can, for you can jump to the shack and get it off angle. Get it off angle. It's not like, working for them, at least in regards um, to the scouting. So especially easy. when this circle pops up. I think the vehicle is an issue. Like They don't have enough vehicles. Start with one vehicle and the rest of the three was in one vehicle. They were controlling all the northeast. Luckily for them, they're going to have two players. Literally took the compound where Inari is at. Because Inari didn't really went to the compound there. Another team that was controlling a lot of area earlier. The last one closed. They're going to find themselves trying to make a push inside this circle. So should be at Inari's position right now. They're going to have to go over to Smoke Gaming. They can easily gatekeep Inari. And be at in our position right now. Let's see if smoke is going to be posing any danger. Speaking of smoke, though, we've got a lot of that now being deployed here. Nova is not playing smoke in game in or this Velcus prelim stage. This will be a three days, as they can find. basically qualifier but to the main be, event. Of course, a little bit of a barrage from the smoke gaming side, yep. trying to see if they can maybe find an easy pickup now at the expense of the Falcons. Mythic. And I think this is Mythic. when they slow it down a little bit, even though there's a lot of smoke going around. They're trying to fill each other. You can see Kunha there being very close to action, and I see at least getting some of that information. We do have two other players there from Team Falcons that are a little bit further back, trying to get that off angle and see what next Rhea players might be doing as well, because that team still has all four, all three players alive, and they could definitely end up there parting this fight. And here comes the push action now, making the push top. Nurse said making sure that they're within the compound there to back him up and here goes action he's gonna be able to spot one no he's not well, he's not letting oh, them play with their skins no. i don't think they notice each other i don't think they notice they're uh, to each other and that is crazy teaming. because he ends up working out teaming. in the favor a little bit there of team falcons but now smoke gaming does realize that they're there they're gonna start eliminating those players and smoke gaming gets away with it as team falcons oh. didn't realize oh. that there was a player from them right next to them I mean, what the? <laughs> what's going on? Smoke Gaming coming out of nowhere, and they do find the finishing blow into the side of the Falcons. I mean, see what it looks like. Smoke Gaming, they could be opting for a back to back play here. But my goodness, when you talk about them. luck, that is exactly what you want to see about luck. As soon as the Team Falcon players decided to look where the player was, he was already jumping off, so he didn't even have a chance to shoot him. You couldn't ask for anything better. And the aggressiveness here, I'm actually enjoying out of Smoke Gaming, making sure they back up a little bit more on next Ruya, but they need to be careful. You mentioned it earlier, Zebra Master still has one player alive, and we know what they've been able to do recently. Yes, at least today, Zebra Masters has been on point. Yep, it's going to be an interesting play indeed to see how this one will go. But now, Smoke trying to get a bit of a lay of the land, right? And figure out where everybody has gone. Team Liquid also keeping it nice and quiet up on the edge. Furia. They were missing very, their very fly, audible. so they gave their slot to Chinese those, best uh, team. Vehicles WBG. Moving around with a lot of noise being made, five. but now it is going to be no, next. That's, that's, that's, that's fake locking news. That's in. Fake they news. spotted one of the players there from the smoke game. Even if we have what an R, yeah, they could have potentially get you with an R, but not from they're the waiting. location where they were they're waiting to see if there's going to be a chance. And guess what? Guess who else was waiting? Smoke Gaming was waiting there. They were able to spot somebody and they're able to trade. Now, can they pick up their teammate? That's going to be the biggest question mark. And throughout all of this, yes, Smoke Gaming, you were able to eliminate Team Falcons. But guess what? You're going to have a Furia coming up behind you. And you need to be careful because they still have all their four players alive. And they're looking to control a lot of ground. And I would be surprised if they're looking. I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually looking to third party this fight and get some more of those elimination points. 
Yeah, to I'm right there with you. I'm right I'm there next. with you. I mean, you can see slowly that. Please make it a watch. Okay, watching. Trying to lock in for it. <laughs> a little bit of something off in the distance there, but it's Sky now. At least for the time being, focusing all the efforts up into the side. I think 800 viewers are watching. Like I'm really like a bit of an pretty like an shocked. Sneaking up on the ridge, Ninho. Because yesterday I mentioned in the stream, I thought like only but like maybe 200 people were watching. I thought most of you guys, you know. Enjoying and watching PEL. Yeah, I I would think more than maybe just in regards PUBG to mobile numbers, tournaments. I think Furia. But it turns a out a lot of you guys are because they're going to be controlling so much mobile of tournaments that as well. North. But even and then, also we when you see me struggle on the stream, I feel like for this match, and this is playing tomorrow. Yes, fighting fights, being able to find the chances, <clears> and I think they're going to be looking to do just that now as they're going to be looking to push the Zebra Master players. He's going to throw down a Molotov. Shiva, and there's two hot girls casting in Portuguese. Push. They need to be careful though. I think they might uh, be I know one of them. Push there for the smoke gaming players and on top of that next and, uh, three, next for three the other one let me check there from team liquid and one player from team liquid does end up getting eliminated and there's more getting eliminated too dk oh this is just turning <laughs> bad here for team liquid as birdie is just watching this like yeah just keep it going boys keep on eliminating each other <laughs> we went from a circle into a square of despair it is just hot heated action all over the place i mean Whoever moves out gets spotted by all the other teams. You can see Dex Rhea now trying to find a little something up on the ridge. Team Liquid trying to spread themselves out, trying to cover as much ground. And Furia just maintain an absolute relentless position. And they Switching still have such a dominating presence. All of you guys are here for the English version, so. They do, and <laughs> the best part English. that they haven't had to really do anything. But I'll secretly cool check the Portuguese everybody live stream, apart. And this is what I was, I was hoping it would start happening. And it's BDR is not playing finals. I don't know why BDR is not those playing long range this. fights. They know where this team is fighting. It. They kind of know where they're fighting. They're for sure a partnership team. And they got vehicles. They can cover ground very, very quickly. Furia just needs to make sure that they stay a bit compact. Keep on going with those angles and not overextend yourself because next Ruya and Smoke Gaming can definitely, can definitely make you pay if they find you exposed. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially with, those, with the shift now favoring Furia so much. Uh, yeah, they just got to play this one next level, right? They just yep. got to keep the angles tight, ensure that they've got enough of that coverage to secure the position. Ooh, but that is going to be Augusta finding a beautiful play up into next rear. One down, two more to go. But as H -F next rear, will I Y S is up, from still, United the Kingdom. The zone is going to be closing in the next few seconds, and this is really <clears> going to force their hand. Yeah, and it's definitely Furia Esports game to lose. Because at this point, with the way that they're currently set up, a series of events would have to happen here for this team not to be able to clutch this up. They have this circle. They have the advantage. Smoke Gaming is going to have to push out. Who knows how many smokes most Smoke Gaming has right Bro, now. Bro, Ayala been playing for forever. I remember him earlier. seeing him in PC. And as we're talking about Smoke Gaming, guess what? Next yeah. year, trying to peek a little for bit there. For if NHP plays that, there was a lot well, of players they could be top three. They're dead from Team Liquid, so they could possibly require... You're sweating right now, Razor, for what? To their name well, as you're you're so many smokes going around <clears throat> but then smoke gaming trying to third party that everybody's trying to go for it here they're not waiting for anything <laughs> as you do see the little snake from smoke gaming trying to get that off angle on furia and i don't think they know that he's there oh it could be quite a bit of a surprise to come Just on through. I mean, I, i'm trap? looking at next rear's position uh, there's so mean? many smokes being deployed Early. it is great to kind of cover up your position Yo, when you watch pubg mobile tournaments you can't see your opponents it puts you in a bit of a sticky spot, welcome, right? Welcome. Because uh, you can only third party peek so far. And here we go now. It is going to be Furia starting to light it up. Next, Rhea feeling the heat. Can you guys take YDD and getting out, he won't be a good assets for him? No. As Ninho gets dropped to two players the left. And this could be the whole team speaks Furia speak English. lock in that winner with a chicken dinner. <clears throat> it could be, but I don't think they know that Kunha is currently going to be behind them. If Kunha can get behind this tree, he's going to be able to start picking off people apart. But he needs to be careful because they've been able to spot him. And guess what? Now that's going to be a heads up to the other team. Get so the whatever thirst. surprise he was planning on doing, yes, you knock one player. But the surprise is absolutely gone. And there you go. <laughs> The one, the one that they were hoping they would get the off angle ends up going away. It comes down to Myth. Myth, is, oh, Myth is just not going to be able to clutch it. Furia well, was also just too much, is nerfed. way too much. Right, to yeah. DK. With the way that they were able to control the map, with the way that they were able to third party there towards it's the It's nerfed by still OP. Out of Furia There's sports. like... Yep, it was you the usually watch Furia every tournament moving on in, getting them their hands on that winner when a chick while playing dinner, Clash of Clans. Doing so with a very, very <laughs> impressive performance. I mean, they just they just asserted their dominance 
in these lost Bring a hot caster to assist you they in have. your stream I so mean, that you'll be not tired. This is what we want to see out of these teams that might try to make it to the top eight, right? Try to make it to Whoa. that top, the, the main event. They need to have this type of performances. Furia definitely being able to do it. But I mean, other teams were able to perform really well. I feel like with Smoke Gaming, what they were able to do against Team Falcons. Oof. Jukes, that was a bit of a surprise to me. I thought I, I mean, actually thought Team Falcons it was gonna be easy, but boy, they got lucky. <laughs> I, yeah, I thought they had it for a second, but you know what? I mean, we see teams just desperate this time. I think a lot of them are realizing that hey, you know what? Especially with these groups coming up, it's possible that we don't even see this top eight. Yeah. I mean, it really is. I mean, if the Falcons have put so many points, I'm sure we'll see them there. But uh, for a lot of these squads, we might see them <laughs> get picked out. So, I mean, you gotta put as many. Oh points my on the board God, guys! You can't let off guys. the gas. And if you see any opportunity. You gotta be able to take it. Please lower the official stream volume a bit. Is it high? We see one of the partnership teams. Is it still high? Dinner here, DK. I mean, it was about time, right? They gotta show us why they made it all the way here. And of course, speak about showing us. Right? I mean, I partnership. The reason why partnership got invited because they're a partnership team. They like they they it's didn't made it here. Man. They just got invited. Wondering if it was gonna happen because the, the organization has the influence in their respective region. Like, but then at the end, players didn't uh, actually it, it fuck, didn't fire, play anything, fire, didn't play the qualifiers, didn't play, you know what? play I'll nothing. Make that point again to be honest, that I wanted to make earlier, but I wasn't able to make it because of all the craziness that was happening within that match. That's Bro, the did Paragin miss this? Galaxy. Did the Paragin miss this? Uh, miss his fire button? A compound is usually not favorable, and this right here, it actually almost ended up even backfiring. They Bro, he almost they got lowered. Then it did. And if you're trolling us, he's April really Fools. Really I mean, because they're down a player going into this fight. Yeah, they I wish. have a, a, a solid finish, right? I think they put in a really good effort towards the I end. I wish they're trolling. Compared to their other Aaron Gales, because they just didn't even have a chance. <clears> but, you know, one thing I alluded, alluded to a little early, you know, I don't like this at all because... What happened to Zute not seeing him for so long? In that seventh, eighth place position uh, the last Maybe Zute is trying April, to get the right? marriage buff so that he can go back and play PUBG Comp again. I don't know, Zute disappeared, bro. You could decide no idea. who you want to play in the main He's not event, active on right? socials. So if, if I'm a I mean, I didn't receive this, a message from Zute like a few months ago. Zute was asking me, because who knows, our last are game, you our using... Last game, last games, they could just literally hot drop us every single game and make Zute sure said... we don't make it to the top eight. So we have two Miramars left, honestly, for teams like Nigma Galaxy and some of these other big Zute messaged me have a lot of potential. January 3rd. She find you have an iPhone Pro Max? More and more I said, I, mean, I do. What's a good phone case to reduce TNC, heating? I just got one. Uh, you know what? Uh, you're not going to be winning anything I said, in my country. Mm, and they decided to target them. Blah, blah, blah. Brand and... Uh, that's it. a little bit more there on what you're kind of hinted at, uh, Jukes. I guess the Zute is like leaving well. Is that if they do finish, you just this, bought a day iPhone really 15 well Pro Max. End up within the top three, coming on day three because they're not gonna be playing tomorrow since they're in Group A. Coming on day three, they know exactly. Before you, I used to watch a Zute watch party for PL. Those top eight. And yeah, I know, I know. Zute push your mark comes down. That's when those those oh theories God. come down that you're kind of <laughs> hinting at is if I'm Team Falcons, Nick Galaxy. <sighs> Maybe not able to make it to main event. If I'm able to push him, maybe uh, send him to the lobby a little bit earlier. I would definitely do that. She right. found boost I mean, and it should be confident. You know I want to reverse caster sure. Kristen. Meanwhile, look at this. Next Rudy coming up big time there. And I want to reverse caster Chris and HP. Beautifully done right They got to be in the dead 16 plays, bro. 100 damage. I mean, we're just seeing some absolute frag monsters coming up here, DK. Oh, I mean, kind of ultra going ultra <sighs> and above. Just pushing on in. You just got to love... This, this whole performance that we had like the, i mean this how are you gonna even so find this just, jesus this is impossible so like you put falcon in this position like falcon would be dead the too piece, right that's what that we see showing there but so wild. i mean that is a pretty crazy play though and i mean look at these elums though oh groups wow. eight crazy. kills Okay. In the leaderboard. Good to see Coops in the method. Top as well. No surprise there. Mid First Fragger. Liquid leading the charge so far with 11. That's what I was actually saying. Wow. Because I'm not surprised. Team Falcon has some players up there next to Rhea with Knoltra with, with the 10 eliminations. But Mythic, I mean, we just saw Team Liquid actually starting to put up those good matches. Team Liquid has been able to get good eliminations here and there. But for Mythic, this is great. Beautiful. Let's take a look at the match ranking and see where everybody lines up here at the end of this one. Furia! Getting it done with 17 points and uh, looking down the line, yeah, as a three man to be able to put up that kind of performance is pretty, pretty crazy here. It's 
Navi down with three points as well, going all oh, the way down the line. Zero? And man, we're starting to see some of the same teams struggle every single game. And D Xavier just getting NHP. taken out in Aaron Gale. That's got to hurt big time, Seven. Yeah. Do I have to? Uh, DX, do I have to get uh, naked so the NHP next can go forward? I'm looking to not hot drop. I already. <laughs> I got my ego checked. Switched out. We look at the overall uh, range. NHP jerseys. Boston's there at the Guys. top with 48 points. Zebra Master. Zebra Master has been playing so well. <laughs> and I mean, if this two, three teams right at the top continue to perform really well, it's gonna put the pressure on the Come teams on. that are gonna be coming into tomorrow playing. But going back to uh to what we're kind of talking about last there, two games DK, miramar if, if you're looking at mythic right if you're looking at team liquid if you're looking now at team falcons how are you looking to finish off this yeah this i know game, they didn't be sitting i know they gonna be looking for didn't have enough cards looking for consistency well, uh, <laughs> try it. Gotta look for. I think a consistent oh my win, God. Though, right? Yes. Uh, that would be yes. the best, the best way to go. But uh, nah, it's, it's going to be up to what the rest of the lobby. The price will get doubled. Because I mean, you can try your heart out to get Take a for this the rest match. of the lobby says no. <laughs> then it's good luck to you because uh, it's it's uh, a pretty pretty tough lobby. But I think moving into Murmur, it is going to definitely provide the teams with that opportunity to try and maybe crack app crack open rather a whole different kind of worms that we are you not gay i'm not gay bro here, no gay i'm not yeah, gay it's totally possible i think this, this is a great big opportunity for teams to really mix things up and just really come back strong and honestly i'm looking at those teams on the bottom of the leaderboard the miramar here. is like, fs like, map it's, really it's okay guys and if you you you're you're cursing you're cur really you're cursing depends. On You're literally game. cursing you FS. He's gonna die first in NHP. Because in this game, more for sure. Teams coming in, and there are no teams to shake your head at. That's for sure, Seven. Uh, she mentioned yeah, probably uh, sponsor wait, NHP four me, packs of a G's uh, bomb for finger e sleeves. But what esports? Fire Flux. Mm -hmm. NHP more like one, one HP. Team K. So <laughs> esports, which they've been playing oh in the qualifier. We already see what the qualifying. Qualifier teams have been able to do, and on top of that, they get to watch VODs of this team's playing. Maybe the GK and the kindness. So, yeah, if you think it's gonna uh, be easier, it's not gonna be easier. <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, especially the way we've seen some of these qualifying teams play. I mean, we might see. Because before the PMGO, I said in my stream that uh, if NHP got into top eight, right, I would personally give like five. Only fans I mean, subscription just gotta, to NHP players. Keep on ripping it out, right? Hot drops eventually, hopefully, will change into something good. The only guy she will be gay for is FS, bro. We, we were seeing consistently between the Xavier and Enigma Galaxy. That's kind of in limbo for the time being. But hopefully, uh, we'll see FS some good is as skinny as a bamboo. Through now. And I think rightly so, right? You got to try to set Mary. yourself up before we get into tomorrow's games because some of that is going to be outside of your control. Where's yeah. Nova? With that said, you Nova will be playing the, the main here, event. And I'll go okay. first. They need the Do marriage buff. Do we think DX Savior is going to end up in some kind of hot drop here in any of the last NHB, two matches in the Miramar? NHB, Titan, NHB, Global, maybe. Clone. <laughs> okay, I will say maybe, but they have to make sure it doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? It's totally yep. possible, but if they even get the slot, if I'm, if I'm on one of their IGLs right yeah. now, Asia, and if I Asia. even get the itch that we can get hit, we, we got to leave. We gotta leave right okay. now. Let's go somewhere else. And speaking of let's go, let's go on over to the main stage for an Bro. awesome interview. If they don't qualify top eight, it means what? that uh, uh, they bought Fury OnlyFans themselves already. That's why they Welcome were. Kyle, that's why they weren't motivated for my OnlyFans subscription. Subs uh, subscription. That's the uh, only eles, possible uh, explanation. In range, ou vocês só conseguiram um chicken dinner? E aí eu quero saber o que que vocês estavam lutando, o que que era mais difícil para vocês que vocês não estavam conseguindo encaixar o jogo nesse mapa? Bom, as primeiras partidas a gente diagnosticou que a gente tava muito off the shirt for this match in the comment. That's why he said, are you gay? Dentro do gás. E a gente consequentemente bateu umas trocações também que a gente não poderia ter trocado naquele momento. E nessa última partida a gente Sentou ali, conversou a respeito e encaixamos o jogo e conseguimos trazer essa essa win. Bro, I thought it's gonna be hella. Okay, so I have asked him uh, the three first matches on uh, I thought it'd be hella map, nice, you know, motivation for them, you know. I'm, so not away, I'm not giving away. I'm not giving away one or two. I'm giving away five. Map, so OF subscription to them, bro. Some safe zones, but they did the reset with the team. They talk a lot with the team players and with the coach, and they finally got the chicken dinner on the Arangel map. 
So my next Koski looks is, like he we, plays football. A gente viu to be honest, coisas, he's more like a football vocês, player vocês than a PUBG Mobile player. Uh, final de safe de muitos mapas. E aí eu quero entender o que que tava faltando para conseguir encaixar. Red Bull on the logo jersey is OP, yeah. Bom, era dar uma respirada um pouquinho mais ali. A gente chegou, igual eu falei, a gente chegou com tomando gás, miado. Tino, this is why your, bro, your girlfriend is trying to break up with you. Pensou melhor do que a gente <laughs> deveria ter feito e agora PL caster is better than PM Geo caster. É... <laughs> okay, my last question was uh, Karoki says she find next time wear lucky color on the wear you can help the buff. On, but they couldn't what color? secure the end game. So what, what color you consider lucky? That happening. Cuz in China in people world, and he said consider the same thing is like red. we had to talk would be a lucky we are, color. We're not comfortable in some safe zones we are getting a lot of <laughs> And it should be hot dog Velkis, bro. Uh, the last safe zone and Cristiano <laughs> Mess it up with our team. How many shots have that's you okay, drink really before happened. coming to my live stream? Thank you so much for the interview. Muito obrigada pela entrevista. And that's it, guys. PL cameraman, the best. Yes, of course. We and the PL cameraman, awesome the, the cameraman we love. Players perspectives here, seven. Last two matches coming up here. She find red and FS ping with you. You. This new update. It is just awesome. So many different options. Treasure lies. Chun Yi Zhong. Ah, I'm Chun Yi Zhong. That's too bad. <coughs> I like the portal thing, by the way. I, I oh, just yeah. have to mention that the portal <sighs> thing is nice. <laughs> Dude, that's where it's so fun. I mean, to be able to go ahead and just drop those portals, just boom, zoom across the map. Yep. I love it. I love it. So definitely go check it out today if you haven't already. DK, last two Miramars coming <clears throat> up. All right. Mm. Um, we talked about some hot drop situations. We talked. What team in particular do you really want to see come out strong here in the last two Miramars? I'm not going to be biased, but maybe I'll be a little bit biased. I'd say uh, Nigma Galaxy, right? I, I want to see, I want to see a play, right? I mean, it's it's it's from from my home region, so I, I'm curious to see a strong performance come through from their end. So I'm going to be looking at Nigma. I want to see what they can bring out onto the desert field. Ooh. All right, since we're going biased, bzz, hold on, let me get let me let me get this defibrillator ready. <laughs> come on in, hyper. Where you at? <laughs> Oh, Let's seven. And Hyper is another <coughs> team for sure. One other team I'm going to go ahead and pick is I'm going to go with Na'Vi. You know, Na'Vi have been kind of hit and miss a little bit lately. We know what they're capable of. I think that we need to see a little bit of consistency from them here in the last game. Where is main, man? Check the link. Uh, check the description. Yeah, right check my description and you will haul. You will haul. You will be having all the information so for PMGO. Let's go ahead and take it out over to a quick break and we'll be right back. All right. Take a quick PM and be right back. Well, thank you for the copyright strike, Puppy Mobile. Hey, this song specifically made for Puppy Mobile?
What is this? What's this MV? I am confused. <laughs> I mean the song I feel is alright. The uh the music video feels like a little bit weird I feel like <clears throat> it sounds like a love song forced with PUBG Mobile MV. Yeah. <laughs> Can mobile esports pass PC esports in the future? I personally feel like PUBG Mobile esports already pass PUBG PC esports. He's a group of people playing tomorrow. Yes, group of people is playing tomorrow. The first Miramar. See, Van Kessler were mocking NHP yeah. when you were away. I heard him. Is it? Let's is it seven? Right? He's like NHP. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are you at? I can't see. Day. I can't see. And this is a very important one here, DK. Because I mean, we got a beautiful plane path. There's no excuses. It's time to put up or shut up. This could. These are some of those championship games, I think, for a lot of these players. Yeah, you got to dust off those barrels, clean your shoes, All right. and get ready to hit. The fifth game of the day. Down into the no, no, no. Get it cooking. And I'm, I, I mean, I agree with you, right? This, it's down to this game to see kind of who's going to be making it up, at least into the top eight for today, right? Tomorrow. Um, I think it might become a little bit more challenging seeing that we've got an additional eight teams that will be joining out on towards the battlefield. So, yeah, it's I think we're almost at that make or break, at least for these two groups, that, you know, with today's points. Yeah, 100 percent. I mean, it's going to be tough because I uh, I just hope that none of these teams are. What's an issue best map? I don't, I don't even know at this point now because Maybe HM. some of the teams are going to be sitting out tomorrow. They're going to go from being, you know, chilling in you know, fifth, sixth place, or maybe even fourth place right now, and then all of a sudden they're in 12th, you know? Mm. So not a, not a position you want to put yourself in, so you want to get as many points on the board as possible. The... Bad, see... It's it's Ooh, Nigma versus it's DX again. Oh, south great. Circle. <clears throat> we drop, this is we drop north, the circle wins south. Yeah, but I think it's going to be Perfect. Uh, a first come first serve, especially seeing that we're heading further down in towards uh, Chumacera. Uh, Minas del Valle, you know, anything that you can kind of get set up ahead of the competition there. So it can be like ball, Avi. It's not that ball, really like Zebra is like phases, sec close like, second. Who knows, right? The zone, we know where it is, but there's no clear indication as to where it could go. Because who knows, it could even still pull up further, right? It could go all the way back into Picado or even into Los Leones. Yeah, it's totally possible. Second totally to the last possible. match, right? If yes, uh, Cindy. Yes. Direction. The thing about that's tough about the south side of these map is that they're so terrainous that it's, it gets pretty difficult to navigate. Are you for real? PUBG so Mobile past the PC esports? Even PUBG Mobile esports even the first mobile esports? No, I'm talking the side about side PUBG PC. PUBG Mobile past esports wise past, other, past <laughs> PUBG PC. Are you kidding me? I think PUBG Mobile got a more cooker into watching I mean, three rounds wasn't PUBG enough. PC when it comes to the I global tournament. Going. Yeah, might as well just follow through all the way to the end of the day. Uh, well, you got to give it to these two teams, right? DX and uh, Nigma, consistent as heck. She was only for IG. Something ID? had to happen. You know what I'm saying? Maybe somebody <laughs> had a conversation that didn't. Yeah, like. again. Maybe, uh, Nigma and DX. I don't know. Uh, Coop stole the the last snack from one of the players from you know D Xavier because this is just getting insane. These guys are just hard set on making their lives that much more difficult. Because I guarantee you, if this keeps up. I mean, it's not just one team that can go home. Both these squads can go home. Yeah, and that's the unfortunate part, right? So, I mean, as fun as hot dropping is, at some point you got to glance towards that leaderboard because, as we've said many times already today, only the top eight teams 
will be progressing forward into that main event. So the higher you try and qualify already off of the first day, the higher probability you have of actually making it to there. Because, I mean, if you leave it up to tomorrow or the day thereafter, depending on which group you're playing, it's going to be hot and sweaty. Oh, and, you know, not to mention, you know, considering the way this prize pool is laid out, you know, the big money is coming up in the main tournament. You know what I'm saying? So these teams that have done so well here at the start. DX is angry, so I guess DX is going to win this. Smoke, I feel like DX, they both are going to leave. Kind of like they are not going to fight. Range. They will have so many points that they can do whatever they want. You know? Because mm. there's not a dip right now. There's no difference between second or first. You really want to just get into top eight. So if you yeah. know you're secure, and if I'm seeing a team like, you know, Nigma Galaxy, who if these guys get hot, they can really destroy this lobby, right? If, if they're sitting in that 7th, 8th, or ninth position like they are right now towards the end of the tournament, heck, I'm going to go like, hey, oh, let's go ahead and make them a nice one little DX visit got knocked. location and, you know, shut down their chances of oh. you know, shut down <clears throat> us having to be able to deal with them in the main event coming up. Mm -hmm. I mean, because if you look at the law of averages, right, realistically, the top three from each group could have a really good chance of making it through, right, just based on points. DX always pop it out um, on Mirror Mark? So... Oh, yeah, that's gonna be gonna a. Be, it's gonna be a pretty, pretty tough. Hard. Play. And I mean, for Nigma for DX, we know that they are super, super capable, right? There's no reason for them not to. I've just told you that, that you, they don't know well, where to eat that because she didn't lobby, go. Essentially, but <clears throat> oh, I'm so, you gotta step it up, right? I'm you such a foodie. Go to the hardware store, go get a, a bag of cement, and then just solidify your <clears throat> position at least at the top of the leaderboard. Oh. Yeah, oh no, he missed it. Right now, the way to do that is to by avoiding hot drops at all costs, right here. You can see Nigma Galaxy have their eyes. Oh, just I think he's marking. Right so right like, so he's like, go there, go there, go there. Go, my, go to my marker, go to my marker. And you can knock these two players. You have to waste just trying to, you know, get a vehicle, try to get their way to safety. It just really cripples their overall yep. gameplay here. Look at this. Here comes the rotation. My marker, they my marker. Who the, who this I mean, is. like, they're already they translating what they're talking about. Go there, go there. My marker. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I don't know if it's <laughs> if it's personal or something. It's like, yeah, you know what? It, <laughs> oh, yeah, you dropped out of some game. What? For you gotta catch that guy, you. that'll be over so, for DX. Uh, yeah, at some at some point there needs to be some kind of resolution between these two teams. Uh, I would really like it now. One if guy clears the DX. Either of them disengage and get themselves relocated back in towards zone because looking at how Nigma currently is situated, there oh. is a good option, a really comfortable rotational pathway for them to make that breakaway and get towards that far southern south even. But uh, yeah, it's gonna come down to whether or not that is actually the way they're looking to play it out. Let's see what the play is. You can see these players from Nigma Galaxy just trying to find some angles. You can see Oop looking to find that buggy and he's gonna get it. So he's gonna go he's got his buggy locked and loaded. He didn't catch it. Damn, you just thing. woke up, you're gonna rewind and, us uh, frame. Eventually they gotta give No <laughs> Maybe that's what they're finally starting to do. Spec so PUBG, oh my Disney god. So literally with their team and finally head on over to the next zone. Yeah, good call. Both teams still walking out of here with a full with a full piece. So uh, fucking yeah. ass. There's a, there are housing this trip. It's happened here just yet. I thought I turned it off. Royals of War. Also curious to see what their performance is going to be doing. I mean, you got to give it to them. They've been having a, a really good run so far today. Twenty seven points on board. Wait a minute. They they're a little bit away from. Do you guys have ads? They could definitely look to close that stream? gap. Just coming out of the back. I of thought I turned it off. Virtus Pro. Like, I wonder what's been cooking on their end today. Only Do you find your team qualified? No, total. not yet. They're literally 14th place right now. Not good. Not good. And we have two yeah, games left. They will be playing six more tomorrow, but like, two games here. if they I mean, weren't secure any more points face, in the last two games, teams run away including this I mean, one, still they're pretty much done and dusted. not enough matches to really, you know, prove such a lead that it's impossible to catch. I mean, even for a team... You know, Three ads so far? Like VP all the way down in six. A lot of ads? They get a ten elimination chicken dinner. Wait, here, wait, right? wait, wait, wait. put them all the way up to like. Let me, let me, let me see the settings. Like yeah, yeah, and then they just got to clean up come game six. So, I, I'm, I'm curious to see what the, what the approach is going to be. I mean, yesterday, I say yesterday, but in the, <laughs> day three of the qualifiers. We did see such a drastic okay, shift coming into game five and six. Receive any right? ads? So 
We know definitely a team like the Zebra Masters, they have the capability, but looking at their current positioning, there's no real need for that. Okay. I think Let it me would know be if it's better. more just for bragging rights at this point, if they were to look <clears throat> play something like that. But the team slower down that board. They <sighs> definitely got a lot of ads. I mean, DX, uh, in hyper Insanity, Voters, this is their opportunity Where's the NHP? to go get those ladders and start climbing. This is a this is a huge opportunity though for some of the teams. Nah, the this is not a huge opportunity for NFP, obviously. Side, Where are they? Up nice and early, so they're are they still in the blue? Up in a very dominant position in the north? In this circle. You got Victus Pro as well, not in a bad spot. Navi coming in from that edge. Meanwhile, you got Nigma Galaxy because they stayed so long up north, are going to be coming down late again. So we'll be interested to see how they decide to play that. But you know what? A nice couple hard shifts down will definitely mix things up for sure oh yes and you should be noobs we saw they Bruh. were still having to cover a bit of ground but yes. i'm curious to see uh what navi is going to be doing just there on the edge of zorn they've just managed to dip they throw it in they spot a little bit of that versus still in the blue above the power grid flying in as gonzo gets right down to it 9z also going to be pushing up from why they were thinking so late because they're angle. always like, like the furthest the team the from the zone Okay, yeah, gotta go for so I guess the stretch for them map, is to like loot up and take, take map, as many meds as possible up, and as go into the zone late. Possible because the zone could go in any direction still. So if you get that high ground, you uh, let's see if, the they, land, if this strat will work for them tomorrow. Up, we'll work, work for them. All right, if the zone goes this way, we're gonna head in this direction. We're gonna take this path. Everything. So it's all about intel here, especially at stage two. Yeah, especially also then looking at kind of the position that uh, Virtus Pro now find themselves and if in. he's doing heal battle. There's, there's quite a few angles that they could actually try and utilize to their advantage, but it's all going to come down to how well they can adopt these angles because we can see just so many teams continuously moving closer and closer. I mean, even Aragnum Caria just holding up on that ridge line could play such a powerful position down on towards Virtus Pro. Is NHP agent yeah, play good or bad? Oh, we got to... We got to see by the end of the day. Let's see if they can secure any more points so maybe for the, the last few games. Extra pieces of loot or something because they know the war that's going to be coming up ahead. Meanwhile, Smoke. Smoke's done a great job so far. They're currently sitting in third place. 32 points. They played very, very well. And uh, I expect a lot from this team. Insanity, we saw <laughs> them. you will have a hard time against uh, the Group C. From what I remember, during the qualifiers, they started off rough, right? Yeah, Insanity had, they lost the first two games with like only one point and then popped off towards the end. And yeah, NHP still in the blue. Right? So it, it, we've seen them do it before, but this is a totally different caliber of lobby here, DK. What do you think? No emergency to pick up here. Yeah, it's going to take quite a bit of That'll commitment from there, and if they're going to be <clears> looking <throat> to pull off, uh, you know, a big, big comeback coming through into this. And the tree, I, mean, I saw them finally find the, on the map. Because uh, they're not looking to break the north. to those Oh, there's no actually tough, shift tough to north a little bit. And, I mean, looking oh, at but what's in front of them map, is right? Zebra there's Master. Team. That's currently missing on this Top two teams this, in the lobby. Mm -hmm. And it's D-Xavier. Oh, right? and they're in the blue. All the way up north. Ugh, they're gonna I'm starting to worry, you guys. What I will say, like during um, during some of the earlier stages, right? It, that no. strategy isn't so bad. FS. Usually, teams that are weaker or a little bit more nervous, you'll kind of see them playing, you know, hugging that blue zone. No, they're pinned three. now. But this is the global open, you know. No. Like, you build Look at look at it. So look. that you know. Oh, Caprizi knocked the two of the uh, Zebra Masters. You know, on through the circle, Even the FS got knocked. It, it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, it's it's definitely interesting Can they get the to see what strategies they are coming up with at this at this point. But uh, oh, nice! They got one confirmed. Hyper, though, they've caught wind of a little bit of that uh, zebra master action, finding the first confirmation now. Get the res on FS, ahead, and then there's only two left, right? So N hyper definitely Better. In strong position. Our first elimination, of course, going over to Caprice there. Up comes DX, just rolling on. Nice up. one. They're gonna stop by, oh, or they're just gonna keep one. on going. They didn't expect they would have win the. Hard oh, stand right on. Do they know this fight? Master. And it's a great. They can potentially third party the now, fight. Uh, they only have two players, so this could be an easy two. Spread points. a little bit more. Fortune sometimes oh, favors the got thirsted bold, and uh, some other teams. You want to do a full stand onto a building? It just so happens they pick the right one. Come on, spread a little more. Yeah, good choice. I mean, this could be some easy claps. I don't I think they saw DX, DX coming Xavier. late. 
but let's see whether or not oh, Zebra no, they're in the moving. Yeah. Any of that to happen, or I mean, Zebra. No, they're in the moving. They've, they've been looking pretty nice. Today, so this play slow, play slow. Don't first party yet. I was say, don't get Wait lazy. for the kill message. Don't get lazy. You have the numbers advantage. Don't just run into oh, a building by yourself. Spectators, bro. And he is so lucky he made out of there. Star knocked by Team Liquid. That could have been an instant knock in Thirst, but. Unfortunately for Zebra Master, Ooh. Zebra Master is out. It wasn't able to happen, but they're still not yet not going down. They're not just laying down. Oh, they're huge nade! Fight here, DBSs are out. Nice, but Ooh. that there is gonna finish them off. So, Zebra Master eliminated there in six. Better got knocked. It's looking good. It's looking good, but of course, the Xavier not out of the woods, right? Because uh, Team Liquid now pushing the up and Hyper knocking on the door. So, uh, oh, yeah, Ayala. I think I'll just keep rolling with the punches because, I mean, we were talking about them needing Damn, points. Damn, Caprizi smoke one more. For them now to secure an insane amount of eliminations. And the boy, dude, can they use them? That's for sure. You can start seeing the Xavier, yes, yeah, starting to put it on that work onto N Hyper. N Hyper down to just two players. And uh, their backup was against the wall here. It looks very, very familiar to what we saw earlier. Meanwhile, you got Team Liquid right there on the edge. Definitely not something to shake your head at, but Ayala might just. Leave I personally feel like playing edging this kind of lobby is I very hard. I wonder if he's going to call his team to try to gatekeep and, and and get into this fight here or prioritize circle. I mean, looking at the position, I think a gatekeep would make a little bit more sense. But I mean, Ayala just it just doesn't seem like they can resist temptation. Oh, Ayala! Right? Up comes oh. the hit. They do find Caprice one down. Ooh, but the elimination gets stolen by D Xavier. Yeah. <laughs> the Xavier said, I'll take that all day long. Thank you, Ayala. He said, do a check later. That was nice. And Ayala's got that mini out. He's going to see this rotation coming. Now he knows he's in a little bit of trouble here. He's going to take some shots down range, trying to play it safe. FS. Ooh, get beat, beat up a little bit. time. see him. He instantly turned towards that car. He's like, uh-oh. Did I make a mistake? FS should have won the one right, against so the, the, the X player. Yes. Going to go for the quick thirst. Gets it. Huge point here. Now here comes the rest of Team Liquid to come help out their teammate. Well... So far, it does seem like Ayala has been really holding strong. But now, Parajan, Levi's. Nice. Looking for FS taking the one. To either get the jump in on Anna Hyper, or I don't know. They're going to have to jump Nice. And roll FS. Up. Ooh. Ooh. Anna Hyper bouncing back. You have the vehicle now. The Xavier oh. in trouble here. They're going to need to make something Ooh. happen in the last game. Uh, maybe we could just. Another one? A, a good finish here from Levis will be huge. If he can make a crazy comeback play, that's that's usually one of those moments that will just hype your team up and take them to another level. Can he get this knocked out? Oh, FS! FS! FS! Oh, oh my gosh! Get this on with the mini! Wow, what a shot! <sighs> Insanity, dude. I mean, this is just so, so hot and heated. Now, speaking of which, though, there's going to be Falcons also going up alongside next Ruya here as you can see next Ruya they trying to find that play down to a three-piece corpse though with a quick nade also then all the way across the way up oh he almost got him even more plays but now Falcons we gotta see they gotta hunt it down next Ruya just barely on the edge and look at this but this three points now just getting absolutely bullied too little by the now you mean galaxy Oh boy, and here we go. We're starting to see Team Liquid hop in that monster truck. Not doing too good. He comes frozen. Looking to finish him off. Trying to duck because he's getting shot from all over the place. That molly does look good though. Yeah, forces him away from the vehicle. Gets the knock and able to secure that finish before getting knocked himself. Yeah, good follow up. Good follow through. Oh, Enigma. Oh, Navi getting a bit of a bite out of the pie there. Nice angle. Let's see whether or not Coops and Lords could potentially make up but i mean navi they just got such a controlling position over that of nigma yeah and you can just see nigma galaxy uh, uh both nigma galaxy and d xavier just seem to be kind of one step behind the rest and that mm. could be kind of like a that that i could see that easily being a result of those hot drops you know because mm. you're you're stuck you know playing so still for so long it kind of gets your head in a different space and then when it comes time to really ramp things up, you could be just one step behind the rest of these teams that have been playing a normal game, warmed up, ready to go. And uh, I think that's what we're seeing there. Because mm. D Xavier from that last push, they kind of looked a little bit out of sync. And they just fell apart. 
you know, I, I, I tend to agree with you on the, the whole hot drop topic. I mean, doing it once, it's good, it's fine, you get out of your system. But continuously staying there, you kind of bring something else into your into your oh, playstyle, at least Fast for that furious. environment there. And where's Coops gonna go? Coops, as capable as Coops is, this is gonna be a very very difficult play to pull off. Hundred percent, especially you know hot dropping four games on one of the only couple of days that you're gonna be playing at yeah, Coops, driving on in, trying to find a shack or something, forced to pop out the vehicle. And it's not looking good. This nade from Wild, will it hit? Nope. It sure doesn't. It almost looked like it did with that heal, but... Coop, standing up. Ready to get some shots down the, ra the range. But a beautiful headshot there from Wild. It's going to take him out. Yeah, well done. Well played, Thor. I mean, you got to give it up to, to Regnum Karia. Phenomenal. Just, just a bit of clean up there. You know, found a straggler and swiftly dealt with it. Unfortunately, it was at the expense of Nygma Galaxy. But now, well, the rest of the teams, right? We are down to our top 10 to see who's going to be clutching our very first Murmur of the prelims. Navi, they're starting to prowl. They're starting to just clear the area, lurking, looking for a little bit of action. They still have a full four-piece up. Let's see what they decide to do here. As they're starting to go around. Oh, we got that M24, baby, coming on out. <laughs> Some bolt action. Marlin, once again, I mean, this is the man with the plan when it comes to the bolt axe. You can see him very comfortable with it. It's time to get an NA monster back in NA. It's a nice little headshot that's going to mess up <clears throat> here there from Navi. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Mm. As we hit the calm before the storm here at stage five. Yeah, hopefully that calm isn't going to last all too much longer. Marlin now just uh, scanning the horizon, looking for any pixels out of place. In the meanwhile, Falcons starting to dip their toes up in towards the door. Nene Bede, Nunez also trying to find a bit of a foothold here. It is going to be action, taking quite a bit of damage, but a quick swing around coming through. It's knocked. As we saw Falcons, just such a reaction here. We're going to say goodbye to Nene Bete though, down they go, it's now up to Nunez and oh, this is again turning into a very difficult position now for Inko to make anything happen. 100%, let's see what Inko's going to do. Nunez, uh, just right there on the edge, last player up in 10th place in a really tough spot. Navi starting to have a little bit of that comeback, right? Three eliminations so far. They, they've shown Hello, that they can Cambodia, start off strong Hello, with the elimination, uh, they, welcome to the live but stream. they seem to kind of taper off towards that mid end game. So let's see if they can hold on here and get those much Just pick NGX roster, pay them more. As this next zone is going to be a huge deciding factor. Who's going to have the advantage? Let's see where hold it SC's decides Falcon? to go. Let's center yes. up. And it does. Pretty much dead center here. <laughs> I mean, Zeregnum Garia, they are definitely going to be smiling about this current positioning because they can just try and get it under lockdown and, I mean, just cover all the possible angles. But uh, it's still going to be a little bit of contention. As you can see up towards north here, Team Liquid also down what to do you think a solo. Check in? So not quite sure if they are going to be able to play the best game of hide and seek that they've played for a while or whether or not. We are going to be seeing Next Roya potentially pick up a few more items. Next Roya, though, they've been backing it in, right? Six eliminations already, leading with the aggression so far on this map. Yes, they have been. They've been putting in that work. They could show that Miramar is their map of choice. Frozen, lying down, just trying to get a little bit of intel here. He is on the edge of that circle, so they do have to press up in a second. But right now, he's just trying to wait for that perfect timing. He's just two minutes on the clock. Still got ads. Decide which way they want to decide to get into this next zone rules of war aren't moving a muscle though they are very very content with where they're at though they might get into it into it with team falcons if they're not careful but i think that the falcons have to try to take this hill first like who's earned some money but i think it also depends on how good of a position royals of wars compound is going to be coming into the Can't snake hear my storm voice? ship so uh if it's a good spot you can you can almost be guaranteed that the Falcons Falcon gonna are going to win PMGO. We still have Titan teams waiting for there. Falcon in the uh, are gonna be looking main event though. Across the way, up north, things have quieted down. Smoke Gaming now starting to pick up a little bit of pace as they come through over on towards the southern edge. Did that fast clutch? Was she now finding a bit of an opportunity over on no. towards Navi. No, he put it on the guy. Up. 
three piece still holding Ooh, steady up on the hill. Let's see if they can defend these angles because I mean, smoke. They've been cooking up quite a bit of a storm here today. Oh yes, they have. They know exactly what to do. They've been putting in that work all day long. That's why we see them uh, currently in fourth place. But at, at the end of the day, what's the no frequency of the ads, guys? The different groups. How come you guys have ads? They I have don't, to know I don't that understand. This is not enough, right? We gotta still put up some big points on the board. They have all. Is it like one per game, or like two side, per game, three per game, or what? Opportunity for them to put some more. Ads. You know, a little bit more of a gap between them and the rest of these teams that are going to be coming up here soon. Let's see if those gaps are going to be playing in their favor now. Falcons. Oh, they started to I turned to off rotate. the ads already, but I don't know why you guys are seeing I like seeing ads. Here, but I like this, Maybe I have to uh, start my stream. Preemptive play coming Maybe. from Wales of War, right? They anticipated that something could be coming and they've already kind of gotten themselves into more coverage in anticipation of... A play just over the horizon. Meanwhile, Nunez from Inko. I think for 10 minutes. On up, right? Trying to see if they can find something uh -oh. in, in I forgot to turn off the insanity. ads like before the start Ooh, of this live stream, but like in the next stream? And the tomorrow? For tomorrow? Oh, beautifully done I'll guarantee there, there, will, there will be no ads. Be the Ooh, oh, what a headshot. A couple of nice headshots as well. Man, this mini has just proven to be an absolute dominant force. I remember right after PMWI, we saw Vampire. Uh, it's Tony K just shred with this thing. It's just become such a mainstay here. In Are those e skippable ads or not skippable? Like it's two minutes skill, ads. It is such nice. a skill. Speaking of Are skill, these ads skippable? Adrian also finding himself a little bit on that frozen action, but the nades from Keen though reaches in. It's okay, okay, okay. Oh, a little bit of repayment. Oh, I mean, Furia. Now definitely trying to make up for a little bit of that last time. I mean, they are so, so close to just... No, I think people are getting ads. This whole position wide, wide open. Ads trolling so good. Find themselves at least I think they're the not trolling because... Uh, Let's see if they can do I it. Trust I, tr I trust them. I trust, down there. I trust you all. Finally just finds the right opportunity and gets the knock. Now it's time to bust out those smokes. Skip trying to get okay. those res just quickly, quicker rather than later. He only has 10 seconds on the clock. You can see the rest of his teammates desperately trying 45 to crawl 45 minutes ads, then not you know, that you're trolling. Start coming in 45 minutes ads, bro. He may well. have enough time to maybe get one up. The other person what ads can be 45 minutes? Even further. Like but reading a Bible or something? Them, I don't see anybody in their vicinity that has eyes on them. So they might be able to get at least a couple players up. Let's see if they can, though. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty crazy one, though. You can see everybody now starting to converge down towards this next zone shift. Now V starting to push on through. Are they gonna maybe go for the jump in on towards uh -oh. Furia? As you can Let's see, Furia, see they're picking it up. They're almost back onto a full squad. In the meanwhile, Falcons, they're gonna be having their hand over on towards Rose, uh, Royals of War. <laughs> 45 minutes. With this zone coming in so quickly, I'm surprised they went for it. But Furious is now. We need to win this game. We need ma massive points. Nami doesn't notice them. So they're able to get the full res. Oh my start God. seeing those shots come on out. Meanwhile, Team Falcons are trying 27? to press the issue as well. 27 oh, people alive? Who do y'all? Starting to make that push. And they're gonna have to do it wide right out in the open. Bro, after the after today's yeah. matches, like uh, yeah, I mean, NHP so far they've been able gonna to have a big, this big meeting the with the players. Navi. Definitely finding those pickups along the way. Royals of War. Not gonna oh be happy about God. that, but a quick response. They got 20 though. points today for tomorrow. Beautiful, beautiful knock. Tall. The thing about those tires in that area is that you know they need at least like 70 points, 70 ish know points. Exactly where they're at, and yeah. Navi end up going down. Keep on your Chinese mainland. Yes. For them. And NHP so trash man. Lose one player. They still have three up as Regnum Karia. I'm looking down in direction as well. Ooh. Team Falcons go down. So now this is a big opportunity for these. How much for NHP jerseys? They're not selling the jerseys yet. Move on their way up. And I, I said it before, right? Insanity is still up with the whole squad, but oh, huh? Take the shot. eyes are locked on them right now. They're in trouble. Mm. Yep. Here comes the heat. Regnum Karia just laying oh into God. them. And with that, numbers. Oh, my goodness. Dwindle and oh, absolute sweep oh, oh, my through. God. Regnum Karia spotted them perfectly. He was so patient. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And then at the right time, Silas said, okay, time to shut him down. We'll have one more after this. One more Miramar. I mean, phenomenal timing coming through here from Silas. And I mean, Regnum Garia, 
Storm Rock in a full squad. They've got five eliminations up. Things are looking up and up. And I mean, they've made it all the way up in towards the top four. I'm, I'm curious to see how the Whales of War are going to be looking to play this one. Because the pacing, again, this time around, just looking so strong on both the Whales of War and that is on the, coming through from the side of Furia. 100%. Let's see what they have to do as well as the war. Currently hiding behind the tractor. Maki? Miyaki really... Man, this guy is deadly with that mini-14. Here he goes with a couple shots. Get the couple... And gets the knock. Both of the reloads gonna get that finish. But sis, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and keep my eyes on the prize up here. And start to put a little bit more punishment here onto Regnum Karia. Regnum Karia are in big trouble because every single squad's looking at them right now. Yeah, positional, positional speaking, yes, they do find themselves in a very sticky spot. I mean, Royals of War now having the odds kind of turn in their favor as they're now up to a 35% chance of getting their hands on that winner, winner chicken dinner for this play. Though it was Regnum Carrier holding nice and steady as they do find the blaze up in towards Rivas. It's now going to be up on towards Colgate and, of course, Eragon to see if they can hold true pull the name forward and, well, defend the honor of the Royals of War as the shots continue to fly Ooh. in. Eragon had to hit the floor real quick as Smoke was looking right at him from that other angle. Meanwhile, Ninho trying to go ahead and get that nade going. Looks good. Ooh, hits the truck. He's about the toes. He does! And goodbye! Threading the needle right through those tires. And here we go. It's a top two situation. Smoke. Looking to go up against Rolls of War. Smoke Keeps has alive. all the real estate. Rolls of War completely jam-packed. Is there right any here? utility left from Smoke? If they got it, they got to start throwing it now. Mm -hmm. They definitely have to get going with that play. But, I mean, this could potentially be Rolls of War looking for their first winner, winner chicken dinner of the day. As we know, Smoke, they've already gotten a bit of that action cooking. But let's see how this play is going to pan out. Smoke already sitting up on 11 eliminations. Oh. So they angle. do seem to have quite a bit of a presence here. Royals of War not far behind them. But as you said, Wait, these two teams again in the final zone. Essential in this last phase. Smoke have the ridge line, but Royals of War did a great job of being able to just apply that pressure, but it was only a matter of time. More time went on. Smoke with that hill. Oh, just, Smoke. Ooh, got it done. This so, is Royal wow. War? Wow. A massive, massive game there. Oh, it's smoke, smoke gaming and uh, you got a back to back man, right at the right time too right at the right time i mean not back to back but we'll see these guys in the finals yeah i mean and that's the second chicken of Dude, the day the second so chicken of the day making the prelims their own as they are just looking fourth so brazilian chicken so comfortable and of course backing so much heat out on the battlefield smoke top team elimination chicken dinner as well i mean these guys are flexing they're feeling good look at that mint <laughs> said hey check out the name baby i'm ready to get on into the finals and collect some of that big price pool coming on up here as now we're gonna go ahead and bring a uh, back seven i know you were watching the game brother what you think about that one first of all let me talk about smoke they did the exact same thing that they did earlier when they first got their chicken dinner and that is pretty much just wait for the right time let all the other teams mm -hmm. fight it out and when it's the right time to strike they brazil domination also, just as i expected silas the, the Do you think a Brazilian team can still be this dominant that in the uh, main, main event? So many Personally, times. I feel like he they will. Absolutely exposed myself, and he waited for the right time and was able to clutch up a lot of good eliminations for his team. Oh, that was brutal on the side of Team Insanity, right? They had a really good position in the zone, but they just didn't account for Silas in the back. Just like bro, Caprizi, bro. Dirt, right? Pepper strike. Better. And oh boy, did he DK. Better oh, man, it is could be it, alive, it's so to be difficult honest. to fault. If right? you smoke that I mean, right, the commitment is just there, the aggression is just there, and oh, we keep on seeing surprise after surprise. But you got to give it up though to uh, Team Liquid also finding some pretty impressive plays that we've been seeing at least in this Murmur. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, smoke. Oh, they FS is other bullets. Off. I feel like I feel like FS is all, FS is other bullets. Ooh. That's why he didn't Ooh. kill the guy. Goodbye. Right, speaking of boom. Smoke two chickens, guys. The fourth Man. hot drop in a row. Yes. Enigma Galaxy. You're pretty and sure Brazilian and gonna win PMGO. I feel like fun. they may they may win PMGO. To it be honest, it was fun at the start. <laughs> I'm along the lines of what DK was saying first. Okay, the first one, you know what? Get it out of your system. Second one, okay, maybe they're just trying to establish. Third one, all right. Now you guys are pushing the fourth Yo, pick one. 
It's not even Where's not playing? Though, buddy. It's not even Pachinki. Because I didn't get my visa for Brazil. You didn't even have time. to do that considering where these teams are currently out within the leaderboard. And considering that these teams, especially I'm looking at Nick Galaxy, they're not going to be playing tomorrow. They're going to have a day to break. So maybe they have a bit of a leeway. But the Xavier, they are going to be playing tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be their final day of the prelims. They need oh. to make sure they start performing. To be fair, though, for DX, they were at least able to save face a little bit by getting those five elimination points. That's going to be tough, though. I mean, when you know that you're not going to be able to play. A7 also choking the end. You have to hope that your PMBO. points hold on. This mm -hmm. is worst case scenario right now. I think. If I mean, and if you need to put up a. You have no choice. You have to leave. You quite, have to leave the world. Quite the damage. And you have to have monster last they won't be able to, game. And even they then, won't, it they were not able enough. to. I mean, yeah, we have more matches secured. coming up here in future dates. But any placement when you leave teams knowing exactly how many points they need to pass you, you have to account for that, right, TK? Yeah, I mean, definitely you have to because at the end of the day, these teams are playing for a spot in the top eight, right? You gotta, you gotta break up that fight. DX, Nigma, it's done now, right? It's done. It, it's been fun, but now we gotta see someone hunker down because, as you said, right, DX. They're gonna be Tomorrow's your exam and then watch the last day. seven hours. So you do. I could potentially play a major, major upset coming through into that, but of course, what we're talking about upset. Pig, are you a Minecraft? Game, right? Jukes, they've just been playing such an upset. Creator? Yesterday. They've been crushing it. Two chicken dinners. Oh, like you're like a variety creator. Eliminations in this one. Look at that. Just tap it away. You're gonna need a good game. Range, keeping those peaks nice. Bro, they're pretty much qualified. And HP needs a good game. There, Jesus. Seven. Yeah, it is. And to be fair, Brazil overall, the older Brazilian and teams, what's that now for? As we're going to be going into an interview. Dinner winner from a smoking game we have here. Smoking me? Yes? <laughs> okay. Um, how did you specifically prepare yourself for the prelims stage? Because you were the MVP for this last match. Quero saber como é que você se preparou, a sua preparação pessoal aqui para a fase preliminar, porque de fato você foi o MVP para essa partida e só sete, só não. Even sete eliminações de cada um estavam game, nas suas mãos. Eu o UPS. Preparação foi muito foco, né? Tipo, principalmente foco, porque eu não sou só o fragger da, do time, eu sou o capitão e o IGL. Então, minha preparação sempre é abrindo o mapa, focando em posições e, tipo, mover meu time, não estou focando em kill. Graças a Deus fui MVP da partida, um bom resultado, mas minha preparação não é pra isso não. Minha preparação é pra mover minha equipe e bem com a minha equipe, eu não, não foco em kill mais. Ok, é he said he is not focused on uh, kills. That's funny because he got seven eliminations, but he always keep on mind that he needs to lead his team because he is the captain of the team. So he's open the map and he looks like a volleyball uh, player throughout Who? the whole the smoke uh, play, match. The, the player from smoke. Uh, what? Uh, sorry. What is the greatest change of your team? Eu quero saber qual que é a melhor coisa sobre o seu time. Melhor coisa, a lealdade, a confiança. É... Todo dia aumentando muito a nossa confiança, lealdade, entrosamento entre a equipe e confiança, mano, principalmente. É, é a chave da, da parada. Confiar na cal, todo mundo comunicando certinho, é isso. Awesome. Um, he said uh, the loyalty of their team definitely is one of the uh, strength of for, for a smoking team. And also they are very confident. They, uh, they trust each other and this is one of the most the most important thing for the team right now. And that's explained the double chicken dinner they had today. And for us to finish right now, what team do you think is the biggest enemy for you guys? Falcon. Qual é o time assim que é o maior inimigo de Falcon, vocês bro. agora na competição? Is that even uh, a question? Logicamente é Team Falcons, que é provavelmente quem tá It liderando. Hans B. Falcon. Que, pô, é, meus ídolos, eu sou super fã dos caras. Então é Team Falcons. Fúria, Team Liquid, os brasileiros aqui também são muito fortes, não te desejar. E é isso, eu tinha uma palavrinha aqui, ó. A gente é iluminado, ó. O cara lá de cima escreveu, viu? É nóis. Uh, wonderful. He said Team Falcons for sure is one of the biggest enemy, but also the Brazilian teams are fighting against them, of course, so they probably are one of the biggest enemy for smoking game right now. Yo, Thank I'm you so back. Much How's the interview doing? Bad. Bad. Oh, 
boy. Let's take a look here at the overall standings. Yeah, we heard it. He took a break from himself. YouTube for Smoke two years and it's hard now. Yeah, definitely, top, definitely. I think staying consistency place. is one of the key things to grow a uh, channel. And he is worrying about the most right now is the Falcon tier 7. They are. If I mean, NHP don't get a top 10, you get me saying group. iPhone 14 Pro. <laughs> <Smoke> <laughs> it's is gonna be playing tomorrow. I'll send you 800. Get a chance to sit out. But for Smoke Gaming, I mean, what oh is Cinderella story God. for this team? A bunch of misfits from Brazil that 13. have been playing for a very long time, as I was saying earlier, and for them to be trying to surprise here, and they are surprising 30. in a very big way by getting those uh, two chicken dinners now. They at least need them man, make it to 30 to for them to have the chance, I feel like. So well when it comes down Chief, to are you going to wear it, Jake? <laughs> Shut up, I mean, dude. With, that, with the amount of points they have right now, they are looking very, very good here, DK. Consider that they're not gonna do you have any idea? When do we have PMCU I mean, or any small regional games in NA? Game I think it's over, Piggy. I think... Yeah, the I semi pros one are uh, PMSL qualifiers. A, a very PMSL qualifiers say this. Being, uh, brought through here by Smoke. I mean, two chicken dinners already. Only a chicken can save an HP. Indeed. Uh, you said it rightly so, right? Bro, take off your shirt. This is the last match. Okay, let's do it. Here. Uh, and they just <laughs> okay. finding triumph of, after triumph. So I think they're going to end on a very high note here today. Even to push yeah, off for every kill. I can do it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, like, points, right? last, you know, last, last match, I'll do a one push up every time and they should got a kill. Go okay. I think that honestly for this team, I think they should be playing the exact same way that they've been playing because it is a, a mixed bag. It is a mixed bag of passive, but they are able to switch it when they need to switch it. And that's what's so impressive. And that's why I'm kind of. Dollar Wolf, deal or no deal? I don't even have a 14 Pro. Dollar Wolf, very passive, no deal. As soon as they see an opening, they take it. And the old that we usually line up with the destroy this lobby. Left. Which lineup? But this is, is it? right now. They're they're showing why they're the team is making are making a mark. Switch. They are able to make that play when they need to. Explain PMGO schedule and other info. Uh, check my description, and you will have every single info for PMGO. And Nova will be playing in the main event as well. One kill, one push up. Yeah, bet. As soon as you possibly can. 10 more for chicken? Sure. I can do that, yeah. If they got a chicken, I'll do 10 push up. One kill, one push up. You play scrims daily right now against the good teams like SR, YKG, etc. Trying to at least go semi pro. How old are you, Piggy? What's your age? Let's do temper kill. How about you just right, kill? You just back. kill me on the Last spot, uh, MK. The day, guys, Especially, I went to gym and and I did some Get training for the upper body. Like, like my well. hands are like very sore right now. And Any idea when PMCU 2044? Are there oh, PMCO for NA? Well, we're gonna see who do we even have PMCO for NA anymore? We're gonna be right back right after this break. How many phones do you have? Uh, I have. I think I have three Red Magic, and I have like every generation of the iPhone because I do PUBG Mobile videos on with the, these iPhones. After seeing five matches, what do you think? Will Nova outperform these these teams? The thing is, the spectators are not catching enough actions. I feel like, 
But uh, I do feel like these teams can put up a really good fight against the Nova for sure. Can Nova be the champion in your opinion? In yesterday's stream, I asked my viewers the question, the same question. Like 50-60% of you saying Nova can be the BM duo champ. But in my feel, I, I'm feeling Nova will be around 5th to 6th place in PMGO main event. Horror Esports is gonna win. Let's wait for tomorrow. Let's wait for tomorrow. See how no Horror Esports and perform. Here we go. Final game. Bathroom. We are back. Day number one. Last game of the day. PMGO Please, NEP. Brazil. Prelims. Oh, this is a big one here, Seven. We talked about it. You know that there's some, there's different groups here. We have some teams that are not gonna be playing on the last day of the prelims, so they need to make that point buffer as big as possible. And, you know, one team in particular that's really done that is Smoke. Two chicken dinners on the day, looking good. My question to you is, though, hot drop number five, baby. Are we going to see it? I hope not, man. <laughs> I'm on, all for right? hot drops, but I hope not. Like, somebody needs to kick him in their butt and be like, hey, yeah, yeah, you know, that, that, that thing that you're doing, that ego thing, uh, that's cool for, like, PMPLs, for, like, smaller stuff. But here at the PMGO Global Event, the first one ever this early on in the year for Bu PUBG Mobile Esports, they need to snap out of it, especially with with how well, like, these teams can actually play. They're just handicapping themselves right away, and it sucks. It's like watching a boxer, like, get punched in his stomach to kind of prepare for a fight, you know? And... <laughs> It just gets to a point to where it's just too I, many punches. I think we're like, going to Valley Damar. Yes. You know, like, is this really Wait. Right now? And, uh, we have, that's what, that's we what have another team coming. Like. You're just seeing just these guys really putting themselves in a bad spot. Your beautiful zone here. On the last oh, nice zone. Day. Nice yeah, zone for NHP. Still in, in play. Do, they, do we have and a hard drop? I see Nigma Galaxy outside of the plane. D Xavier, where are Nowhere you? Near. Nowhere near. Good. They're uh, southeast of El Poso. They're currently trying to land over there. So they're nowhere near. Where's NGX? Is NGX still hot dropping with them? As well. so we wait, wait, wait. We have hot drop? Come on, bro. Some of these teams are oh, going crazy. To tomorrow. Some of these teams are going to be going tomorrow into the last day. And one of those teams is going to be in hyper because they are in group B. And hyper needs to make sure they get as many points as they can because right now they are two kills. At 13 what points. And if I'm being completely honest, hot jukes. It's not enough. Oh, it's not, not gonna close. be enough. And if they continue like this, I don't see them waking up tomorrow. And I see them becoming maybe a point giver to some of the other teams. Oof, this is terrible. This is terrible, especially to go against a team like Navi, who's also pretty low on the leaderboard. I mean, if you want to fight a team, you want to fight a team that's kind of struggling like that. But man, this is just not a good situation. Plays a team. About the struggles oh, of no. Oh boy. <laughs> no way. Dear Better. <clears throat> Why? How did the Caprice die? It's another team, Jukes. Guys, how did the Caprice? That's tough. I feel that's... like that's a perfect picture of how their day's been going, though. Yeah. Just straight frustration. Playing as a team, better, please. Is, like, you Don't. About it. Do they not did, take the ones. A, a, they've been playing a different game than every <clears throat> single team all day long. You yep. know what I'm saying? And and it's really hard to get out of that mindset when you've been literally pretty much day capped. Dude, properly, bro. I literally. You've been forced to sit. Wait, My chest you know, is playing, almost like, like hitting the floor. A normal game of PUBG Mobile. These guys are doing something different. So when they get back, better. To what normal feels like boom, they get busted, and it's just 
Everything is just feels <laughs> going wrong at this point. <laughs> Witcher, no yeah, NHP, this, this 20 this kills, chicken dinner coming. You guys ended up Bro, that's 30 yeah, push up for me. Oh my god, DBS. <clears throat> and the Gonzo is not moving. About, okay, are we gonna be seeing a hunt oh. between Nygma Galaxy and Dig Savior? Uh, I mean, it fake, fix that. Here, nice, nice off angle by Star. Now in hyper, oh, Starlight Stars being able to get that angle right there. That I do enjoy. Oh, out of in hyper. one v one. And they're gonna be able to confirm better. that now. Is it better? Watch out for Gonzo, because Gonzo is gonna be better versus Gonzo. Shotties, and he's gonna be throwing those smoke. And it is oh! a one v one. Ooh. Nice jump shot. What wow. a clutch up there by Baton being able to send Navi back to the lobby, and this is great because guess what? That is a team that was ahead of them. They need to make sure. They keep it going, keep it rolling, and start setting up your momentum for tomorrow. And I'll tell you what, you know, we talk about not enough. Four no, out. is not enough, considering what they've done. Four kills, so but we lost one. They still need a monster game here at the end. They did lose one player. I will say, if you're going to make a sacrifice four for only one player early, you know, if you're going to do it, that's the most you could possibly do. You're going to have to make it still happen as a three-man, though. you got to get to the <sighs> end game and put some more points on the board, because otherwise... I did. Home right I did four push-ups already. Sure. Yeah, and for in hyper, I mean that fight did end up taking place right outside the zone. Luckily for them, the zone is fairly close towards the north, so they should be. NHP from NA. Their way in there before they all of that closes, because if not, it's gonna be a. Is the stream too dark? Rotation. What do you mean too I mean, dark? We'll kind of show you if we do end up getting the. I'm just. Here I'm just like a restreaming from smoke, the uh, PUBG Mobile Esports official channels. Too. I'm not sure to who, but you can see them. One elimination. You find ten push-up uh, per kill Falcons, if per push-up. I'm like, bro, you're you're, you're literally killing please me, please bro. Going, stop them from getting more points. We want to keep it close. Yeah, definitely want to keep it close. That's for sure. And uh, let's see here. It's the one of the top squads here in the lobby, the most feared for sure. Team Falcons spread out and San Martin looking good, having so much real estate. The Xavier are gonna loot up the most looted up area in the entire map, El Pozo. This is a place to be for sure. So they're going to have no excuse when it comes loot wise, but losing that player, man, that's got to hurt. Like so far, like their day, like we talked about it earlier. It's like them, like you know, one of those days, like you walk around, you've already, they've already stubbed their toes. Can you once, guys see you know? me do push and up? That player is like when you just go have lunch, like and then you accidentally spill your drink. on. Can my camera catch that? Oh, gosh. It's just like think... every single thing is can going you just wrong. Catch, catch, catch me doing push ups? That happen, one one kill, 69 push ups, like bro. They know how hard it is to turn it around. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So it, it, it's. If any team Yo, Shifa, I'm gonna make some WeChat squad, sticker for you. Well, please, no, bro. How fast is using happen, like right? the? Have one player be like, guys, we gotta shake this off. We gotta make it happen. My here. emo, like the, are you serious players, right now? That emo, bro. Let's make the best of the situation. Did you make that? Yeah, I mean, we you? were kind of DK talking about something earlier that we haven't really men mentioned as much, and that is how bro you know, did the, the four push-ups and they're already sweating. It's gonna be after this first day, right? Because I, a lot of the I went to gym earlier today and I was doing push-ups. to some of the other players. But the Xavier, for them to be a fifth place team Like, I'm like, PMG's my arms are already, like, sore and they exhausted really it right now. I mean, the way they are, I feel like that is uh, one of, if not the biggest disappointment that I've seen so far. Of no, do it again. PMG you guys are trolling. That's why we're kind of hoping that they'll be able to bring it back. They're not going to have a day off. They're going to be playing tomorrow. You made that? To Pew, bro, like you nasty. I'm going to block you on my screen. Not just with five LMs. We know they were able to get five LMs earlier. But we need some of those placement points as well. Because right now, I mean, if we look at their standings, the first game, it was solid. We were like, okay. You don't right, have to do that. Right. Right. Right. Right. Right. Oh, better. Got knocked. And, and fifth Ellen. But after that, I got finished. single match, Hot Jukes, they've been 10th, 11th, or above. 11, 16, 16, 12. That's just not where you expect a My push up kill the better. MGC to be. Yeah, especially considering the fact that, you know, yeah, they do play tomorrow. Like, because uh, this lobby is, like, very random. Places, so, you know? if you're so playing those kind of lobby, you have to be really, really, really cautious with game. your scouting. Tomorrow, you know? Ugh, yeah. Because you never know for sure. these teams' you know, play style, what, what, team what these teams' play so styles are. In the global championships. Oh, here. That's not a team you want to here's where they kill event. better. So, who knows? Maybe you have some teams try to force that hot drop and put them even in a worse position. So... Definitely things aren't going right, but you know, and at this kind of level, you have to have short-term memory, right? Now do yeah. reverse push-up. Like, hey, you know what? Just, let's just forget about it. 
What can we fix? What can we make? Uh, you know, what adjustments do we need to make? And let's just play our game because we know what we're capable. Of. <laughs> yeah, you guys gotta, yeah, you, got, you guys, you guys gotta like, treat uh, me nicely. You. Otherwise, it's so much you won't be seeing me tomorrow. I know these players, I'll be in the hospital tra to, treating my arms. They will, those thoughts will start creeping in, right? Now the pressure comes in with what I was saying. Fifth place out of PMGC. We're supposed to be performing here. We're not performing. What's going wrong? And then they start kind of spiraling oh down within their own thoughts. God. And there, there we go. We got the new circle. Then if you were all the way in the south, we haven't really been able to see much of the 9C after we finish off those uh, first two airing gills. Yeah, the Xavier should be able to rotate fairly easily. This is always not Next bad. Up right behind them. Inco Gaming up there too is one team that I was kind of expecting a little bit more for them. They've been consistent on being able to get points every single match. But uh, if we're talking about teams that I want to see them finish off here today on a good note, this is one. Nigma Galaxy. We need to see a good performance out of them. And now they're going to be going up against another team that definitely needs a good finish, which is in Hyper. I'll tell you what, though. I know that their uh, their team colors are blue, but I'm sick of seeing this team in the blue zone at this point. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I mean, they're just constantly having to come in and push in from the edge, and it is so difficult at this stage. Yeah, you know, in earlier <gasps> stages where you got weaker teams playing on the edge, it works great. But here... I mean, you see a lot of the oh. top teams always trying to play oh my God. central as possible. Stars are lost one alive. Yeah, and the reason why I was saying that was because uh, Nick Miguel. Because you're not from Canada, right? I'm not. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm from Canada. I'm Dukes, I'm trying not to be, I'm trying not to let that toxicity flow through my body just yet, but oh man, I'm, uh, I I'm missing DNA hope, and I'm hoping I'm proven wrong tomorrow, I'm hoping that tomorrow maybe they snap at it, they have an amazing day, but at this point where the performance that they're currently having, I, I don't think this team is quite ready for that yet, I don't think they were ready for the PMGO. Hey, I'll tell you what, speaking of snap, dude, Shifan's gonna have to snap the belt. You know what I'm saying? Say, guys, come on, dude. What are we gonna do here? We gotta what make something happen do? because they need to just become different monsters the next day that they play. Like, they have to. Oh, like, I started so bad. Because they only have 13 points right now. It's not impossible. It's not impossible, right? Mitchell, but Mitchell, this, is one, this is gonna be one of those situations, Seven, right? Where you cannot play the same game anymore. You have to realize oh, sure. we're playing catch up, we need to shred eliminations and win yep the, the thing with that too, our casters right? are all in players no they're just casters like this, hot juke was a plural and player and once it out. like Sometimes once upon a time able to say okay you know what well in this next group we might have teams that aren't as aggressive so we might be able to get away with a better things. than us but with the group that's coming in tomorrow like these bra brazilian teams are really strong like all this influence <laughs> she wants a belt ready bro all these teams do i hope i have a belt on me i would put it out give you an inch if they see you making a mistake they're gonna capitalize on it so that's why especially from my end i'm trying to get the urgency out of teams that are towards the bottom that <sighs> might have a chance at making it but just are having an awful performance. And then you have other teams that are really, really having an awful performance. And that's Virtus Pro. They're truly, after five games, only three points. That's insane. That's insane, yeah. And uh, I mean, someone's got to be at the bottom of the leaderboards at the end of the day. Uh, yep. but, you know, hopefully they like can that. make, yeah, something, they can, hopefully they can make something happen. And, yeah, in my opinion, it's going to get harder tomorrow, right? There's some oh, monster pick up a star? spots. Uh, like because a star it's is the only IGL we could so find. Not the only IGL. Like... So anything can happen. Inco Gaming, right? They were able to sneak their way in to the stage during the qualifiers. They had a little bit of trouble. We know what the squad could do. Because star is... They're currently sitting in that just pretty much dead center pack. A good game here could definitely rocket launch them up. They have three eliminations so because far. Because Star is up. the they're in a tough spot, so then I bet they need to loot up quickly and get with the best team. English yeah, speaking IG all we can find team right now is that they it is pretty when much we're assigning signing, signing, signing players. Along. Players ended up going completely different. Then I bet they ended up staying, uh, but at the moment I feel like Inco is still falling into that same thing that we well, see. the training the video come? Year. They're always qualifying. Uh, uh, Man, it is making that making it in. Or just barely missing out, and I, I feel like today we're starting to see that and go once again. It's just a pattern. Nah, I don't own. I don't. I don't own. An if you're trying to take some shots there on Team Liquid, he wasn't able to. I'm just in the work. He would have been happy Oof. if he actually did. As he continues, and then Enebete gets end up getting knocked by Team that's, Falcons too. That's so much. Like seriously, like on this early mirror mark too. You guys name me one. And they IGL. 
I think who's it's better than a star? You have to loot almost instantly. Name Sometimes you gotta give me it up one and IGL. You realize that you know yep. what? This is not the position. Who's that we, better than a star? I, position over loot. In NA. You know. Yep. Uh, Can you guys like even he name he one? Might get him up in this situation, so that's very fortunate for him and his team. But you know, every single knock, especially at these critical times. If I'm talking about the IGL with the experience. Rotation, you could lose a very dominant position and lose the game because of that. Well, like with with I mean, we, with with pro experience, like, today as well, and global experience as well. Pro there, Milky Way in the background. And Star's the only one that team kind of fit in that role. Most of the points that they've been able to get, actually, all the points that Virtus Pro has been able to get, the, all the three have been just from eliminations. I'm sure they're going to be looking to hopefully secure at least one placement point here in the last one. And they were able to pick up Sixes does not even game. play the game now competitively anymore. You can't possibly turn so Sixes. We're talking about like the I call Sixes. Hello, Sixes. You know, an HP needs a player. I mean, can't be the IGO and, you know, you know you come back and be gold. You can't. Game, I can't. I can't like, can. It doesn't work like that. You have to be consistently playing the game and playing the tournament. Let's see what happens. This top's got that deadly mini. He's just looking at Same goes for Zute. Question Do you think that. Zute stopped playing the game like two years, three years ago. And Beowulf stopped playing the game with you years ago as well. <laughs> like, smoke, right, uh, well, guys? Man, now you guys know, know what I'm talking I think about. This team might be a little bit too smart, and just with what you were saying, no, literally, no one. They, they're gonna take positioning over. That's why I was saying that we are always recruiting because PMSL is not. So close to them. Is not. Is not. PMSL is not like. It, coming that yet? Test. You passed it with we still have time to sure. recruit players, to yeah, trial players. So this I mean, PMGO would be a uh, like would really put the team so into cerebral, a test right? we see and so see what the, of these teams do, as well. does this team has any potential? Like you know, do we need to change our alignment for PMSL? They understand that hey, if I shoot right now, I'm gonna give away my position, and it could definitely. But if I strike at the right time, man, who is Omega? So beautifully done. Omega is playing for which team? Does he has? Does he have pro close. experience? That's make things interesting here. We still have quite a bit of urban areas in play. Meanwhile, D Xavier, the team that Tensa's a, Tensa, off at this point. Tensa's a frag. Tensa's uh, not an IGL. Inside of Monte Nuevo. You can see him trying to get some shots off here. But, ugh. Yeah, they're not in the, the best position, that's for sure. Yeah, they're not going to be able to do much there. They were able to get a knock earlier, but not much out of it. Insanity Gaming. I mean, Same thing. Like, you, really the has player to has to be consistently much. playing so global version. Today, Virtuous Pro, maybe. Oh, could this be? They already got an extra point. They could double their points here if they do continue on this trip. And also, there's no shot for Rolex to join back to the pro like scene. Because they could why play pro yeah. since they only when you get points so oh. far today. Um, uh, they almost when you can get maybe 10k or like 100k just one game. That's doing right. content. Man, uh, they're going to need a monster one. Though. You go pro, you get a th 1k a month, you know, right? When you can just, it's just farm. Right? Yeah. Um, but I do, I do wish views and subscribers like for you know 100k. At least do things that could make it possible. You know what I'm saying? You know, for so sponsorship and stuff. Strategies like if you are versus pro, you need a chicken dinner with tons of eliminations. So starting off with two with a full squad up is the way to do it. Yeah, I, I want to mention something about Cyber Masters. They have been very consistent today. The NHB was the one man. The yeah, NHB is dead. There's no way Falcon can let Star cross that they try to cause some damage compound and enter the zone for free. That they're out of them. Currently, for them, they have two eliminations. And guess what? They're trying to make Inko's We tried out the baby 10. Live in hell, and they're doing just that. As Inko but uh, the coach decided to, to super, the coach super decided to go with a better different angle there on what they could have and also better is the IGL I wanted to do so Cibra himself Masters, honestly the way they've been proactive the way they've been, they've been taking those shots I really really enjoy with what they've been doing as we move on here to ring them Karia and DX very very close to each other yo Conqueror welcome to the Shiva only fan appreciate it thank you team. thank what you for getting the membership in the channel appreciate it Oof, Joy, right now, so Joy retired. Stars that galaxy. I'm gonna say that because they have three eliminations. They've lived this long. You know what I'm saying? Bro, so, Kubis is so the gold in player. It's, yeah, Kubis is the gold. You know, they didn't lose a player early on. I think this is the first game we've seen all day that they actually have all players up in mid game. So let's see what they're gonna do with this though. That's try D E Shifu ones. Ask him to DM me. Always impressive. Team Falcon. Which oh, team were goodness. did he play on? Turn around, Milky Way. That is not the team that you want to fight at all. Run for your life. Oh. 
look how quick they're able to close in on that too they were very spread out and as soon as the shots started coming in they kind of communicate the synergy between this team is just on point team falcons now to see if they can possibly finish on oh, those oh my, my gosh he didn't I knock him but that was an absolutely disgusting nade there from uh icy this is the problem if you're so down on the leaderboard smoke goes down that's huge oh. Team Falcons realize that. They say, hey, this is an easy chance for us to be able to... Chief, I'm sending the picks right now. <laughs> the problem with Curtis Pro Conqueror. is they're so low on the leaderboards right now. The yep. second Team Falcons STX realize it's Pika? dead once they get one Does finish, speak English, they're going to hard push them like nobody's business. So Pika's Curtis a coach Pro, right now, isn't it? You have to make it? a play right here against the... I thought he's the, the SDT coach. Much. Because oh, yeah, the SD coach right that. now. They're doing exactly what you just mentioned because earlier they did end up getting... Like IGL, IG, a good IGL who can speak, in, who can speak English is so weird to find. Hand. Two players are down there from Virtus Pro. Oh, they morning. know there's going to be two more. Look at them. To be honest, up. You know what? if Jimmy didn't get signed by Team Wolf from PEL, we would probably get a Jimmy instead. Just like how we were talking about Smoke. Gaming, how they've been able to play just with the trigger whenever they do need to push. Jimmy can speak There's English. Another one that does it just so perfect with Team Falcons. 100%. Let's see what they have to do here. They're going to go ahead and start. Uh, looks like they'll leave, though. They'll just say, you know what? Let's just get position first, right? We need to put up some big points on the board. We want to make sure that we make it into the main event where, in all honesty, they belong. This is a monster squad for sure. Meanwhile, Team Liquid did lose a player earlier no eliminations these guys have been really kind of hot and cold right they put up some crazy points and then sometimes they go out early ayala did go down that's gonna make it pretty difficult but oh look at that top ended up finding some more players of virtus pro and uh, that double down might not happen here seven yeah and the good thing here with team liquid as you were mentioning they they have had some good performances we know this team can definitely get eliminations oh, yeah. right and when we end up talking about uh, teams that might end up making it to main event, teams that will perform good if they make it to main event, that could be definitely one with the fragging power that they're able to output. Absolutely. But you know what? You got to get there. That's the problem. Yep. You know, <laughs> you have to get there. And the thing is, is that the way this format is, the teams at the top can really make it difficult for those teams in the mid pack. So um, that's not a position they want to be in. They're currently in seventh, which is a very tough one. And that name oh. is. She she that that that that that that that that down because 9z have really good angles on their spot and i don't think team liquid's gonna be even yeah you gotta let them go at this point yeah with 9z they gotta be careful not to overextend here as team falcons is aware that they're gonna be there too team falcons now starting to get a little bit third party there i'm not sure where it was from but it forces action to drop down and start healing up and here comes the third party that we were hoping it was gonna happen team falcons there you go helping Ooh. 9c eliminate team liquid team liquid find themselves in an awful position and guess what team falcons wants to keep it rolling now they want to keep on the action here against 9c's and that's why you need that's why we stress so much on those big points i don't care if you're the best team in the oh. world if you were in team liquid's position top. there ain't nothing oh, doing against two teams sandwiching you like that meanwhile team mistake falcons from top pressing the issue but 9z doing a great job she freeze married okay we have to get this player then if he's married we have to get the player go ahead and slow them down. dude has marriage buff team falcons though really put themselves in great spots oh, oh here comes the push up from 9z two vehicles out. oh i see hold them down he does that oh sit down and go back to the lobby and wait for the rest of your team to get to the lobby to you because that was absolutely beautiful I was like, hello, okay, Kimbo. Nancy, Welcome. I see you getting a little bit aggressive there. They tried them, and boy, they found out. That's what happens when you try to push Team Falcons. Team Falcons has such a good divot <laughs> there, too. They had the perfect scenario working for them. Team Falcons just remind me of just like that story between a uh, the unstoppable force. Bro, I see is nasty. Object, right? Like they <laughs> with a DBS. And that's the scary part about them. It's like. In all honesty, I like what 9Z did because if it's Team Falcon, that's the only way you can beat them. Like you have to come in and just take them out instantly. Yep. If you if you try to knock one, bro, and it's most time, likely not gonna make it. It's like they don't go down. It's they so need to like they just refuse an insane so game day. Yes, to, uh, tomorrow. Insane. They need the insane to your like first push, tomorrow. They're taking you out. They need like some that's insane matches part, right? tomorrow because for them to qualify. I believe like 70 points. And that's why they 70 points would be it. If Falcon can get, no if Falcon can get a 70 points today, they are pretty much qualified already. You gotta figure out Whichever team can get 70 points, they're qualified. I mean, if you want to bring it, bring it. You're just going to be giving us 
for eliminations as we go is there any chance no jimmy back in nova no there's no chance trying to spot some players from dx good to see dx still alive they gotta maintain you don't push this falcon team true if they want to be able to start very deadly some placement points here coming up soon and with yeah. the circle with the way that i'm currently looking up stuff some of the other play some of the other teams that we're talking about that need to end up having a good performance here towards the end uh Nigma galaxy could definitely set themselves up for a good performance for sure Nigma galaxy are doing what they're supposed to do the xavier in my opinion is not because yeah like you know placement points are great but when you're out on the leaderboards you need both like you genuinely need both so um it's kind of tough because they've had such a bad day i understand why they're going into ultra passive mode uh, Shifu, you can try time, this whole any team at once, if not only the IGL. Shifu, he has experience it, in it, SA as well as PMDC and PMWI. You know? Hopefully, they can turn on that aggressive switch because they definitely. Do you guys have his Linkopedia page that I can take a look? Now, trying to fight the last player. How many days? Tomorrow is the last day for NHP. But the tournament keeps going. There from 9C. But with Team Falcons, it comes down. Is this going to be worth it? or is Falcons 70 points today? Position? Yeah. I think this fight would definitely be worth it because then you know that your back is clear. You'll have a lot of extra room to work with for uh, Team Falcons if they're able to clutch this up. I think they're this said. is just personal. I think Team Falcons said, you knocked one of our players. We're taking no. you out of this tournament. You try to push us? Can this actually you work? You, you can oh, there we go. In a, oh. in a two-seater vehicle? You didn't even bring the whole squad? You can run two? Oh, so you, man. There goes look at how patient he is. From 90s. It's just the oh. is about to happen. He's going to be able to confirm that one. And guess what? The other one is going to go into hiding mode. And Team Falcons are like, this is a smart play though, right? Back up. Oh my gosh. Figure out where everybody else is at. Figure out what the next move instead of chasing. Well, sometimes we would see just so Can many you put teams a, just can I, Yeah, sure. Go for it. That they get a little bit too uh, blood hungry. All right, that's what I'm saying. They're like cats. They just go in and out, in and out. Like they never make a miss. Keep us a time for an HP? Yeah. Like, oh, easy knock finish. Let's just full push. They don't. They're like, no, we need all the information before we decide to strike. And it's such, it just really. Team Liquid is former Luke's Esports, what they're and, doing. And it's, that's why they're so. I mean, they're not doing too shabby compared so with NHP. 28 points. Doing this. I mean, they still have a chance tomorrow. And elimination so far. And, and I believe Mythic. teams remaining. It's Mythic, guys. And it's ridiculous. And they have the circle and high ground. That's what I was gonna. That's what I was checking actually. If they do have the high ground, I believe they do, and they have so many rages to work with too, that they oh, could even do gross. the smoke, smoke gaming. Holds like an HP let everybody else fight it off, but uh, that's not Team Falcon. Team Falcon is gonna be looking to uh, cause Hold some damage here. I love this. They're clearing their backs out first. This is the thing that they need to do. This, you know what? It's oh, game time. Yep. And, look at this and, spot look at right this. here. I mean, action. Just are you able to talk with teammates exactly before tomorrow? Yes, yes, for sure. I will, like, like, we will honestly, be talking with each other after after after, after the stream, suffer. after this match, too thin, after players got got to your hotel, but like me, I'm gonna join the review sessions with the coach. And the amount of suppressive fire that they're throwing. She found how broken right now. Action realizes that hey, you know what? I gotta I gotta lock down this position. I cannot get knocked. So that's why I'm not surprised. It's fine. It's fine. I'll cut right now. They couldn't karaoke i'll just search for it myself pretty much a, a little crater there for them on the top of the hill the highest point so far in the map if i'm not mistaken it's looking like wonders and looking like wonders dx being able to get a knock there with the natas we're now we're looking royals of war trying to take on some five regnum karia keeping an eye out for them and furia only one player alive he's gonna be exposing himself and that's it bye bye as rules of war is gonna be able to finish off that last player from furia you're gonna end there with 35 points and this be as much as tomorrow yes i'll be i'll be scheduling my live stream for tomorrow and make sure you guys turn the notification on so that you don't miss the live stream trying to get some late angles i feel like tomorrow we can start like 30 minutes late in the most dominant position honestly if you're gonna beat them in this spot you're gonna need to bring multiple teams nick mcgalaxy doing what they need to right they know that hey our backs up against the wall we need some major points here to rocket launch us at least in towards that top three so that way we can feel somewhat safe going into our next day of gameplay. Team Falcons now starting to push onto Royals of War. They want to soak up even more points. They do, and this is the crazy part. They could have stayed fine in the place that they were, but they were like, no, we see an option where we can actually third party this. We see an option where we can make it easier for us towards the end, and they are going to take it. As they do have one player knocked down there from Team Falcons, they're going to be able to pick them up. And with Nick my Galaxy, I mean, they're doing exactly what they need to do right now. Five eliminations currently in the top seven. Now they're starting to get those placement points. This is exactly what they need to do. They just need to get in a top three. Continue. Keep it going. It's so crazy to see that Royals of War is still alive. Random Cario went down. That is nuts. That one shot right there. I believe it was from Brivas. 
was absolutely insane. It kept them alive for just a little bit longer. But the Falcons are starting to swoop in. Those beaks are sharpened, ready to go. And here they go, pre-firing with the S12K. TBS okay, still meta? Looking at? Not stay right there, buddy. And I'm let him sure cook. Unless they decrease the, the reload time, like increase the reload time for DBS, I feel like DBS will always be in the meta in PUBG. And how quickly can they recover? I think they're gonna realize that Enigma Galaxy is gonna be behind them. They need to make sure they position themselves. The quick reaction there at Team Falcons. I was scared that we're gonna end up getting surprised by Enigma Galaxy. No, seven. They said no. We we know they're there. Give us a second. Let us. What did you say? A quick. Tenzin what? needs to ban Falcons. <laughs> what? You said a quick re what? Uh, regroup. <laughs> Reaction, oh baby. That's right. It was all action. Real quick up. Oh, Coops. In the front. Now he's getting up the high ground. Oh, the I see. I see. Oh, With geez. the laser beam. Shuts down the push. He got and Coops. And now comes action to finish him off with the DBS. They now oh. have the Sigma Galaxy. They're going to start pressing. Very nice. Here comes top with some Spray. more headshots. This team's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Maxman, if you're watching this, if you want to break down anything, this right here. Break this down for me. Post it on your Instagram. I want to see this because, boy, Team Falcons right now, a team that instead of taking the easy route, they're making it a little bit harder for them, and they like it that way because right 15 now... 15 kills already for Team Falcons? For Team Falcons? They're trying to break it, Jukes. They're saying, you know what? We asked for 20. We're going <laughs> to give them 20. 20 bomb could be coming right up. But you know what? Nigma Galaxy, their backs are against the wall, right? They need, they're in a corner and they need to get out of it. And the only way it's going to be is with some more eliminations and a chicken dinner. The only problem is there's only two players up and Team Falcons are on fire. Meanwhile, was that Virtus Pro still alive? Hey, there you go. How do you survive? Oh, he's gaming. He's gaming. He takes that Lord. Another no, no, no, point on the nations. board, trying to keep his tournament alive, but Team Falcon finally oh, shot 70 him points. down. And the pop off. Jesus. These guys are excited because that was a real hard match for they them. You can qualify final day three, man. Whoa, it's kind of deep. We do this daily, son. Stretching, not even a high five, and they're like, okay, what was my stats? Oh man, I probably could have got. I probably could have switched the numbers. Easy qualify, Falcon. Right you know what? I'll I'll save it. I'll save it for the final day. They're not even excited. Finishing off They're not even here. excited at all. Great, great win overall, man. That that was so far, honestly, that was the match of the day. Action be like, finally it's over. On Let me Nick go McGallic home and uh, babysit my baby. Gonna try to get the high ground on them and, and babysit my boy. Uh, oh. I think we're he has a boy or a girl. Yep. Action. Not surprised, but I think we're seeing a main event here. <laughs> Good they're not even great. celebrating. Those guys were looking at their. No, phones they're not. The game, like they were trying to I think their I their scope are much higher than just qualify. They're bored from the game. You know, maybe get back to the hotel after that is absolute insanity. Twenty-seven points. Jeez. I mean, I think Falcons came into this game. They decided, you know what? He, in, in in the qualifiers, we were sitting at the top and things were looking pretty. Today, we're gonna ensure that we make it. Why do any teams perform bad? Come hella high water. Bring whatever you want. Like the. Speed the comp saying is like just not there in NA. Seven. That is. They made so. They we don't so have a proper up, honestly, training and stuff. They're at a position almost where they can not play the next day and still make it. That's how crazy it is. Honestly, I'm with you on that. And you know what? With all those points that they just put up there. Are you guys crazy? Uh, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. And we've been hinting like, do you guys know or not know? <laughs> in a way, for the last day, for day three, when they're gonna be coming back, of saying, who do we want to hunt? You know what? Ooh. I'm kind of feeling a little bit salty that we ended up getting haunted in qualifiers. So how about a little bit of payback? Check Maybe action story. It's a girl. Because they're gonna be meeting. No matter what. If they continue to play like this. No matter if it's but a boy or girl. Ruin somebody. Action else's got a teacher or him to like play PUBG. I'll tell you what, man. If I am playing day three with Team Falcons and I played today, you know. I know that maybe they were looking for lunch. I'm saying, hey, guys, I'll buy you lunch. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, guys, how y'all doing? I'm your best friend right now. You know, we're in the middle of the pack, but we're trying to pull He has a work, boy. You know, because you don't want them. Bro, you guys are crazy. In your direction, because if these guys want to take you out. With 27? A, with they played so Jesus. Far, okay. 
I mean, they could literally run this whole lobby down. Any team is literally could be in there. I was asking if I mean, it's good, action right? got a I, I don't even baby know boy or baby girl. It's going to suffice, right? Because you might might as well just become their lunch if they decide. So sorry, it's going to be a very <laughs> You guys are trolling too much, through. Jesus. We're finishing off exceptionally well here. 17 <sighs> eliminations. The second highest elimination count that we've seen for today. So, I mean... Well, the only other, the only other highest score was Falcons with That's eight. That's confused one another. I mean, they they just backing it in. Ugh, what a play, indeed! Crazy. Yeah, the, the, the overall leaderboards are just gonna look absolutely insane, and. Uh, I think that's something that we got to take a look at here to figure bro, out. Bro, don't let Action see my chat, bro. Action is, Action, if and, Action uh, sees this, Action is going to slaughter you all, bro. Because it was 3,100 damage. Again, 3,100 damage. With over 3,000 wow. damage. <laughs> my goodness, that is just absolutely... Put a stop amazing. on them, you know jeez. What, I'm going to stop glazing over you just there for a little bit. Virtus Pro, this is a team that I was hoping they would end up reacting in a way here to hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, position themselves for tomorrow to maybe make it a push. They ended up with four elims. They ended up with placement points as well. And the good thing about this too for Team Falcons was that they took advantage. You mentioned it, you Smoke Gaming ended up with zero elims. They ended up getting eliminated first. If an HP don't qualify, uh, to she found better... Sorry. Let you try out? I thought we already tried you out, Bew. Right? You know we tried you out before? Here. Nine eliminations, you know, not able to get the chicken dinner. Action baby is boy. I see baby's girl. Yeah, I mean, they okay. turned up, right? They decided, you know what? Maybe it's about time that we start to win something, right? We're not in a hot drop. Let's try something new. Yo, Shifu in the Let's chat. GG and HP. They, my viewers ask you to try out. Like, well, a valiant effort, right? As we saw them finishing really, really strong. At the end of this match, but well, the MVP, no surprise, ice cold damage, a thousand and seventy-five. Unbelievable, the seven. This is more damage MVP. than a lot of teams did. Yeah, got a thousand um, damage. I know, match just ridiculous, dude. <laughs> that push too. I think it was nine C, right? When he ended up getting both of them with the shotgun, that was just filthy to to even top it off. And that play alone, that could be a highlight for a lot of players. And I was just like, we're just getting started, boys. Calm down. Let me go. Here you go. This is what I was talking yeah. about. Ooh. All right. Let me get one. Where's the other one? Oh yeah. There, there you are. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> Why do I feel like I compared with the global global and PEL? Why do you feel like I mean, I see, I mean, for PEL? Right I mean, the, like if if P some teams are doing the play like the like the push from the enemy team, like they will most likely wipe Falcon there. I feel like in PEL, maybe the vehicles are different. In a double chicken dinner for Team Falcons, and after four matches, it took four matches for them to get a. a they cracked the a code for PUBG. And what you guys had the chance to get six the second coming? chicken dinner in the end of the day. <coughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. So, last, the other, play, other plays was like, uh, we, did, we did not so good, but this, like. Freddy, is everybody watching your videos? Piggy, the, for, for real, the, the like, my advice would be don't play Compi yeah, NA. That, that's the, that's the you already have a following. Actually, like, on your channel said, literally just try one of the do more content like for your channel and i would like to know if a team falcons i feel like that can like bring you like the more enemy for them i guess yeah, uh, i just smoking game yeah smoking games that uh hamgin hamgin ikhor sultik chki jwajin tiri kaya thad yugu jwajin way for us, all the team is uh, in the games uh, are the enemies. the enemies. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, that's I'm a good answer, that's a good answer probably. And uh, to finish, I find, to find the what, he, guy. what was the first them for him? What he what he's feeling for the first day of the prelims? Easy, too easy. You would say too easy. 
Their language sounds like Korean. So first day we are in success, so uh, one day we're gonna rest a little bit, and then the next day also we, we will be succeed as well. Awesome, awesome. Great debut today. Ching Falcons, thanks so much for the interview. Thank you. Translator <laughs> needs a translator. You guys are and here with the trolling again. Seventy nine. Give them the crown already. With seventy nine total points, man, these guys went nuts. Fifty eliminations here, DK. That is more yeah. eliminations than third place on down in total points. I mean, that's insane. That is absolutely insane. But I think this is Falcons. Are you a coach or player? Am a player like, slash a kind of might have snuck us out of that direct qualifier into the main event. We gotta earn it, and we gotta ensure that nobody else is gonna catch up to us. And seven. What do you think about this second page, man? This is the teams that are in trouble, and oh, I mean, in there's some trouble, that trouble, stand trouble. Seventeen ah, points. Yikes. Inco, I mean, honestly, there's so many good teams here that I expected to do good, but I'm I'm genuinely surprised that we have they were able to perform today. Like our drop spot and sucks. Our drop spot sucks. For some of these teams, it's gonna like Lipovka, we have VP doing the hot drop with us, and we in the uh, really the more we have Navi with us. Literally, we're hot dropping these teams every single match, except Sandhawk. Action 14 eliminations, 3,000. How do we predict action? There we go. Action, somebody stop them. Goodness <laughs> gracious, 75 throwable use here, DK. Uh, I mean, you can try, you can definitely try and stop action, but best of luck <laughs> because I mean, let me give well, a kiss to him. This is a super sweaty play. And I mean, even the <laughs> heat, give much, us right? good luck, so action. That action can really get stuck into the action, and it's gonna it, it, it proves to be super, super challenging to uh do anything other can than you use the 75 throwables so, yeah Damn. i think this is a very well worth award going over to action i mean action is back low. they just so ripping it up Ooh. today right mvp in the last game uh action getting the performance tomorrow falcon's gonna watch the wow. watch the matches from the hotel Unbelievable. for I mean, sure for sure performance of a lifetime right here i mean they didn't get that golden ticket she found getting gay for action but bro they just proved to us all seven that they did <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I'm happy for one because I wasn't here Saturday, so I didn't really get a chance to see them play. I'm happy that they decided to spend so much time here with us and just show us what champions, what possible champions could look like. Because boy, if they, there was a team ever that looked like a champion, at least for these prelims, in regards to being first place. I you said if a person has good event, following, so she or she should focus on content <laughs> yeah, and grinding want, NA. I, what the? Exactly what, we want to see. what of the you person with no trigger, following can he grind NA? NA? No. That evening, Sandhawk too, but I don't that suggest. Is, that last match, I don't suggest. So impressive. Oh, so good for those of you guys just tuning. You grind in, NA because second in the they're just they are there are no good teams in NA. The practice is bad. Like business as usual. DK, any final thoughts before we go? Uh, I can't wait to see what's Literally, if you're leaving Brazil, I feel like you, you could probably try the comp. Out on the battlefield. But for so, NA, same man. Vampire, where you at? Most oh, players are just are play, we'll play, playing, playing this for fun. Guys, mark your calendars, and we will see you tomorrow. You don't, you don't have serious players action. like in NA anymore. You mean I can do both? I mean, playing comp is taking a lot of time though. But yeah, you can do both for sure. I did both when I played comps. Bro, and also appreciate you guys. Like we literally were tripled. Like I thought it's gonna be only like 200 people like watching or even less, but like you guys are insane. We have like almost close to like 800 at one point today in the PMGO watch party day one. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. And I'll be scheduling my live stream for tomorrow i think for tomorrow like i guess like 
one kill and HP I'll do I'll do I'll do I'll, I'll do three push-ups <laughs> to give them energy or something but uh thank you all and if we should have just sign all of access bro I don't think that's gonna change stuff I don't I don't think that's gonna change You have made every kind of video make one based on game sense. One kill, five push up. Bro, that's too much. That's unrealistic. What if they got a 10 kills chicken? That's. I, I, I, I, I won't be able to see you guys like, you know, day three. Anyway, thank you all for watching. See you guys tomorrow. And thank you all for supporting, even though NHP is not doing good. And and uh and also supporting me for the channel one jump for one kill that's easy jump easy jump one kill two push-ups okay i can do that one kill two push-ups tomorrow i don't go i don't need to go to gym tomorrow i'll just stay at home and do push-ups hopefully i can do maybe 100 push-ups so that they can qualify anyway hard drop of empire i think the teams will definitely my nhp will definitely hard drop Tomorrow, because if they want to qualify, killing a team right after drop would give them points. So that would be the game plan for tomorrow, I feel like. If they don't hard drop, I see no ways of qualifying for them. Strong like Arnold? I doubt it. <laughs> anyway, thank you all. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. I'm scheduling my live stream right after the stream. All right. Nice talking to you all. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.